Okay. We're back, but there's still something weird popping off with the cam. I'm not really sure on what it was. There, There's a spare OBS process just hanging around. That was a little sussy. Um, let me fix this. One second. The fuck? Disc now Discord's bumping off. What the hell? Sorry, guys. This is awkward as fuck. Uh, where's this at? Uh, why did all of my tech just decide to dumpster itself, like, at the start of the stream? On dimes. Okay, cancel that. Uh, hey, capture card, you want to be nice now? Oh, that is what the... Wow. Alright, we'll, we'll have to fiddle with that in a second. It's like, it doesn't, doesn't the screen feel a little bit dark at the moment? It feels a little bit dark, right? We've done it, we've toppled the DJNet? No. Hey, now, no. Yeah, it just feels super dark, right? Indeed? Yeah. I remember this happened earlier on one of the, um, on, I think it was like this very first death run actually that we did. And the gamma got fucked up on the capture card. Okay, that appears to be a little bit too bright. So I, I know how to fix this now. But it's just a little sus. Like, why today? And why so randomly? Alright, how does this look? That better? That looks better to me, right? Uh, maybe a little bit lighter. One more. One more. Bang. Hey, thank you, Kondo. We broke the stream? You, hey, indeed we did. And written, thank you as well for the bits. Alright, guys. My apologies about the tech. Again, this random, this, these kind of things just randomly happen. And it's tough titties. But we know how to fix them now, so we're good. Let's get in to our rounds. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say this. Okay. When I restarted OBS, my chat got cleared. Okay. So the first one that I see on my screen is Kondo coming in with the word ouch. Okay. The, at 2 p.m. So if I'm anyone before 2, yo, my bad. I just spam me again. We'll give you another one. A written. Thank you, dude. This attack was orchestrated by the end. Okay. Hey, what's up, Kondo? Good to see you. And Desharf, how's it going, my friend? SC, what up, SC? And written A, a formal greeting to you, dog. Nasilla, great to see you as always. Happy Thursday. Zoros, what up, Zoros? Andrew, good to see you as well. And Jen, a formal greeting for you, my friend. Bobby, good afternoon to you, good sore. And Chork, what up, Chork? Chork. Don't tell me I'm failing technically and phonetically again today. Hey, Chork, what's up, Chork? Good to see you, dog. How are we doing, man? Pinketing, great to see you, Pinketing. Penny for Nichols, what up, Penny? Fatal, good to see you as well, and thank you, dude. Doe, what up, Doe? Agent in charge, what's up, Agent? Hiff Hiff, good to see you as well. Polly, what up, Polly? Odd one, what up, Odd one? Great to see you too, dog. How we doing today, man? How we doing? Hot and stinky, what's up, hot and stinky? Good to see you, and it hurts when I pee. What up, it hurts when I pee? Shackle, what's up, Shackle? AMJ, good to see you. Mr. Ide, what up, Mr. Ide? All right, I think we're chilling. I think we're chilling. Again, if I miss anybody, my apologies. I'm blaming the technical snafus. Straight up. Right? Just blast my ass again if we get it. Lovely fast. Hey, thanks, Vidal. Here's the plan, by the way, for the lovely today. So I don't want the BFD to impede on the death run. Right? I don't want to get into any sort of like awkward little time crunches. So we're just going to rip BFD right here at the start. Okay. Um, I've gone around off stream and accepted the majority of the of the quests that we need. Uh, let me let me look here. We've got yeah, this one up here to accept, and then we've got one in the dungeon, and then we're gonna get it going. Did you hear about Frontier last night? What happened? What level is BFD? Uh, twenty seven. Twenty seven. Last boss I believe is twenty nine. Last boss I believe is twenty nine. So twenty seven. I believe. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, what happened with Frontier, Shaggle? I do like that with Deej, he never drops, uh, does leveling stuff off stream. <laughs> Except like Friday and Saturday of last week. But to be honest with you, man, I was just feeling it, man. I, I was just, I was having fun. I was hanging out with the guys like on Discord and I just, you know, it's the first time in a long time I've been able to hang with my friends. So I was, that's the only time I leveled up off stream. Just so I didn't sit in front of my PC and just move up. Oh, they killed KT? Oh, damn. Nice. But lost six people, including Ompi. 
Well, I mean, I, they got it down, dude. That's huge, man. That's huge. Damn, six casualties, though? But that's still incredible, right? 49 days in, they did it. Yeah, they did it. So, like, what's the journey for them from here? Like, where do they go? Do they just go for the reclears? Oh, yeah. I try to get those done. No, I try to get this done, yeah. Because I know it's not fun to, like, watch me do profession upkeep and shit like that, all right? Not a great time. Not a great time. Not sure. I know some are still going, but some are going to do era for a bit. I mean, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. I, I get it. That makes a lot of sense, too. It's like, when you, when you do the peak, uh, like, of the content... It's like you're at that level. Like it's like getting like AOTC or KSM, whatever you shoot for. If you play like retail for the seasons, you know, it's like, all right, once you've kind of gotten what you've set out to achieve, it's like, where do we go from here, right? Where do we go from here? Mm. All I know is that you got to be better. At a bag man or get get better bag management going. Here's my problem with uh, my bag management man. Look at all this. Half of these items are quest items. That's the thing. Half of these are quest items, and it's like I don't know what's safe to delete and what's not. Like this blackwood fruit sample. Do I need this? It doesn't appear that I need this, right? Blackwood nuts. I don't think I need these, right? I can get rid of these, right? These are safe. Hey. Charlie coming on down with the heart. Thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate you coming on in and bless us with the heart, man. Thank you, dude. Great to see you. Yeah, you said delete it? Yeah, like, why don't these things get deleted, I wonder? Like, Blackwood Grain Sample. A clue to Sanders' treasure. Like, that that was from Westfall. Like, all these we don't need, right? Okay, the Croc skins we want. Um, That we probably want. Yeah, all these we want. Because these are to active quests that we already have. Like, the filled cleansing bowl, like, do we need that? Zombie juice we've got. This, we, I, I, like, what do I want the Gyro Master's key for? You see what I mean? Look at all that. All that space just filled up, right? Cleaned. Cleaned. Hey, what up, Hectos? I'm doing great, man. What about you, dude? I was trolling Guild Chat so hard earlier. LMFAO. Sorry to everyone who fell for it. XD. What's up, dudes? Yo, what up, Ty Bees? Ah, it's all good, dude. I, I, yeah, it's all good, dude. No harm, no foul, dog. Perfect boy, good to see you, man. What's a good questing area at level 24? Wetlands. I like the wetlands. I turn on the stream to hear you say nut sample. <laughs> yeah. On brand, man. Hey, we're on brand. What can I do? What can I do? Uh, that's typical. What realm is the run? Defias Pillagers is when we're, uh, is the realm that we're doing the run on. Tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern, beyond 645. Defias Pillagers. That's what we're doing. I know, Merc. I wish there was some way to mark them. Or, or like, some, something that automatically marked them, rather. Deej check reacts. Hey, what's up, Trish? How we doing? How Deej said that he liked these, so here are a few more. Oh, my God. Okay, who is this? Pause. Who is this? This is uh, Johan Sebastian Deej. Okay. Then we've got Claude Deej Bussy. And this is Deejard Wagner. Yo, I look like a fucking little baron in this one, dude. Yo, I look like a, like, like a noble, like an ambassador. Like, I'm about to exchange a mutual... Uh, mutual goods for land. You know what I mean? Like, I'm about to go to an uh, exotic kingdom and, and trade for spices, dude. That's what I look like in this one. Yo, I was telling Jess about this, SC. Some of these I legit don't fucking know if you're good at Photoshop, like this good, or if these are like real images. Which is the one that threw me for a loop? It was the one yesterday, I think. Where was it? Um, fuck, where did it go? Did you put it in gen chat? Yeah, 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 it was this one. I was looking at this one last night, and I was like, okay, it does look like me, but at the same time, like, I can't tell. I can't tell. It's, it's pretty fucking good. Like, it, these are good, especially the, uh, the old ones. 
like like the 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 colonial vibe ones, man. They're too good. They're too good. Excellent, bro. Good memeage. Rocket the five head. I believe that's how they did it in the old days, man. Rocking the five head, bro. Rocking the five head. Do I have everything that I need? I do. I need I need one empty spot for my um for for uh what's it called? I just need one empty spot for a uh Durr. There it is. For the quest inside. And then we're going. And then we're going. Paint my portrait, he's Lamau. <laughs> dude. Hey, what up, Red Nova? Good to see you. Brad, I'm doing great, man. What about you, dude? Yeah, it does. Perfect. It's fucking spot on, bro. My bags are so full of quest items. I'm too lazy to figure out if I need them or not. Yeah. See, I'm the same way, dude. We're suffering for the same shit. They're AI. I have no Photoshop skills. It, it's incredible, dude. It, it's very impressive. Very impressive. Oh, you're all good, MTG. No worries, dog. You do your thing. You do your thing. Might be one of your ancestors. Maybe. Maybe. Hey, what up, Gecko? How we doing, dude? How we doing? Uh, also, too, um, we need a healer for BFD. I if anyone could heal BFD, come on down. I'm going to go ahead and start spamming. Um, because we want to get moving here. That way, we're just nowhere near close to the death run time. So if anyone wants to come heal, all we need is a healer, and then we're good to go. So I'm going to modify the macro here. I'm going to say, looking for more, looking for healer, BFD, then good to go. Cool. All right. That's been modified. Bam. Hey, what's going on? Hilarious Coma. Appreciate the follow in the Twitch chat, man. Joining us here. What's up, dude? Welcome, welcome. Wife and I's date night. Hey, I hope you have a great time, MTG. Mancini, good to see you as well. And serious. Hey, no worries, man. No worries, dude. It is what it is. You can heal BFD. I could, but I don't necessarily I'm not itching to, you know what I mean? I'd rather pump. I'd rather I would rather meow and claw. Now, a 25 dwarf priest. Hey, we could do that, right? Is a 25 dwarf priest okay for BFD? For heals? That should be fine, right? Yeah, that's what I thought too. It's it, it's like I, I know you want to be twenty seven for deeps and a little bit higher for heal uh, for tanks so you don't get walloped. But yeah, twenty five for heals I think is fine. All right, we got the full group. That was the fastest we've ever formed, by the way. Let's go ahead. Let's turn it in. Let's get it going. I'm already here. I'm right there, ready for the stone. Hey, thank you, Manzini. I appreciate the luck, dude. Indeed, perfect boy. That's how we're feeling. Hey, Benji, what up, Benji? Where should I go quest at twenty five? Wetlands. I like the wetlands. What up, Tyson? Ah, well, hold, hey, thank you, folks. Well, I'm 29, man. I, I want to take credit because I see you said grats for 49. I would love to take credit to be that high, dog. But I'm 29. I'd rather watch Deej than play anymore. Love it. Yo, thank you, Sports Addict. I appreciate you saying that, dude. Thank you, bro. 21G, good to see you as well, dog. Uh, Y'all can invade my wetlands. <laughs> what not, dude? <laughs> hey, good to see you, dog. Hey, how's the labs going, man? You're, you're like week one of the uh, of the labs, right? This is the first official, well, it's coming to a close, yeah? How we feeling, dude? We make a big dick prog? I guess what I'm going to go do is maybe turn this in first. Any 10? And then maybe we could do like a little, little, little side quest or some shit while we're waiting on everyone to get here. Let's do a little check. So we've got Typees coming in. Oh, damn, everyone's kind of close. Nice. All right. Well, we're kind of already all here. Gutcore's in Dark Shore. Taipei's on the way. Adamo. Where's Adamo at? Adamo's right here. Swimming on in. All right. Hey, we're all here, pretty much. We're all here. I've been thinking about how to plan one twenty one. I th I think a big like Makara tournament would be cool. I just want to plan it in the right way. You know what I mean? And hey, Vux, thank you, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you can heal for much higher content, assuming that you got the talents and the uppies. See, I have, I, I don't have the talents. I'm all feral, dude. I'm all feral. The wisdom I possess in my current mode is without limits. Put me in a room with all the world leaders, and I'll solve that shit. You know what I'd probably do if I had any kind of governmental power, dude? I'd probably just pull the chat. Hey, guys. How's inflation looking? 
That's pretty sus, huh? We want to lower taxes? Let's go ahead and get a poll going. Poll the chat if we're lowering the taxation. That's, that, that'd be my solution. Go into war, poll the chat, right? See what it means. That's how I'd lead. I guess that's kind of a democracy, but more of a meme-based democracy. Yeah? Hey, what's up, Jigo? You could claw me, and I will meow. All right. Hey, be my honor, dude. Be my honor. Is this 10 all the way up here, dude? Fuck that. Yikes. I just wanted to grab some 10. You doing BFD? Yep, I'm about to. Just waiting for the rest of the party to get here. Yo, what up, Dova? Devo, good to see you as well. And to Journey, what's going on, to Journey? How we doing, guys? I am 21. I am. No polls. Spiel, spin the wheel instead. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's way more meme -y. I like that. I like that. Let's do it. Second week, it's all good. Uh, snail's pace, as science does, but got a couple free dinners next week. Hey, worth. Yo, cash in on that company value, dude. Worth. Love to hear about it. Love to hear about it. Okay, Adama's in the Barrens. Sweet. So we're just waiting still. Do they all fly here? Maybe. Inflation is super fucking sus. Yep. A is what it is, dude. I could use the word jacuzzi with Yakuza. And I'm in hot water with the Japanese mafia. Lol. That's funny. I I see what you've done here. That that's that's clever, dude. Ooh, we got an art bot request. Ooh, Doe, this is timely. World leaders at a table, quote, polling the chat. Love to run this one. And uh Gecko, you want to do some wheel spinning for are we in a simulation? So I'm assuming there's only two options, right? Yes and no. Well. Let's see it. Are we in a simulation? Nope. Nope. No simulation. No simulation. I think we're good. Yes, no, or a bunch of zeros and ones for binary. Yeah, hey, that'd be the acceptable outcome as well, I suppose. The fate of humanity is based on the RNG at that point. It's going to be a tough time figuring it out. Deej, what is your go-to breakfast? Um, I actually don't really eat breakfast, man. I got to be honest with you. Um, when I do, it's something very light, like cereal. Um... Most of the time, man, until lunch, I just do, like, black coffee and water. Hey, thank you, Jim. I appreciate you, dude. Thanks, man. That helps a lot. But, perfect boy, yeah. My, I guess in, in that case, my go-to breakfast would have to just be, uh, cereal if I had to pick something. You could use a pole to size the wedges and the wheel and make it percentage base. Oh, that's clever. That's clever. We probably want to wait for others, right? Before we descend into these ruins. I imagine. I don't, Brad. This is my full-time thing. I feel like you have a different knowledge about the world than 99% of the Americans. I don't know. Maybe. I, there's a lot of shit that I don't know, man, to be honest with you. I, I, it, it, I don't know. I try to soak up whatever I can, but everything moves so fast, man. You know? I don't know a lot, but I just I know, I know that I like killing boars. Right? I, I know that I like lore. In Azeroth, right? Those are my two constants, I guess. Oh, with world history? Yeah, I, I took a lot of history classes, I guess. That's why we asked the wheel. Hey, the wheel's always there to consort, yep. Are we in adiculation? Alright, Doc. Yo, what up, dude? Let's spin it. Let's spin it. It says yes on the adiculation. It said yes on the adiculation. I, I, yes, we are. Hey, Davina, how we doing? Of course, AIDs would prompt it to say no, or program it to say no. No. No, AIDs would have no outcome on, or, or no bearing on the situation. They'd let the simulation run its course and not interfere. All right, there's the tank. Gutcore's on the way. Adamo is on the way. And our healer is on the way. So we're, we're about to get started here very shortly. Uh, speaking of that, let me go ahead and, and load my details. Bang. Get that going. That looks good. Sweet. Uh, ooh, Nasilla, I see that you've cashed it for an art bot request. Um, something to cheer me up. I'm getting cold, um, and possibly fractured my hand. I needed something to cheer me up. Okay. Hey, sorry about the hand. Um, let's do, uh, how about, where's it? Okay. 
I got something in for you. I won't tell you what it is until we roll it. And then, uh... <laughs> Doc, you want me to do an awkward whispering to a party member? Is it weird that you're causing a kitty bulge? Alright. Type P's gonna get this one. Bam. Type P's has been whispered. There it is, Doc. There it is. Me, wow. Can we listen to music for background, you know, you know, or nah? Bring in the vibes, bring the vibes to that. It's gotta, it depends on the DMCA stuff. That's why I usually don't have background music, is because you gotta be really careful with what you play. Um, or else you'll get popped with copyright strikes and such. Aren't we all children in adiculation? I wish I could untype that. <laughs> I did, well, I have, Andrew, yeah. I've gotten there once. I've gotten there once. What up, Cosmic? Hey, good to see you, dog. How we doing, bro? I hope you're I hope you're be doing well today. All right, let's see what we got. Um, this one is Doe. Doe, you asked the art about the draw. World leaders pulling the chat. Bam. This is world leaders pulling the chat. Yo, what the fuck? We got double Obama in top right. Double Obama top right. Then, this is uh, Nasilla. I asked the art bot to cheer you up to draw bursting and vibrant bubblegum balls. Bursting and vibrant bubblegum balls. Boom. This is what I drew for you, Nasilla. Let me know. Let me know. And Dano, I've seen that you've cashed in here for some troll lore. Specifically, you want to know about dire trolls. Here's what we've got for dire trolls. So dire trolls are essentially, they're very similar to dire orcs. Basically, what turns them dire is, a, is an old sacred ritual that's uh, meant to imbue them with a lot of physical uppies, a lot of physical gains, like kind of like roids, but more sacrificial, more sacred, right? More, more cultural-based roids. Um, now, the orcs, there were several ways that they accomplished this. Um, the most common dire orcs that we saw were that of the Bleeding Hollow Tribe, but other orcs, um, especially in Warlords of Draenor, uh, not only adopted their ways, but also kind of engineered some of their own. So the process of even of an orc or a troll becoming dire is a little bit dependent on the culture that they're you know representing. But the whole point of them and purpose of them becoming dire is they basically give their themselves over to gain a lot of physical uh, advantages. That's the idea behind it, dog. That's the lore of the Dire Trolls, man. I hope you enjoyed that one. And we got Apelli coming on in with the follow in the Twitch chat as well. What up, Apelli? Welcome, welcome, my friend. Thank you for the follow. They said rare. I think they're doing a rare, maybe. But we're big chilling. We're big chilling. Let's go ahead, by the way. Let's go ahead and get a, a poll rolling for whether or not we are going to die. Let's roll that back. New, uh, Not a poll, sorry. A prediction. New prediction. Bam. Will the degenerates die? If you want to go ahead and wager some channel points, do some gambling, bam, the poll is live. Go ahead and do so now. We'll take it from there. Let's listen to Nickelback. Now, I know Nickelback is, that's, that's on lock, you know what I mean? Do you know what the instance behind the bars in Stormwind was supposed to be by the Old Town? I actually do, Tijacula. That was supposed to be a portal to go to player housing. That's what that is. They uh they experimented with player housing in the game's alpha. They original they they decided to scrap it uh because it was gonna take way too much time for them to flesh out and it, it was gonna put them back, you know, way past their deadline. And so they decided to scrap it. But that's what that portal was there originally for, was to zone into the player housing. Um, you know, Stormwind. I don't know if there was one in Orgamar, but yeah, that's what it's for. Also, bonus fact, in the map files, the player housing that they were working on, the sample, was actually somewhere near, I think it was Tenaris. It, it was way off the coast of Tenaris, like, you know, it was a separate little island um, where they were doing all this shit. That's where it would take you, supposedly. So, yeah, player housing. Uh, hey, all right, slot. Yep, the death run. You got it, dude. Is it the same run? So, today's death run is going to be Gurubashi Arena. We're all going to create level one trolls, and we're all going to run to Gurubashi Arena together. That's the play. That's the play. Uh, it depends, 21. It depends, man. I don't watch it too closely. Instead, we got Garrisons. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're all ready. Let's do it. Big rip. Wait, are you already started the dungeon? Indeed, Sinister. We're getting moving today. We're getting moving today. Usually, we do a little bit of a warm-up, but today, I want to make sure we're nice and prompt because we got the death run coming up, man, and you know, I don't want this to go, uh, I don't want the, I know this is a bit of a longer dungeon, and I wouldn't want it to, uh, you know, 
go too far or, or, or too too close to the to the time, you know? So we're getting it rolling on time. Ooh, agent, you've cashed in for Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for telling my girlfriend that she is the cause of my side chick breaking up with me? And I didn't appreciate her getting in my business. Bro, you're you're playing a dangerous game there, dude. You're playing a dangerous game there, dude. Hey, thank you, Mr. Ride, coming up with a 69 pit stall. Thank you. And Kronos, good to see you, Kronos. In this situation, Agent, nah, dude. Nah, she, you're not the asshole. She should stay outside your business, man. If she didn't want to fuck around and find out, she shouldn't have asked you for your phone's password. You know what I mean? She needed to stay in her lane, right? Yeah, needed to stay in her lane. Nah, you, you good, dude. You, she, stay in there. She was trying... <laughs> You said sweet? Hey, yeah, King, pop off, dude. Pop off, dude. <laughs> hey, thanks, 21. Hey, very nice, Christopher. Is. is GM Island real? Yes. Not anymore, but yes. Um, it was actually in the game's map files up until Cataclysm, and it was... Okay, so imagine all of entirety of Azeroth is it, flat, like a map. Uh, the Basically, the way that the team built built the world was each square like the maps were divided into small squares and each square had coordinates right so square zero zero is top left and 30 30 is bottom right for example um gm island was on the very top left square in the map way off of the of the northwest coast of teldrassil so you can't even see it but it was there it was there that's why you get two burner phones, man. Live and learn. Ah, it's a valuable lesson, dude. Valuable lesson. Ask Jess and see if her answers uh, are the same and if Deej's answer is the same when she's there. We don't need to... No, we don't need to do that. There's no need for that whatnot. We don't need to bring Jess into this. Nah. It's, it's not good. No, it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> it was real and it was boring. Ah. There wasn't a lot there, but I think it was interesting to see because it was so fabled for a long time, you know? But yeah, there, I mean, it wasn't a sprawling city. It was a small island that allowed the GMs to do all the technical things that they needed to do, but that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Me and the wife just wing each other. I think 100% we need to get Jess involved. Now, Davina, hold up, Davina. I don't know about all that, Chief. Why don't we slow that down just a little bit? Hmm? Just... Deep breath. Yeah. Just Jess is working. Don't disturb her. Yep, that's right, odd one. That's right. Hey, that's right, dude. Hey, we got loot the druid coming on in with the follow in the Twitch chat. Welcome, man. I appreciate the follow, dude. Have you ever been under Orgamar? I haven't personally. I haven't personally. What's under there, uh Chelinus? My cats keep getting fleas because of the new barn kitten. As a feral druid, how do I fix this? As a feral druid? I guess, well, you know. It's not like you could take him to the vet as a feral druid, right? Because you're a fucking cat. Well, you could transform. Yeah, I guess you could shapeshift into your normal form and take him to the vet and get, like, some strong anti-flea prevention. I, w I would do that. That that makes sense, right? Yeah, I'd probably do that. That that seems safer than any kind of cure. Oh, or you could maybe do cure toxins. Like, if you are fleas classified as, as a disease? Could be a play. Did you ever use Wild Glider back in the day? I didn't, uh... I didn't. You can go under there if you go on top of that. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Are you into cars? I would say I'm super into cars. Um, I mean, it's like they're 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 cool and stuff, and but I'm not like uh, like I I have admiration for the top end cars, and I like like Formula One. That's kind of cool, but um, but I'm not like uh, super knowledgeable otherwise. I've always wanted to make a call with some Nokia. Drop a cool line. And then trash the SIM card and dump the phone in a trash can. You feel like a little mafia boss, right? I know, dude. Just get a little burner action, have some fun, right? Coordinate a black market deal. I mean, silly things, yeah? Silly things. Or shift into water form and get into a Dawn bubble bath. Ooh. Hey, that could be a play. That could be a play. F1 is always good. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's just hype. I just went to a car show named Slammed Nuff Gallenberg. How'd you like it? 
I've never heard of that one. Hey, what up, Ben? Don kills most fleas. I remember when Ziggy had fleas um, when we first got her, because, I mean, she was a rescue. Um, and I don't think that they, like, had all of her, you know, stuff properly. Uh, like, uh, they said that, that she had all of her vaccinations and stuff, but when we uh, when we brought her to the vet after her pre-rescue checkup, like, as soon as I first adopted her, um, there were a couple things that I think were missing that should have been done. But, yeah, she had fleas. And the way we did it was there was this shampoo um, that we got, uh, so we gave her uh, uh, some of the shampoo stuff, and that helped initially, and then gave her full ba uh, a full body bath, and then it was like this gel thing that basically you put all the way down her spine. It's going pretty good, Ben. Hey, it's going pretty good. Where you at? We are in Black Fathom Depths at the moment. Black Fathom Depths. And good to see you, by the way, Zoo. Uh, let me get everyone buffed up really quick before we proceed. You know, give everybody thorns, you know, be a good druid. And then finally, we will eat and drink for ourselves. Boom, boom. And get a little spro as well. Uh, pretty sure that I've got my original Nokia cell phone. I used to rock one of those. I also really like the, the uh, what are they called? The Ericsson phones. Because if anyone remembers the Ericsson phones, the reason why I like them is because you could actually change. Okay, so they had these things. It was a flip phone. And you know how there's a little gap in, in flip phones, right? Uh, they had these LEDs there, sort of like, you know how it's like cars have underglow, right? It was like that, but for phones. And what you could do is you could go in and you could change the pattern that the, those LEDs would light up. So it looked like your phone had like an underglow to it. I fucking love that, dude. I, as a fifth grader, getting one of those phones, I thought that shit was so cool. I remember it was, I, I set mine to 50 cent because it, it, it synced up with the patterns in a really satisfying way. In the club as a fifth grader. Yeah. That was a different era, huh? That was a different era. Hey, I agree with you there, Ben. Yo, what up, Fallen God? How we doing, bro? Uh, Don kills fleas, but you have to start around the butt, ears, eyes. Don't get it in the eyes, and then put on heavy, or leave it on for 10 minutes to suffocate the fleas, groomer. Yo, good look, Lou. Good look, dude. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Luckily, luckily, Ziggy, I mean, we got two cats and a, do and, and a dog. Luckily, they've been, uh, you know, flea-free for, uh, for years at this point. Ever since Ziggy got it that really bad that first time, I was like, man, I, I just, it scared me, dude. Because, she I mean, she was straight up infested. There was a lot of them. And uh, I, I've been super, super cautious ever since then. Super, super cautious. You need to do a monthly flea treatment. It's the only way not to get them. Um, oh, man. There's something that that Ziggy, uh, Ziggy's got now. I, I forget the specs, so I don't want to talk out of pocket. You get fleas with rescue dogs. You think it's the same with adopted kids? <laughs> nah, dude. <laughs> nah, dude. I don't... Uh, I mean, uh, nah, dude. I, I think you're straight on that front, man. <laughs> oh, dude. When I started to get... Uh, when I started to play, I fell through the... Uh, the Codnier storm wind and GM Island, I thought was it was a joke until I saw what the uh, or so they saw what I was talking about. It took them two weeks to find me and get me out. Then they wanted me to show them where I fell. I reluctantly showed them it took another week to get me back. I did love the rewards afterwards. Hey, at least they hooked you up for the time. Getting the jump, jump puzzle KO'd. Bam, fifth grade. I didn't get a cell phone until I was 19. Yeah, I got one in. Yeah, fifth grade. And it was my, my, it's my parents didn't really want me to get one of those off rip, but all of my friends started getting phones around that time. And we would always go to the mall and stuff. And I, obviously I'd want to go to the mall with my friends. And so my dad was like, well, I mean, if you're going to go to the mall, like, you know, we don't want to have to, we, we want it. We want you to be safe. We want to know that you're, you know, chill. So got a little flip phone. I think it wasn't a nice phone or anything. It, it was a, it was a little flip phone. Um, they had, like, the razors and the Blackberry, like, the good shit for that era, but, yeah. I was just ecstatic that I got a phone and could set my ringtone. That's, literally, that's one of the main reasons why I wanted a phone, was to be able to just set a ringtone for some, like, I remember, uh, Temperature was one of the popular songs that, that we used a lot for, for ringtones. It was fucking another era, bro. You're right, Sana. You're right, dude. Hey, good to see you, by the way, Rodrigo. How we doing, bro? Yo, Deej, remember my tune? Oh, yeah, dude. 
Very nice, Dom. Hey, I'm glad to hear that you're still rolling. Feral Druid is just a budget fury, uh, furry rogue. And you know your track record with rogues, Deej. Tisk tisk. Hey, but at least it's not like my track record with warlocks, right? It could be worse. It could be worse. How many blues do you have? I'm not sure. I got a couple, but I don't have an exact count for you. Yeah, it is, Matt. You're right. It, it is. It is, dude. <laughs> Sue. Hey, Ty Jacula coming up with the bits as well, man. Yo, thank you, Ty Jacula. I appreciate you slinging those bits, dude. My first mobile was a Razer flip phone in 08 when I turned 18. Lamau. Damn. Damn. I, I was lucky. I'm going to say this. I was lucky. Okay. Um, when it really got serious um, was I, I think when... I mean, we would just kind of meander about like we were all centrally located. And so me and my friends, we wanted to do stuff together, like go to the mall, you know, wh whatever was nearby. And so that was kind of the big appeal was like a safety thing. And I think my, my dad, too, I, I think he got a good deal because he had business phones that he that he set up. And so like it, it wasn't like a lot extra at that point, I think, because of his plan to add me on as an extra line. Um so that's partially, I think, why I got it too. Looking back in hindsight, was it was like, oh, okay, we we kind of know what he's doing, and we could call him, and it's not like that much of a, uh, uh, gonna be that much of a cost. Ooh, hey, yo, guys, be careful. Um, you, you see how fucking Paco here is frozen? Whenever you fight these guys, they're gonna do a frost nova, and they'll freeze you underwater. Be very careful. I could shape shift out of it, so I'm not I'm not stressed, but just be careful if you if you don't have any way to get out of it. That was your mobile phone as well, Sue? Yeah, it's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. Your first cell phone was in a bag in my car. Oh my god, dude. I forgot about the car phones. You guys remember that? Certain cars, like, I think it was, it was a high-end thing. Certain cars literally had what looked like landline phones. That you could dial them. Like, they had, like, the number pads. It, I remember it was a, um, like, there was a receiver. Like, you know how the phone in your kitchen... Um, the landline phone would have a receiver that you'd hook it up to. It was like one of those in the cars, too. That was nutty. Absolutely nutty. Sick phone, but the keypad rusted. Remember when we had to type by clicking each button two to three times to remember? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yep. You had to type with the, the number pads. And, and, like, if you... I think it was, like, S took, like, three or four presses. Yep. Yep. God, that's fucking crazy, dude. That's crazy. Dude, I just used a landline. Well, that's how I got started, man. When, whenever I first got into World of Warcraft, my friends and I, we didn't know how to use Skype or anything like that, or Vent, or, or TeamSpeak. And, and so we literally called each other on our landline phones. And I remember I, I would play like this, right? And my neck would get sore. In like Scarlet Monastery particularly, because it was a longer dungeon, my neck would get sore from like just talking to my friends throughout that whole thing. Damn, Ben. I thought they were a thing in the past, but that's cool. And damn, all right, Rodrigo, your first phone was a Nokia 5120 back in 1996, mate. Dude, you got me beat. You got me beat, bro. Oh, you had a pager? Dude, I remember pagers. Wait, I think pagers are still a thing for some professions, right? Like, don't um, doctors and, and medical professionals use pagers still, or no? Yeah, it is what it is, Tijacula, but it's four out of five, so we're chilling. Also, I'm glad to be back watching the stream. Uh, I was without internet for a little over a week. I just moved into my first house. Yo, congratulations, Lucky Adele. And someone cut the fiber. Fuck them. Yikes, dude. Glad to be back, dude. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad that you're back. And hey, congrats on the house, bro. My grandparents had a car phone in their cat, uh, Cadillac convertible in the 80s. Yo, that's old, dude. That's They're balling on another level, bro. Straight up. Vent, TeamSpeak, we had ICQ, and we liked it. What's IC? I've never heard of ICQ, I gotta be honest with you. What is ICQ? Yeah, Hudsonator, ICQ fan. What, what, what is ICQ? Wait, you could use the phone and the internet. What the fuck? Yes. At one point, we couldn't. But I, something happened because I started getting really into PC gaming, and my, my dad needed the phone, and oftentimes it was just... I, since I was always on, it caused him problems, and he like was was dropping calls and shit. And so, uh, I, I think they maybe upgraded to like uh, whatever let them do that. But yeah, or or maybe split the lines or something. Um, so, something went down to allow us to do that. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes they use pagers, but they're really like text message machines. Gotcha, gotcha. My man, Vin had some of the best rage videos on YouTube. 
I remember watching them. Yo, same. I mean, I used Vent when I actually started seriously raiding. Um, I didn't talk because the guild that I was raiding TOC with and Olduar with back in the day, it was an 18 plus guild, and I didn't want them to find out that I was a kid. But I remember the sound of push a talk, the the you know what I mean? I remember all that so clearly. So nostalgic. Oh, I seek you. Oh, the pun was that it sounds like I seek you. Oh, that, okay, that makes a lot of sense. That's funny. That's funny. I think it was the improvement of the router and the modems that let us use, uh, that let us use phones and internet. Maybe, maybe. Is there, uh, no, it's 10. We're good on 10. Is Hunter Survival OP and duels to the death? I don't think so. I think for the strongest, like, dueling classes, I think it's like Rogue, Mage, Pally are pretty good. I think those are the big three, right? Imagine that the call to the moon was a land. I know, it's crazy. Crazy. Dial up would use the phone lines to use internet. Yep. Different times, man. Different times. I think it was 11 or 12 when I started playing WoW. Well, started rating at 13 and everyone thought I was a girl due to the voice. I got gifts like Mountain Gold, Precious Times. Hey, that's, that doesn't sound like a bad thing, dude. That kind of sounds like a net dub. Kelly? What up, Kelly? And Leon, good to see you as well. I appreciate you keeping me on during the lunch, lunch break, dog. We had a dedicated phone line for the internet. That may have been our, our thing, too. ICQ was a cooler version of AOL I, Instant Messenger. I think we used AOL. That was another big era for us. Well, like me and my friend group, we'd always get on after school. And met, I, like we were also, it was the same time that we were all into OSRS. Like we had a very small class. Um, like I think our graduating class of the school that I went to was like 20. And so everyone was super, super tight knit. Majority of us were dudes. I think we had like 15 guys and like maybe seven girls. And so when all the dudes got into RuneScape, OSRS, in like the seventh grade, all the girls felt super left out because we, that's literally all we would fucking talk about was, was OSRS. And so all the girls eventually started playing with us as well. And then fast forward like a, a two weeks or something, whole class was up on OSRS, man. It was awesome. It was awesome. Rogue, Rogue Make Warlock are the, are the key ones. Gotcha, gotcha. Good looks, guys. Fuck, you calling me, dude? Nah. Leave a message. Hotmail and Yahoo Messenger. I remember both of those. I remember both of those. And indeed, Jub. Indeed, man. We're chilling. I rated with an 18 plus guild in Molten Core and Blackwing Lair. Um, I remember having a chat with the officers. Once I had been a member for a good three to four months, and he had no idea that, uh, and had no idea that eighteen plus was required. She was super nice and said, "We'll keep it our secret that I was only 16. Hey, what a Chad! My understanding on why they wanted that was mainly because adults had more control over their schedules, and like I can agree to this, dude. As a kid, man, I had no control, and, and my parents did not give a fuck about raid. Even if I tell them like a week in advance, like, hey guys, it's really important to me that it'd be on on Tuesdays at 7 p.m., there'd be some bullshit come up, and I'd, you know, it's like, hey, we're going to a, I don't know, fucking Fuddruckers, because we want to. I'd be like, but, 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 dad, right? No, I don't give a shit. And I'd miss Old War. I think that's what it was. Makes sense to me. My first phone was a Shukin Japanese car phone. That sounds pretty cool, Dano. That actually sounds pretty sweet. I had a friend that used to go into AOL chat rooms and troll people. Good times. Yeah. Early days of the internet were completely unhinged, bro. They were completely unhinged. The real magic was everyone getting a webcam and the digital cameras around 2000. Well, see, that transcended the internet to, to a different era. Now, a little bit more graphical era, right? But a different era, nonetheless. It's crazy how many messaging clients have come and gone. Remember Vent and TeamSpeak? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those were the old times, man, for sure. Those were the old times. I mean, actually, I think, I think both may be still around, but I feel like Discord is just cleaned house. Hey, what up, Muffin? Thanks for that finger heart, dude. Yo, I appreciate that, man. Thank you, bro. I feel like everyone on Earth had a Yahoo email at one point. True, true. They were like the big internet company of the 2000s. Or, like, one of them. I mean, they were one of the top dogs, like, doing all the acquisitions and shit. Ever used 
MIR C32. I haven't. Oh, yeah, you're right, Justin. Hey, true. That one pound but, uh, burger from Fuddruckers, though. Yo, Fuddruckers was awesome. I love Fuddruckers. They're really cool. Really cool spot. I don't think they're doing as well financially anymore. They're kind of like one of those places from the early 2000s that have kind of lost some steam. Um, but I don't know. Like, Fuddruckers. I, 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 I feel like they kind of... They, they don't, it's not like they deserve to stay around because no one really deserves to survive. But you know what I mean. I don't... I would be a little bit, it's like Toys R Us, you know? Like Toys R Us was one of those, those gems from the 2000s that everyone was sad to see go. You know what I mean? Big rip. Big rip. No, Gutcore is not the same person as Hord Hordecore. Yo, I made that mistake earlier. My apologies, Gutcore. Again. I thought because of the naming convention, yes. But nay. Not the same. Not the same. Yeah, it was good for shucking on D's nuts. Oh my god. Dano. Bro. <laughs> the feeling of downing rag for the first time in the whole guild screaming invent. That was hype. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Toys R Us was dope. I I I could personally agree, yeah. I I think just Amazon ate too much of their market share. Circuit City, yeah. Radio Shack, EB Games. Wait a second. I know now I know GameStop is still around but what about eb games is eb games still up i hope i heard toys r us is coming back i wouldn't mind that man i wouldn't mind that venting team speak he remembers roger I, I dude that one i don't know kelly that one's before me i think i i've heard mumble before doctor yep i used to play yahoo pool online with people i played from a kid from or i played with a kid from egypt for a while uh core memory oh see that's awesome man power games bro Power Games. Toys R Us is making a comeback. Hey, Sue said the same thing. Yeah, that's cool. I like Toys R Us, man. I fuck with that. Hey, what up, Hollow? How we doing, bro? How we doing? Oh, no, you're good, Heisenberg. What up, dude? Nah, Phil, you just got experience on me, dude. EB Games died. It, it just felt like EB Games was like less cool, like le a less cool GameStop to me. So I don't, I don't mind that one. GameStop straight up purchased them. Oh, okay, that makes a lot. That makes a lot of sense. Three hours until we get ICC with three split teams. Oh, the anxiety is claiming me. Hey, you gonna get in there, DY? You gonna kill it, man? You gonna kill it? Don't stress, bro. You got this, man. I thought EB Games was GameStop. They, I have learned from Matt in the talk chat that they did absorb them. That makes a lot of sense because their branding was always so similar, right? Hey, what up, Rhetoric? Hey, Deej, I came up with a catchphrase from you, or for you. Let me know if it cooks. Dirty Deej, done dirt cheap. I think it cooks in the right context, yeah. Now, we got to be careful about ripping that willy-nilly, but I think under the right circumstances, man, that could work. Excellent, Rhetoric. Thank you, dog. And good to see you, by the way. Radio Shack needs to come back. Having an electronic component store needs to happen. I think, well, am I tripping, or did they come back with, like, some NFT thing? Like a while ago. I think everyone may have memed on it, but like, why do I faintly remember that? I met an ex while playing Yahoo Dominoes. See, that's kind of fucking wholesome. I know a lot of people met playing WoW, for example. That's wholesome. Yo, what up, Crooked? I, uh, I thought EB Games sold toys and stuff. It, it was like, I mean, it, it was like uh, GameStop, I thought. I thought it was like the ex almost the exact same as GameStop. Micro Center is just better though. Yeah, sadly, like Micro Center and, and Fries, right? Or is, did Fries go under too? I don't have either where I'm at. I know, John. Are you over leveled at the tank as two hander no shield? Nah. I mean, the tank. Uh, Gutcore here's got the whirlwind axe, so that's kind of a uh, fucking massive weapon. But yeah, I mean, we're 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 not uh, for the for the start of the dungeon, like the early bit of the dungeon. This greened out. Now, when we get to the last boss, the last boss is 29, and we're 27. So that'll get yellowed for us. That's actually, you know, two levels is the discrepancy you look for when, when you, you know, you want to do the last boss. But the early parts of the dungeon, a little bit lower. Lore fact time already? Hey, all right, guys. Thank you all for spamming the likes over in the talk chat, man. I really appreciate you guys popping off. That helps the stream a lot. Let me know what you guys want to hear for the lore, and I'd be happy to do it for you guys. I'll take the first thing that we see in the chats. 
No, you see Micro Center isn't everywhere, though. And also, Micro Center doesn't sell resistors and capacitors. Rip. Yeah, they don't have them here. They don't have them here. B&W doesn't have Micro Center. True. Fries is still around? Why do I feel like... Um, I saw something on TikTok a while ago. Uh, was it a Fry's? I don't know. They had like this big UFO thing. And, it, and I remember taking them down. It, it, it was just a cool looking display like in the store. And I remember just being like, damn, that's really cool. That's sad. The BFD music gives love for dead vibes. True. They love to use this music in a lot of areas in the game. Uh, this is also used in Tenaris, Silithus. It, this is very uh, commonly reused track. For pretty much like, you know, ancient creepy vibes, right? Like old gaudy vibes. Bronze Dragonflight lore. We could do that. We could do that. So the idea behind the Bronze Dragonflight is basically they are in charge of preserving and protecting the main timeline. So each Dragonflight has got a particular charge, like a responsibility. Red is life, green is the dream, blue is magic, and so on. The, again, the Bronze are basically the keepers of time. Their, their main shtick is making sure that all of the events throughout the course of, uh, of, of Azeroth happen according to plan. Um, some of the key ones uh, is, are, are is the Culling of Stratholme, um, the, crea uh, the creation of the Lightbringer, or not the Lightbringer, sorry, the Ashbringer, um, Thrall being freed from Durnhole Keep, the opening of the Dark Portal, aka the Black Morass, and so on. Um, now, there are people who attempt to undermine these events and change them and alter them in a way that would be catastrophic for our world. Namely, they're called the Infinite Dragonflight. Basically, they're, they're those like monochromatic black and white dragons that sometimes pop up here and there. Those are, are ba they're basically the antithesis of the Bronze Dragonflight. But what's so interesting about them uh, is who they're led by. They're actually led by this individual named Murazan, which if you rearrange the words of the, uh, the leader of the Bronze Dragonflight, Nazdormu, that's the same kind of deal. Nazdormu, Murazan. Murazan is, in fact, Nazdormu's uh, kind of like evil twin from an alternate dimension. Basically, the idea is that Nazdormu is going to become a, a little bit corrupted, a little bit manipulated by the old gods into bringing about the Hour of Twilight, which is the second sort of time frame where old gods take over Azeroth and they're the dominant force. And in doing so, he turns into this evil entity. That's um, actually, in Dragonflight, that's the main thing that they're fighting against, is, is trying to figure out how to prevent that from happening. But that's the lore of the Bronze Dragonflight, man. They're essentially just the Keepers of Time, who are willing to go to any kind of links necessary to preserve the main timeline. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thank you all, for again, for spamming the likes. You're my favorite LGBTQ streamer. Hey, thanks, Sean. Listen, I'm just, I'm happy I'm your favorite anything, alright? I could be your favorite fucking, I don't know, bean counter. And I'd be cool with that. I just appreciate you being here, Shan. Thank you, thank you. Algae fists for the drop. Big rip. Algae fists. Hey, make sure to click this pearl for that debuff. Click that little pearl for the debuff. New egg greater than Micro Center for computer parts. Their customer servers. Service is five eggs compared to Micro Center's two stars. I built my PC with New Egg. I, I like New Egg. Yo, what up, Vezzy? Posted a pick of Jen. I think you'll like it. Gotta be careful in here. Hey, thank you, Niels. What up, dude? What up, dude? All right, so the death run is getting started at 7 p.m. Eastern. Well, we're gonna do invites at 6:45. Um, so basically, that would be. Three hours and 45 minutes is where we're going to start doing uh, invites. Or when we're going to start doing invites, rather. So that's how much time you got, dog. And hey, thanks for the bits, bro. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I got a bad CPU from them, but it happens. Ah, oh, damn. Yo, that sucks. I suppose you're right. It, it does happen, right? Hey, Jack as well. Coming in with the biddies. Yo, thank you for keeping up our graphical tradition, Jack. Thank you, dog. And indeed, Big Dick Diddies for this Big Dick Thursday, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you. And Clouds coming on down. What up, Clouds? Ripping the 11-month resub as well, man. Clouds, you were here since the early days. We're just getting started. 
just getting warmed up. The fact that you're still here and chilling through all the ups and downs, all the trials and the tribulations, our entire journey, bro, it means a lot to me, dude. Thank you for supporting the whole way, and thank you for just enjoying the stream, dog. Anyone use Opie in Classic or Wrath? Ooh, I don't, but I've, I've, I've fucked around with it in retail a little bit. And Jotty, what up, Jotty? How's it going, dude? Perfect void. Indeed. Uh, yo, Deej, what's your favorite classic class? Probably Warlock, man. But for hardcore, I, I enjoy playing Rogue more. But my favorite class is probably Warlock. Oh, be safe, Sue. Don't fuck around with that tornado warning. Nearly a year, but I know, Clouds. Is, it's insane. It's actually insane, man. Uh, got a bad monitor from Newegg once, but they swapped it out, no problem. Yeah, uh, see, that's that's like chat energy. I get that shit happens. As long as they're cool with, like, the replacements, and it and, and it's painless, and it doesn't take you, like, a fucking month to get your the part that you paid for, that's cool with me. I get that shit happens, right? I don't know. Delivery driver could be slammed having a bad day. Maybe they drop the package, and it damages the part a bit. As long as they're chill about replacing it, no harm, no foul. I know, Doc. Indeed, bro. Been a pleasure day in and day out. Thank you, Clouds. Yours is Hunter. Hey, Hunter's a great choice too, Ben. Hunter's a fantastic choice, bro. Okay, Vezzy. Is this the shade of Aranicus? Hmm, not sure how he died. Beats me, bro. Beats me, dude. No clue how you got that one down. Hmm, that's weird. Um... Bug? But there are a lot of classic bugs. Pro probably bug, man. Be careful. Be careful. You're ready to run. He he's going to spring back up at any moment. What is your group comp, by the way? Pally Druid 2 Hunters. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, see, that looks much better than what we had, dude. Because what you got? You got two uh, You got two Hunter pets, two Intimidations, and, an o and what looks like the Hunter or the Pally is clearly deeps because he's popping off on the meters, right? So you got a little OT. That's the kind of comp you need in hindsight. That that's a good comp to actually kill Aranicus. Good shit, bro. Way to get him down. Be better than me, dude. Oh, is Wrath classic though, not in hardcore. Oh. I kind of talked you up there, Vessi, for a second. I appreciate you being honest, dude. Hey, it's still BDE, man. Way to go. Way to get it down. Shaman all day, BB, then priest. Shaman's got some pre uh, pretty sweet quests associated with it. Class quests are great. That was one of my favorite things about the classic stuff, and why I like Warlock a lot is because the class fantasy is so good in classic, like as a Warlock. Like, uh, I still remember how epic it was to do that Dreadsteed quest in Dire Maul. Bro, I was so excited. So excited to do that kind of shit. And doing all the quests to get the different demons, like, man, I loved it. Loved it. Alright, Alo. We'll see you, dog. Enjoy the nap, man. Talk to you later, dude. <laughs> Doe. Uh, Deed's living off grazing. Pudding Tater. Okay, dog. Hey, Pudding Tater, listen. First of all, good to see you, bro. Second of all, um, I would like to go ahead and, 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 and point this, excuse me, point this out. Um, when we get later on in the dungeon, the mobs there are going to be, uh, well, well, the final dungeon, or the final boss in the dungeon specifically, he is going to be yellow because he's 20... 29, so. You know. It's just the early bit of the dungeon. It's a little... It's a little ZZ'd, right? But it's all good. We in there regardless. Hey, what up, Sandro? I was always so jealous, jealous of the Warlock mounts. I mean, they look so fucking sweet, man. I loved it. I played Enhancement and Resto Shaman, and my brother would always play Arms Warrior good times. Hey, it's a Wind Fury combo, bro. Are you gonna play Lords of the Fallen? I don't know. I, I've heard a little bit about Lords of the Fallen, but, but I... I'm not sure if I'm going to check it out or not. I'm, I'm still kind of marinating on it. Because uh, I want to make up for lost time. You know, because we fucking died on our, on our rogue. So, I guess it depends on how much steam we catch, right? That's kind of my litmus test. Cool. Solid here. Solid here. Just in a little Frost Nova. How much gold is the mount again? It's like 90. Well, it, it's split. Like, the, you, gotta, you gotta pay for the training, 
and you got to pay for the mount itself. So when you, I, I think when you bundle everything together, it's like a, around ninety, I think, depending on your uh, your rep and shit too. Hey, Neil's coming on in with a gifted dude. Not even the gifted, bro. Ten gifted. It lagged the chat. It's looking for people to hand those out to, man. That's that, There it goes. There's the BDE, dude. Hey, Niels. Dog, you were in here yesterday slinging the BDE, bro. You came in hot and heavy with 10, and now you're back with another 10, bro. Niels, thank you, dude, for all the support. Not only the 10 here, but all, but all, all the support before that, too. It, thank you, bro. Thank you. That, that's, that's quite generous of you, dude. And it cheers to you, Niels. Thank you, bro. Thank you. If anyone's listening, got one of those from Niels, man. Reach out. Let him know that you're thankful. And, and Niels, bro, thank you again for the BDE, bro. You think Blizzard is going to announce Classic Plus? I think... I, I hope so. I think I'm too biased. I gotta be honest with you. I think I'm too biased to um, properly assess, assess it because it makes so much sense to me and looking at it from a business POV and a couple of other uh, other like I'd say macro level things to consider. It 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 seems like a great option for the future of classic, but I can't sit here and and tell you for certainty because I'm very biased. Like classic is is sort of my main well hardcore is sort of my main squeeze at the moment. So, you know, obviously I'm gonna like look at it differently. You see? I, I think it does make a lot of sense. And I'll say this I would not be surprised to see it at BlizzCon. I think if it does come out, or, or does get announced, we'll see it at BlizzCon. That's my thoughts. Hey, and Hap, what up, Hap? Coming in with a raiding party. Welcome, guys. We're doing a little bit of hardcore BFD here. We got the Death Run coming on later this evening at 7 p.m. to Gurubashi Arena. And we also have a, a fallen, fallen priest there that figured things out. Thank you, Hap. Hey, good to see you, dog. How are things rolling with you? And Faja coming in with a follow in the Twitch chat. What's up, man? Appreciate that follow, dude. Thank you, thank you. And Devil, what up, Devil? The day is going great, man. We're just big chilling. What about you, dude? How are things going? How do you shower, loofah, washcloth, or hand? Oh, you want to poll the chat on that one, Jen? Now, I'm down to run this poll. I think this one's going to be spicy. I think this is going to be a hot and heavy debate. All right? Let me make sure, though, that we uh, properly kill these ads, and then we'll run that poll. If you're cool with me being patient, I'm down to stir the pot, rough up some spice. Now, just to get things going, me personally, I'm team loofah. But the thing about loofahs, are that you have to pay close attention to them. Like, you can definitely get a little moldy, a little mildewy loofah if you're not careful, right? You, you, it's it, it's sort of like, you know how sometimes you, you clean the dish sponge in your sink? It's sort of the same vibe, but for your body, right? So I'm team loofah, personally. I love Classic Plus and Cata Classic. I really don't want to stop at ICC. I think, I, I think you're, you're, you're certainly not alone. You're certainly not alone, man. It, they're at a crossroads, and I'm very curious to see how they're gonna proceed with the with classic, just as a let's call it a franchise, even though it it's part of a broader franchise. But just to be easy, it's called a franchise. I'm very curious to see what how they're gonna handle the franchise moving forward. Hey, thank you, Hop. Yo, I appreciate you again, dog. Thank you, bro. You want them to do like wow, what if? Kind of asking Marvel, what if series? Well. I, I guess, um, I guess that's a way to, I've never heard of that comparison, but that kind of makes sense. Washcloths or bust? See, the thing about washcloths, I feel like washcloths and loofahs are very similar. Chris the ball, dude. Thank you for the bits, bro. Okay, yo, loofahs. It's not like a walk, man. You, you don't. It's not like a cast iron skillet, dog. You don't need to be out here seasoning your loofah, crystal ball. Years, certain zest. Not two things you want to hear in loofahs. Straight up, bro. Um, I'm surprised it's intact. All right, I'm surprised it's not in shambles, dude. Dude, you probably have a micro colony growing on your loofah and on your skin at large at that matter, man. But if it's what you like, you do you, bro. Hey, it's good to see. Hey, yo, how was your kid's birthday yesterday, Crystal Ball? You guys get turning Applebee's or what? That sounded like a like a fun time. Oh, man. Hey, yo, F in the chat. We have a fallen friend. 
We got Basterner dying at level 12. While in Mirror Lake, slain by McGrain the Sly. F of the chat for our fallen friend, dog. F of the chat for the fallen. Gotta roll it back. Gotta roll it back. Send the Lufa. I will test it. Chris, well, if you want to send it to him. No. Pro tip by use Lufas online to save money. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, dude. You don't want to be watching with somebody else's stank, bro. Hey, thank you, Achigo, for the bits, dog. But yeah, you don't want to be watching with watch uh washing your, your loins with you know someone else's scent, musk, bacterium, if you will. Hell no, dude. Y'all are flirting with death, man. Deej wears the same socks and underwear for seven days at a time. All right, listen, I'll admit this. I, I, I like basketball shorts. I, I like to wear those. I like to wear sweatpants. You guys, even some pajama bottoms, okay? You guys see me in those on stream quite often. Those are okay. I will re-wear, like, specifically those three items, you know, like, like a, an extra day, right? No, that's even worse. Do not borrow lose use loofahs at the gym. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, bro. But don't do that, guys. But yeah, I will rewear like basketball shorts because I don't get them dirty or anything sitting here. But like shirts and undies, that's a daily thing. Okay, that's that's uncalled for. My my loofah is not covered in spaghetti and ranch. Thank you, Ty Jackula. <laughs> That's an S tier meme, though. But you could could you imagine how delicious you would smell? I think you'd smell lovely, right? Going commando, dude. I can't do that. I I can't do that. Unless like they're really silky pants, bro. Commando's not my style. Straight up. It ages like fine sports addict. Hey, uh, no, nah, I don't, Z boy. I just go whatever. No, dude, I'm not. I can't go get my loofah right now, bro. I, I'm in BFD, man. We can't just... We, we, we've got friends in here, dude. We can't just leave them to go get a loofah. Thank you for the bits, dog. All right, that's fair. That's fair. That's a fair criticism, Machigo. Thank you for the bits. That, that, that... How do I get out of this? How do I get out of this? Um, it was for spite. That's what it was, Achigo. It was for spite. Um, I, I literally couldn't believe how bad they were, and so I waited, hoping, trying to give them an out, and it just never came. Just never came. So, but it's that's a fair criticism. Man, Deej, you t make that Spro look so good. I just went and got some myself. I'm, I'm a Spro guy, dude. I'm a Spro guy. This man won't go get his loofah because he knows how ragged it is. It's not rat. No, I don't have a raggedy loofah, dude. It's clean. It's fresh. It's even like pastel green. You know that friendly little like lime frog green? It's a good loofah. It's a good loofah. Hey, Pyrese coming on in with a follow in the Twitch chat. What's up, dog? Thank you, bro. I appreciate that follow, man. Thank you, dude. And let's get a pet polar bear. Little Panda Express action. Good to see you, dude. Prove it or riot. All right, I'll go get my loofah after the dungeon. All right, let's, we're just let's we. I'll nip this in the bud. It's green because it's diseased. All right, this is. I will go get my loofah after the dungeon, and and we'll do a little show and tell, uh, a, a a little sniff and scent. All right, on the loofah, I'll show you guys. It's fresh. I I promise. It might even still be a little damp from the shower that I took this morning. Right, if we're lucky, but you guys will see it. Your dungeon buds will understand that loofah proof is greater than BFD. I don't know if that's going to be a unanimous decision, dude, to be honest with you. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know that for a fact. Deej, Deej's loofah emphasis on oof. Well, yeah. Isn't that how you say loofah? It's bubblegum pink. I just know that it's bubblegum pink. No, it's like frog green. Like, it's friendly frog green. That's all it is, dude. Bubblegum pink. Hey, safe travels to you as well, Elizabeth. Safe travels, bro. No, no, it's, it, it's green. That's the, that's the thing. 
She's married. You know that she is getting him a new one on the regular. Let's uh, hold up, Davina. Like, d d does just curate my lufus? Sure. Okay. Sure. But that doesn't mean that it's you know that 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 it's any any less fresh. I suppose, right? Right. Like 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 that. We we shouldn't look at this this as like a, oh Deej didn't do it so it's not a Deej dub we're a team right? marriage is a team yeah so it, it's more like a community dub hashtag ranch bat what does that even mean <laughs> what does that mean dude <laughs> oh man dude ranch bat what the fuck does that mean. He just used loofahs releasing on his website. Oh, no. No, I'm not going to be selling my used loofahs, bro. For, for a low price. That, that, that's Hold up. Now, that's a custom item that I can't really do at scale, Penny. So if you're serious about buying one of my used loofahs, man, DM me. I can give you a spreadsheet. We got some options, depending on how used you want it. Yeah? just But, but we got to hash that out. Off stream, you know what I mean? Hey, thank you for the bits, doc. When you get out of the shower, what do you dry first on your body? My hair. My hair. I, I, I do a top-down dry action. Because if you do bottom-up, what's good? Okay, so if I dry my feet off first, right? What's going to happen is your, your, the drippings from your, your upper body. What the fuck is this? Give me a second. Nice. Okay. The drippings from the body. Like, okay. They're going to get the rest of your, your yourself wet. You see what I mean? If your hair is dripping and you wash your shins, your shins are just going to get droplets on them. So it only makes sense to go a top-down dry style. You know what I mean? Otherwise, you're going to be draw, drying uh, or redrying multiple parts. Loot for a low price. <laughs> hey, you got the vibe, man. Exactly. Uh, Dude, your guy on BFD is talking about your loofah also. Yeah, I wouldn't blame it. Wouldn't blame him. <laughs> Deej hates ball pit. No! Hold it. No, hey, Achigo, pause, dog. Now, I don't know if you could see. That's not exactly a... Uh, look, look at this hairline, bro. Does this look like it's ready for 20 years of life? No. All right. I'm well on my way to being a little Johnny Sins hairstyle. You see what I mean? Like, I'm right there. Okay, I've got the balding gene. I know what I'm going to be working with. And, I mean, fuck, even maybe five years, dude. The only bald person that I don't fuck with is Caillou. Fuck Caillou. Caillou's a bitch. A bitch. Fucking Caillou. I can't do this again. I already got... I got a warning on TikTok for fucking bullying Caillou last time. Like, I'm not doing this again. The <laughs> same reason, devil. That's why I don't start with the, with the southern regions is because, you know, you're going to get drippings on them. From, from all the... Hey, thank you for the bits, by the way, Davina. I defend him and he flashes an attitude. Okay, my fault. I didn't... My fault. I'm sorry, Davina. I wish that was me, Matthias, but I, I never got the opportunity to enjoy it. His, uh, his reason is so he's less wet. Imagine instead that he doesn't wash his face with his Oh. Yeah, okay. Um, I see what you've done there. It's all me, bro. I, I mean, I'm all clean at this point. Like, 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 I'm I'm like reset. So so just because I go south to north, right? That that's it's not like I'm fresh out of fucking, you know, the planet fitness sauna, you know, dripping. You, you see what I mean? I'm all fresh. I'm reset at this point, so it's no harm, no foul, right? <laughs> to Jacula? Rock a skullet, bro? What's a skullet? I, I know what a mullet is, but I've never heard of a skullet. Deej goes back and hard sniffs his towel after his showers. Yo, I wish, I fucking wish technology was advanced enough to where we could do these simulations on the fly. I want to see, like, I, I, I just, I wish we could build a little simulation of me and watch it and the parameters of this simulation are literally just how you guys think I'm living. What you guys think I do. Alright. It, it, it would just be full-on degenerate behavior 100% of the time. I wake up and I'm immediately looking for the most offbeat fucking degenerate thing I could get into. 
as soon as I wake up. No, no coffee, no warm up. It's just what are we doing, right? Immediately, it's like setting my fucking alarm to rock and roll McDonald's or something, right? That's probably how it would start. And if no one's heard rock and roll McDonald's, man, go give it a listen. It's 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 quite a, a, a an artwork, if if anything, or Ram Ranch. Yeah, it's a similar Ram Ranch idea. Hey, thanks, Nasilla. How are you finding... Wait, how... You are finding your My Little Pony jar first. Okay, that's Cap. I would like to say that that's Cap. I've never even seen an, a full episode of My Little Pony. Okay. I... I don't... I, I couldn't even name you, like, four ponies. Straight up. Thank you, Nasilla. And Dot, thanks for the visit as well. Fun fact... Almost every hand that you've shaken has had a dongle in it. I could have lived my life without thinking about that, bro. I got to be honest. That I could have, I could have, I could have lived a full life without knowing that. <laughs> Leon. Oh, it's a bald. Okay, it's it's bald on top, long hair in the back. Oh, it's like that one human hairstyle, right? That my warlock had. Oh, okay. I guess if we if we could rock it in the game, we could rock it IRL, right? If it's no harm, no foul, dry your crack in your eyelids next time. Eyelids? Well, no, dude. No, whatnot. Like, okay, that's... Oh, I see I see what you've done. Uh, that's There's uh, an exception needs to be made for that because that's like Pink Eye City, bro. Straight up. That's like Pink Eye City. I put a pic in selfies of my moment. Hold up. We, we, got, we got some boss action. Click all four candles as fast as you can. I know that's cat pinkening. I know that's that's not that's in fact the exact opposite of what you're supposed to do. Uh Deej when cleaning the swipe or graze? What is what do you mean graze? Gray graze is when like fucking cows are chewing on grass, man. What you mean by graze in this context, dude? Let me open up some shells. One second. Hey, that's true, perfect boy. So you're on one, dude. You're on one. Oh, nice, Adam. I fuck with that. Full streamer voice. <laughs> that my little pony jar is a safe bet? No, 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 no. I, I'm not, no. No, it's not a safe bet. Again, I, I would like to publicly denounce that as an activity that I even consider at any given time. Okay. That's not in the realm of my daily activities, my, right? My itineraries. It's nowhere close. It's nowhere close. No, no mason jars. No, 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 my little pony. No, no, none of that. None of that. The fuck you mean hairstyle? Okay, Vezzy. That one human hairstyle, AI Deej. You guys get what I'm saying? It's like, like Elwin. Like in the game. Like literally, there, there, it's a human hair. You know what we mean, right? Jacket, let me get out of this boss fight. Thank you for the bits, man. We'll check out that mullet, bro. Uh, it's like Bill Bailey hairstyle. Google it. Okay, that one is also gonna. We will get, give that a Google as soon as we get we get out of this uh, little tribunal of flame. Bro slipped up. I wasn't the only one to catch that. You talk about the AI human thing? No, dude. I just it, I meant the human wow race world of, in World of Warcraft. I know, Kieran. I know, dude. It's it's my problem. It's my problem. I know, Sir Boofing Ten. It's tough titties, bro. But I, I, it's the situation that we're in, man. It's what won the vote, so we gotta keep it moving. We only work with the tools we're given, dog. You know what I mean? Deej, how often do you shake your grandma's hand? Um. I mean, we hug, dude. I we hug. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I don't really shake my grandma's hand. I, we hug, dude. Is that worse? That might be worse. Oh, uh, uh, hey, thank you for the clammy meat. Like, just kind of letting the water doing its thing. Hashtag. Brony ranch back. Okay. Well, I I, uh, I see. Nah, I don't graze. Uh, I mean, I'm team bidet, but I think you know that at this point because I've always, I've 
been very publicly team bidet for a while. Um, but that's not grazing. That's like power washing, right? I mean, I mean, the, 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 there's 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 pressure there. A judicial coming on in with the seventh. Wait, let's let TTS Brian take it home. Come on, Brian. Happy seventh, bro. Of course, man. A hey, of course, judicial. Thank you for being here and enjoying in the memory, man. It's been a hell of a time, and it's been an honor having you here, bro. The laughs, the memes, the wholesomeness, the whole nine. Judicial, thank you again for just enjoying the stream and enjoying the memes, dog. And the seventh month as well, man. That's quite BDE. Thank you, bro. Thank you for the seventh month result, dude. And a happy seventh to you, too. We don't know what you mean, Deej. Or was that the AI talking? No. No. It w I'm not, Adam. I don't, have a, I don't have anything ready for it. How old your grandma then? I mean, she's like 90. Or like like late 80s. She's pretty old. It's not, Jimbo. Rogue's down. Rogue's down. It's fun, though. I will give you Druid. It's fun. Druid is very fun. Druid is very fun. But I'm also worried about what we're doing at the end game. We'll, we'll likely heal. AID is confirmed by the community. I passed... What do you mean, dude? I passed all the captures yesterday. Oh, yeah, Preston. It's big chilling. Big chillin'. Is your grandma single by any chance? Negative. She's not. She's not. I'm sorry to report. I'm sorry to report. Guys, grandma's not single. She's uh, been married to my, uh, my grandpa since... Like, I think they were like teenagers. I'm pretty sure. Before owning the bidet, I used to smear... I used to dry smear... To clean... Oh, God. What do you mean? Dry smear? Bidet is superior to a lot Thank you, Pony Tater. You're, hey, you're right. Hey, listen, whatever you did before, man, it it's in the past. Let's let, the, let's let history remain history. You know what I mean? Go get that loofah. Do you really want me to go get the loofah now? We're right here at the boss. Do you want me? I mean, I'll go get the Lufa now, I guess, but like, don't we want to pull the boss? Right? JK? Okay, I will I will get the Lufa. I haven't forgotten. Let's we kill the boss first. And I got you. Let's do it. Let's rip it. Pudding has a two in one bidet and water fountain. Pause. Oh, don't oh my god, dude. Hell no. Hell no. She's not. She, uh, Deej's gram, uh, grandma is, is not open for dating, sadly. I'd still try. I mean, hey, good luck, dude. My, my grandpa's kind of a, like, he's, he's a, he's a, he's a battle-hardened dude. Good, good luck. Good, good luck, man. Yeah, he's old, but I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try him. The loofah is good luck. Oh, real? Y'all having a, y'all have a bidet loofah? I don't even want him. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to imagine. Hey, thank you for the best side, Jackula. And Jen, thank you. Same. Same. Using just toilet paper. Just made up F, uh, F tier. Toilet hygiene. Yeah, just for, for TP. Yeah, I don't fuck with the TP. It, I just feel cleaner. How often do you... I don't even know what that is, bro. The fuck is that? Do I want to even know? That sounds horrendous. I'm trying to think. Is, is it like is it like a knife? Yeah, lucky WTF. Yeah, WTF, dude. The fuck is that? Oh, care. We've got an angry lizard. Care. Get to do a little swipe. Ultimate red flag. No one deserves that. Mm-hmm. Oh, they say old couples are more commonly swingers, though. I, not the case here. Guaranteed. They're very old-fashioned. Aw, oh, damn, Basterner. Hey, after the chat for you, dude. No. Doc, no. No. No, no. No, 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 dude. Unless you're sitting over here with, 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 with like, a, like, like a world record gastrointestinal tract, the circumference of uh, should be fine. Man. I mean, unless you're going for world records like a South Park episode, you should be fine, man. You shouldn't have any issues, dude, like that, that require a spoon or any other utensil. Doc overacting like he's eating chocolate ice cream. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Rod. I agree with that. I agree with that. Yes. Yes. Let's go to Darn. 
Let's go to Scott Sandpaper. I don't have a spoon, dude. I don't, I don't, ha I guess I don't wash it because I don't have it, right? Yeah, that's the truth. That's the truth. It's not the circumference, it's the length. Okay. I, I thought circumference would be the thing to clog. You know what I mean? <laughs> Dijacula, I don't. I don't. Straight up, not true. My, uh, my poops often require tool use. Okay. Uh, Alrighty. Alrighty. Loofah time. I'm gonna get the loofah. Let me go grab it. I just Can I get on a flight path? Uh, let me turn these in. We'll get on a flight path. I'll go grab the loofah. I don't even know how to respond to that. Thank you for the bits, dude. Ever feel disappointed when you don't have a good poo and it vanished? Uh, I don't know. I think it depends on what I got going on. Like, if I'm in a rush, right? Sometimes less is more, right? If I'm slammed and I... You know, trying to get out of there. Sometimes less is more, you know what I mean? Hey, Eric coming in with the roses. What's up, Eric? And thank you, dog. It's great to see you. Thank you, bro, for those roses. And moi coming in with a heart as well. Thank you, bro. Thank you, thank you. Deej, would you spend 12 months on the ISS or skydive to work for three months? Oh, I'm going skydiving. 100%. I don't think I could deal with the loneliness of the International Space Station for a full year. Um... But but I'm kind of already an adrenaline junkie. Like I really like roller coasters, right? Um, big theme park fanatic. Like like most rides, minus the um, like like the the drop towers don't really scare me at all. So I I de like skydiving is something I want to do in general. So I definitely go skydiving for sure. Definitely. Hey, Doc, coming in with the bits as well. All right, I gotta get from home or go home from work now. Thanks for the last, of course, dog. Hey, thank you for fueling it, man. We'll see you later, bro. Have a have a great drive. No, a Chico, bro. Set up the poll first. All right, I will set up the poll. You're right, Jen. Let me. Um. Well, now that we hit thirty, right? Yep, we hit the big three L. This does add one more to do. Let me go trade my spells. We'll set the poll up. We'll run that while I'm gone. Getting the loofah. I'll get the loofah while we're on the flight path, and we'll go from there. We'll go from there. Hey, thank you, Devil. Uh, not yet, DY. I think you get travel form at 30, though. So, we're, like, we're literally about to get it, right? Let's see. Uh, Fairy Fire. Wrath. Okay, they're kind of, this is kind of expensive. Yep, okay, let's just do travel form. Um, wow. Okay, Shred is, I do use Shred a decent amount. But I'll get Mark of the Wild first. Um, like, I'm not gonna use Trank, like, right now. So, it's either Shred rank two or it's regrowth rank two i feel like i'm not really casting that that many regrowths to be honest with you 255 290 318 to 360 so it's like 50 60 extra hp or extra damage on the shred opener i kind of like extra damage on the shred opener i'm gonna take that i'm gonna take that i'm i'm all right though I'm all right, though. Hey, GG's, boys. GG's all. Um, let me make sure everything gets... Yep, the shredded and everything is macroed. Um, the, I know my fairy fire is macroed, so that'll all, always go to the bar. Um, so we're good there. What else? We, we chill and otherwise? Yep. And then Mark of the Wild, also macroed. Sweet. All right, so really all we got now is travel form. Let me get that open. Key bindings. Control 4. Or escape. Control 4. Thank you, Gutcore. Now I can go learn the rest of my spells. Thank you, buddy. That was very... Hey, get the spells. I'm getting the spells. Thank you, Chief. I'm getting the spells. It's so nice to see a streamer with a realistic amount of gold for their level. Yep. This me. <laughs> One gold with five silver. <laughs> it's a struggle bus, Steggy, but we riding that bus, man. We're, we're sitting right behind the fucking driver, dog. We're struggling, but we're there. Hey, thank you, Tubby. I appreciate the congrats, dude. Thank you. Uh, I'll... Ah, bat, nah, nah, nah. Fuck Bash. It, and it has nothing to do with the fact that I can't afford to get it. Fuck Bash. We, we, we'll, we'll let that one sit for a little bit. Hey, thank you, Ty Jacula. I'm trying to... Don't, I, Ranch, that sounds a little sus, bro. I, if you put some English, some anger on that, that the, hey, that might get you canceled, dude. That, that <laughs> Ranch back, dude. <laughs> if you're having gold problems, I feel bad for you, son. Yeah. 
Okay, we'll fix it though. Because we, we, yeah, we'll fix it. You show what goggles you have? Green tinted. Green tinted. And no, I get you, Snaggy. No, 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 you're straight. Hey, we're on the same page, bro. We're on the same page. What kind of motorcycle do you have, Deej? None. Null. The, the null motorcycle. Where is our payout, Deej? Well, I mean, hey, Mr. Ad, if you want a share of this 51 silver and, and four copper, man. I could probably spare you a silver. Come on down, bro. I'll give you... You could get a couple of apples and hey, maybe some refreshing spring water with that budget. All right. That's, but that's the best I could do, man. Let's go to Aberdeen. I think so, Dan. And I'm enjoying it. Hey, Eric coming in with the roses as well. Yo, thank you, Eric, for running all those roses back, man. Thank you, dog. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate all that. Question, do you need to learn rebirth? Negative. Negative. And I am, Brad. I am. It was a quick BFD. It was nice and chill. I mean, we had a juice group. We were, we were uh, also over-leveled for it ourselves. So, you know, nice and easy peasy. Um, let me get the, where's this at? Details off. Uh, cool. Let's reload. And then we got, we got Jen's poll. All right. So this is what start this loofah debate. How do you shower? Jen cashed in for this poll. All right. Do you shower with a loofah, a washcloth, or your hand? I'm going to put this up in the Twitch chat. Um, and then if, so if you're there, just go ahead and vote in the poll. If you're in the talk chat, just put it in the comments. I will count that out manually. And for those of you guys who gambled that the degenerates would not die, you are correct. Enjoy your extra points. Now I have to go get my fucking loofah. One second. See, it, it's, it is still a little damp, all right? I don't know how much you... See? Look at that. It's fresh. You can even see the water glistening still, yeah? That, that is a fresh loofah, all right? It's clean. Um, it, it smells pretty good as well. Um, I don't really know what else to say, but there's the loofah. Let me go put this back. So yeah, I'm Team Lufa. Hey, Eric, thanks for the heart, man. Thank you, dog. Appreciate the heart, my friend. Okay, we got Lufa votes over in the talk chat as well. When does the bedang start? I'm not gonna... Now, I think that's uh, that's anti-TOS. I, I don't think I could do any bedang, dude. Um, let's see what the poll looks like, though. On uh, On what's going on. Okay, here's the split. Here's the split in the Twitch chat. That loofah is more worn out. Okay. I mean, I shower frequently, dude. I've got good hygiene. It's going to get some wear and tear. If, if I had a pristine loofah, that'd be a problem because that means it doesn't get any use. It looks like overwhelmingly you guys are team loofah, both in the Twitch and the talk chat. Well, not overwhelming because it was 11A, but, but yeah, loofah takes it home. Anyone else see that dingy brown in it? No. Not a shred, dude. Not a shred. <laughs> gotta watch out for those, Deej. Uh, I had to stop using that style when it caught when it got caught on a piercing. Ah, okay. I don't have any piercings, so luckily I'm big chilling. That dude, that must have hurt. Oof, dude. Yeah, that must have really hurt. Yikes. I could definitely see why you'd pass on it. Uh, did we miss the manuscript somewhere? Yeah, we did, but it's fine. Alrighty. Well. Let's, uh, I think we're going next up to where, I think we're going to go to wetlands still. Uh, let me make sure. Yeah, nothing there. there. There was something in Ironforge, I think. Or something like that, maybe. No? Am I tripping? I might be, I, I, I might be tripping. Uh, whatever. All right. Wetlands it is. Let's go. Let's go. No one died in, in the dungeon. No one died in the dungeon. We're big chilling there. Um, let's see what we got here. Thanks for sharing your info from your alt TikTok account, Deej. 
Not this fucking beanie. God damn it, Pudding Tater. Not this beanie dude again. Hey, thank you, Soup Guts. Thanks, Soup Guts. Thanks, bro. Let's look at this beanie dude. Bro, I don't sound like an old southern woman. That's what I think that's what he's doing is a joke, dude. I, I don't sound like that, man. I'm I'm not about to cook up some fat back with a pound of butter, dude. Right? I'm just chilling. I'm just over here. I'm hanging out. No, that's not me, Steggy. What that doesn't look like me. Right? No, that's not me, dude. It's not my old. <laughs> I don't I don't even know how Putty Tater, what led you to this conclusion? That this was my ult account. Hey, let's get a Gumby. Steph, hey, good to see you as well. How are we doing today? Dude, I feel like there are germs growing on everything inside of the bathroom, so I use the hands. Hey, fair, dude. If that's your play, that's your play, dog. I respect it. There probably are. There probably are. Uh, let me let me do a quick sell. Because all this is just like, yeah. Uh, we got food. That gets cooked. That doesn't. That gets sold. That gets sold. Boom. Boom. Uh, moist cornbread. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to ship this. Uh, we missed the... We missed uh, selling those, but it's fine. All right. Boom. These are going to be the cleanest bags we, we've had so far, I think. Or at least in a hot minute. That's going to get shipped. Well, no, we'll keep that because that's an overflow. That's fine. All the meat goes... Cool. All right. Nice. Almost there. This is going to be such a satisfying organize. Chris, well, thank you for the bits, dude. Thank you. It doesn't do the job, man. I'm going to tell you this right now. It doesn't do the job. It really doesn't, bro. It, it, it really doesn't. Oh, that is pretty sweet. Oh, that is pretty cool. It's playing out a controller? Well, the Xbox? The console? That's awesome. Crystal Ball, be hygienic, man. Voice cord bread would be gas right now. Hey, true. Anti Jackula. Yo, thank you for the bits, dude. Thank you. It is Plectrum. Gent, Crystal Ball makes me throw up in my mouth at least one stream. I don't think you should have said that, Jen. Now, under normal circumstances, that is appropriate, but Crystal Ball is what we call a... Crystal Ball is uh, built different. He's, a, he's a, an oddity. Um, and so, you know, knowing Crystal Ball's mind and its intricacies, he, he, he will take that statement and somehow spin it in a different light. Just get, give him a little bit of time to brew, a little bit of time to marinate. Crystal Ball will 100% flip the script on this. Guaranteed. Bottle of water with a hole in the cap, a traveling bidet. Okay. Again, that doesn't feel sanitary, right? It just, it, technically, I guess, but, but not really. Low, is it anti cup of cheese when you splash? Yeah. Yes, Pudding Tater, that, that's not a vibe. Defi yep, Defy's Pillager. Thank you, Steph. Deech, have you seen the Dwarf RP Hardcore Guilds that have been popping up? I haven't. I've never seen those. Dwarf RP Guides? Or Dwarf uh, RP Guilds? Nah. That sounds pretty sweet, though. Dwarf RP Hardcore Guilds. Hmm. Should I not be using my dog as a bit? No. No, what not? You should not be. You should not. No. Definitely not. Definitely not. That is not a play. That is not a play. <laughs> Your kid. Deej, what cities have auctioneers? Uh, uh, fucking all the capital cities, I think. Uh, asking cities to use them. Um, I do on my bank alt off stream, but like you know, unless it's like a pretty valuable item, I'll just ship it. 
Um, and, and, and I like ship everything to my bank all instead of going through and finding an auctioneer on stream because it's kind of, yeah. So anything I do like to sell, it just gets mailed to them instead and I do it later. I got a couple of perennial bottles in case you all need just FYI nasties. Hey, thank you, Fryer. Thank you for the bits as well, by the way. Thank you. It is a play, but not the play. That's a good way to put that. That is a great way to put that. It's a possibility, but not what you should do, right? So, you've got the gold in the bank hole, but not the character that you play. Most of the time, I mean, I have a decent amount of gold in the bank hole. Um, a lot of it was left over from my rogue. Um, but yeah, I usually don't keep a lot of gold on, on my druid. Because, um, I don't know if you die, right? I don't want to die with like 10 gold. You, you know what I mean? be kind of sad so like periodically um i'll look and see what i've got and you know if it if it feels like it's i have more than what i need to continue with the character with and i just i mail it to the bank hole to keep it safe that's been my strat that's been my strat all right rodrigo hey you have a great day dog thanks for memeing thanks for hanging i hope to see you later dude we need thorns and we need well fed too and uh, can I wear this? Uh, yeah, let's do the defense spot now. Ten in it isn't even a lot. Yeah, but like, I'd rather save ten than lose ten. You know what I mean? Like, gets us a little bit rolling on like a starter character. You know, at least better than nothing is what I'm saying. So you know, if I feel like I got a uh, an excess at the end, I'll I'll take whatever I feel like is excess and just ship it because I'd rather not die with it. It adds up though. Yeah, I mean it's just better than nothing. That's my mentality. It's greater than zero. Yo, what up, Rob? How we doing, dude? Good to see you. And, uh, Ritten, I see that you have cashed in a, am I the asshole for possessing a, okay, you're asking if you're the asshole for possessing excessive and unheard of video evidence of M. Kelly collecting dead skin from every part of Deej's body at night while whispering, I'm peeling the milk boy, filling a bathtub with it and slithering around like a slug in the dead skin. And not sharing my knowledge of the video evidence. That's heavy. Yes. I'm going to say yes. You, you, you would be the asshole in that, in that situation written. That's so much death. That, like, how do you even... I don't even, I, it's, it's not like I'm out in the sun getting burnt. I'm not peeling, dude. Yeah, you would be. Dang it, I, yeah. Yeah, you would be. Just just being honest with you, dude. Can you help me remember when the winter squid are, hey, thank you, Doe. Doe's got you. Winter spring. Or when? I don't know when they're available. Um, But if, yeah, Doe's got you with the winter spring. But I'm not sure when they're available, to be totally honest with you, man. Hey, afternoon, Granger. How's it going, dude? Hey, we got Bowl My GG coming on in with the follow in the Twitch chat. Welcome, dude. Thanks for that follow, bro. I'm out. Peace, bitches. All right, whatnot. Hey, you stay safe, man. Keep killing it in the lab. Appreciate you memeing as always, dude. And I hope to see you tomorrow, Chief. Take care, bro. Take care. How's the Druid feeling compared to the Rogue? It's faster because we have stuff like Travel Form, Feline Swiftness for Cat Form. Um, I can get around very, very quickly in comparison to the Rogue. Um, also, self-heals. That's nice, right? Outside of bandage and shit. Um, so yeah, pretty sturdy. A lot faster. A lot faster. I'm enjoying it very much so far. Very much. Westfall? What you mean, monkey? By Westfall. Oh, for the fish? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, thanks, Fryer. I appreciate the shout-out for, for the 30 damage. Oh, where am I? I am in, uh... I'm in wetlands. I'm in the wetlands. Aw, oh, let's get it, Harrison. Hell yeah, dude. Good to see you, by the way, man. Rogue Dying was a canon event for you to enjoy Druid. Hey, maybe, dude. Maybe. Maybe it was fate. Did I miss another dungeon? You did. We did BFD earlier. 
Now, granted, usually when we do the dungeons, I get warmed up a little bit, and, and then we hop in there. But this time around, because we have the death run, I didn't want it to impede, so we just uh, we, we just ripped it at the start. Yo, nice loaf. Did you use a utensil? A tool? Or was it flushable? Do I even, do I even want to know? I don't know why I'm asking you this, dude. It seems kind of personal, right? I guess curiosity. Oh yeah, of course, Dan Gates. I'm happy to do it for you, man. I'm happy to do it for you, dude. Whatever I can do to make that adjustment easier for you, man, um, I hope I can lift the spirits, dog. Thanks for tuning in despite the IRL situation, bro. I can't believe you asked. I can't really either. But sometimes I do things, Mr. Ide, and I immediately regret it. Or or just wonder like why? Like like what what chemical reaction in my brain triggered those actions, you know? Like, I, I wish I could just have a little neurological play-by-play -play on some of the things that I do. Oh, it was buttery smooth? I see what you've done. Nice. Nice. My son's hardcore run had officially started of yesterday. Arthur Elias was born yesterday, 7 p.m., 10 pounds, 5.5 ounces, 20 and, or 5.2 ounces, and 21 and a half inches long. Hey, grats, engine. On fatherhood, dude. Yo, that's big dick. How we feeling? How we feeling, man? What's it like to be a dad? You tired? I heard it's tiring. Like, very tiring. But hey, real tall dude, congrats, man. Big congrats on the sun. Indeed, perfect boy. I'm happy to fill that one. Uh, Polar Bear, you want us to do some awkward whispering? You want us to, to whisper somebody, I have a dirty green loofah that I use solely on my nether regions. Please respond if you're interested in purchasing. All right. Um, who the fuck would be cool with this? How about Kiss You or Goose Belly? Goose Belly's in the hinterlands. Gigglepuff? Lonely Peen? All right, Lonely Peen's going to get this one. Bam. They have been whispered. I'll let you know, Polar Bear. If anyone is going to respond respond properly to that inquiry, it'll be Lonely Peen. That's our that's our play. I'm hoping for the best, man, but I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Actually, apparently in the database, Ajara is the best place to fish them. There it is. Ajara it is. What's your favorite quest line? Probably the Warlock uh, Dreadsteed quest line. Probably the Warlock Dreadsteed quest line. Hey, thanks, Dawn. Not my fault. Thank you, Dan. I don't know why I said Reddit is Dawn. Eyesight's quickly faded, man. My apologies. Thank you, Dan. Uh, you feel like you're leveling faster on the Druid than the Rogue? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Big, big uh, improvements on the speed. You were just, you were curious, but regretted it immediately. Yep. Yep. I'm, I'm genuinely uh, inquisitive with most things, but sometimes that curiosity leads me to discover things that I probably shouldn't really know the answer to. You know what I mean? It's the most beautiful thing that I've ever experienced. Tired, but I'm on cloud nine. It was buttery smooth, like you predicted, Deej. We got discharged later today. Wifey is taking a nap, so Arthur and I are chilling. Yo, that's wholesome as fuck, man. That's wholesome as fuck. Jess and I had a convo last night about, I don't know, the whole kid time frame, so... It's funny now that, like, literally you come in the next day and you're like, BAM, I'm a dad now. That's, a hey, congrats, dog. Congrats. I'm glad to hear that, that that it's everything you ever wish it would be. What level would you say is the halfway to completion based on hours? Uh, it's definitely not 30. I don't know exactly what it is, though. But it's definitely not 30. Anyone know what the true halfway mark is? For uh for Classic WoW? I think it's like... I want to say it's like in the high 40s, maybe? Something like that? Like 44? Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, it's like 44. Deej, what's your favorite candy? Sour Skittles. But they fuck me up. So I can't have them a lot, but they're my favorite. Love Sour Skittles. But they destroy me. I see. Yep, Skittles. Yep. Yep. Skittles in general are really... Are, are fav are, but my absolute favorite is Sour Skittles. But I can't have them a lot. It depends on my pain tolerance.
92 is the halfway point. Hey, for OSRS, yeah. Mathematically, it is 44. Okay, good look. Mathematically, 44. And hey, what's up, dad boy? Good to see you. 44, 40. Okay, 162 said 45. We can all agree, mid 40s. Oh, hey, you called for friends. That's kind of lame, you bitch. Um, what are we doing here? Do we need to be concerned? Nah, nah. Little, little, little sheep, little bear, little roaring. Yeah. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Did the bash miss, Lamal? Oof. Nice, and then we, we go oom to turn into cat. I could rip a pot, but I don't need to, so I'm just gonna wait. 335, yeah, literally two mana off, yikes. Thanks, chat. Uh, DJ soothing him to sleep with his voice. Hey, I'm happy to do it, man. I'm happy to do it. Yes, I'm honored to do so, man. Hell yeah. Did you hear that California banned Skittles? Yeah, I'm upset about it. I get that Red Dye 40 is bad, but like, bro, I love Skittles, so I'm kind of at my, I'm, I'm at a crossing point. I, I don't really know what to do. Yeah, it, it's Sag. I, again, I get Red Dye is bad, but like, bro, I love Skittles, so I, I'm kind of torn. Hey, what up, Simo? You do need a WoW sub to play hardcore, you do. But that's all you need, just a WoW sub. Oh yeah, perfect boy for sure. You should AoE for him. I mean, I, don't, I, I could like bear swipe, but I think that's all I got, man. Just a little bear swipe. All right, Dan. Hey, good luck IRL, bro. I'll see you later. Wait, keep your head up and, and thanks for chilling in the meantime, dude. You, uh, they already sell Skittles with no red dye in the UK. USA is just slow to ban them. Oh, okay. All right. Well, hey, if they've already been through it and they've survived it, that's, that's sweet. I'm down for a healthier Skittle. Do they taste different? That's my next question. Because uh, on top of, you know, I don't know, just the sadness of them getting banned, the red Skittles are also my favorite flavor. Do they taste different? All right, Dan, I'll see you, dog. I'll see you, man. Same rules to level 20. Actually, Hardcore doesn't have a free trial, sadly. No free trial for Hardcore. Are there Hardcore servers Wrath? They're not. They're classic. Bash misses. Punishment for not taking the next level of Bash. I know, that was the first thing I thought about, too. Literally, the I was like, fuck. Shoulda, shoulda, shoulda gotten the next rank, dude. Shoulda gotten the next rank. <laughs> uh, what would you do if you won the Powerball? Someone from Cali just won it? Um, I wouldn't tell anybody. I'd park all the money in, like, a very safe asset and just coast off the interest for life. In ter I mean... In terms of my day-to-day, -day, I'd probably be more or less the same in terms of what I'm doing. I'd probably still stream. I'd probably still, like, meme around and shit. Like, I don't think that would my day-to-day -day would change. Uh, I am a bit of a foodie, so I do think I would, like, order out more. I think I would, like, I wouldn't have any restrictions with that. Like, now I'm kind of, I'm a little bit, uh, I try my best to, like, w like watch my spending. Um, but, you know, if I won the fucking Powerball... DoorDash, Roost, Chris, no problem if I wanted to, right? I mean, that's at the highest level. So, yeah. That's probably, that's really only, I, I think, the only big, like, I'm, I'm not super big into cars or, like, like houses or things like, like, more money, more problems, you know what I mean? Um, so I think largely I'd stay the same. Except I'd probably get fat. Because I'd just be eating, like, every, out every meal, dude. I'd be, like, like lunch, hey, I'm feeling a little chicken parm from Carabas today for lunch, Bam. Uber Eats. It's like, oh, tonight, dude, let, let's let's do a big. Let's just get a tomahawk. Bam. DoorDash. I'd probably get fat, to tell you the truth. But yeah, free freedom, yep. That'd be a big thing. Um, What kind of world we live in where we can't choose to eat bad food? Can't choose to eat bad food. Oh. I, I think it's like a cost thing, really. I, I, I'm really not sure on that, though, to be honest with you, Creamy Thighs. When he's a Chipotle, depends on my mood. If I'm trying to do stuff after Chipotle, because Chipotle, like, I get the bowls, and so I I'm not, like, heavy. You know what I mean? Um, Wendy's, it, it's heavy. Like, it, it's heavier. So I I'll take Chipotle most of the time. Purple Skittles are underrated. Purple Skittles are my number two. I like Purple Skittles. <laughs> Baja. <laughs> yeah, Sovereign. I mean, I will if, like, if we're competing for tags, like, if... You know, if it's like kill 10 Raptors and there's somebody there, like, 
I'll group with them when they're there so we don't have to split the tags, right? Because that kind of sucks, but, you know, that's about it. That's about it. I heard, Ty Jacula. I heard, yeah. Oh, no, you were saying. Yeah, you, you were telling. Yeah. Gotcha, my bad, my bad. Dude, they just released some new sour gummy Skittles, and I'm torn. That is tough. That would... Do we get this? Yeah, that would be a tough one, man. Mmm. I like the texture of the gummies. Like, I I genuinely enjoy that, but sour Skittles are kind of sacred. The next thing I want to try are the freeze-dried Skittles. Red Hot Cheetos next? Not a big Red Hot Cheetos fan. We're, <laughs> loaf? <laughs> Does it bother you that you can't see your mana bar in cat form? Yes and no. I mean, not, not really, because, like, I don't know, I'm just not as bothered by it, but if I was, like, really sweating, then yeah, but I don't know. Most of the time when I level, I'm kind of chill, so it doesn't bother me too much. A foodie? You eat spag and ranch. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Hey, that's a hot, like, just because I've got an unconventional convo doesn't mean I don't enjoy a good, a good little tasty treat. You know what I mean? I'd buy Applebee's and shut them all down. Thank you, Jen. That's, you're doing God's work, man. Thank you, Jen. That's big dick. I didn't know Loaf had a sister. What? What a fucking whirlwind, dude. Jesus, bro. My God. I thought I had intrusive thoughts at like three in the morning, right? I was, I, dude, what I stay up and think about is like, oh man, you remember that time in like the fifth grade where you, you, you fell on the playground and cried? You, you bitch, lol. You, what a cry, but that's what I think about. Dude, that's, this is way worse, man. Oh my God. What a, what a time. To, <laughs> but I don't know if I would have reacted any differently, to be honest with you. I mean, desperate times call for desperate measures, right? I was just horrified with how quickly that took a turn. You did, We did hear that, Fry. We experienced it together, yes. That was quite a journey. That was quite a journey. Ooh, nice, Creamy. Hey, Pavel, good to see you as well, bro. How we doing, dude? How does Cat feel Or right after leveling Druid, since you're mostly in Cat? Faster. Feels faster. Like a faster rogue, you know what I mean? 
What you made of vanilla? Shadow Priest through AQ40 here. Oh, that's sweet, man. Um, well, I didn't really get the chance to play vanilla, sadly. Um, because I got into the game in BC, but I played a warlock. That was my big one, a warlock. Uh, I gotta get in your guild later. I just hit 30 last night. Yo, grats, Christian. And yeah, man, come on down. Would love to have you, bro. Just whisper me or anyone else in the guild. You look Albanian, are you? <laughs> Nah, I'm not Albania, dude. I'm laughing because that's the first time I've heard that. And I actually have an Albanian friend from high school. Um, I'm Dutch. Mainly. Uh, you need to do what I did, DG. Several major concussions and I no longer have an eternal monologue. Several major concussions? How did you give yourself... How well, you didn't give those to yourself, I'm assuming, right? Several major concussions? I mean, there is a thing where, like, I don't know. Like, oh, there was a show that, like, covered really traumatic brain injuries and, like, their effects on, on individuals. Like, one... Uh, I might be remembering this wrong, but there was a dude, I feel like, who, who dove in a shallow swimming pool, hit his head at the bottom, and then he basically re-emerged and he could, like, play any song on the piano with perfect recall. Like, just listening to it once could play it back. Like a superpower kind of thing. That is wifey material. S tier Midwest women are built different. What a ride. That's all I got to say. What a ride that was, man. But I'm happy that... Hey, Kelly. Yo, that was an impeccable thought, man. I'm happy to have taken that journey. I feel like I've learned more now. Right? The possibilities. They're up there. They're up there. <laughs> Alright, Ninja. One second, dude. Let me get to safety and I got you. Do you speak Greek? I wish, man. I wish I was bilingual. That, that's because that's kind of cool. But nah. Despite the meme marine, huh? Joel, you want me to whisper somebody put something in my bum right now, mister? Okay. <sighs> Who's cool? The big fella. Bam. Big fella has gotten that one. I will let you know, Joel. I will let you know if, if they're going to respond to our shenanigans. Are you sure you're Dutch? You definitely look like you're, you've got some Albanian in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, no Albanian. No Albanian. Can you speak a little Dutch? Oh, no. Like, I'm not, like, like recent generation. That's just my, like, super long ancestors are from there. But I'm not, like, fresh, like, you know, like, fresh answer, ancestry. Like, I haven't. Me, nor my parents, nor my grandparents, but my great, 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 like, like super far back, yeah. But not me, personally. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. Yep, that's what it is, Pavel. Dutch, German, Nordic, yep, yep, that's the mix. That's the mix. Uh, can you do a DNA test from saliva and they'll show you the percentage, what kind of mix? <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. I've never, like a, like a 23 and me. I've never done one of those before. That'd be kind of cool. You did, Snaz. It it was quick. It went down without a hitch, man. We were big chilling. Big chilling. Uh, I fell running through a wet garage when I was five. Played soccer. Got a few there. Um, I feel off. Uh, I fell off a roof. Knocked myself out. Playing hockey. Hit my helmet. Damn, dude. Major concussions all... Damn, dude. I'm glad that you're safe now, at least. Or I, I, hopefully everything's, you know, no major accidents in super recent history, yeah? Did you want to learn Greek? Uh, to tell you the truth, man, I, I feel like if I took the time to learn Greek now, it uh, I'd have to like it it'd take away from like I don't know other shit that I I'm doing off stream, right? Like editing and stuff. I'm kind of I kind of got a full docket right now, so I might I'm, I'm gonna have to pass. Say y Yasu, it means hello. No joke. Are you yo you? Zoros, don't get me canceled with this, man. I don't... Are you... Does that definitely mean hello? Or nah? Still playing hockey? Yeah, if, as long as you enjoy it, man. Some ancestries are, uh, are scams. I sent saliva from their lizard, and their lizard was Dutch Australian. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. You did, Nasilla. I got you on the art bot, though. One second. This was a uh, bursting and vibrant bubble gum. This is what I drew for you, Nazilla. 
Oh, dude. An engine. A. S tier, dude. Very cute, Arthur. Very, look at him. He's just snuggling in there, dude. Very cute, Arthur. Hey, congrats again, bro. I'm serious. Y'all assume it's low. Am I saying it right? Like, kind of what I'm envisioning is Yasuo from League of Legends. That's how I start, but I don't just say the O, so it's just Yasuo. Is that correct or not? Server, device villagers. And it looks like everyone's uh, farming this crude flint. So that that's kind of hot ass, dude. That's very lame. But, ugh. People be taking all the flint, dude. I want the flint. You oh, okay. All right. Hey, I, I trust you, Zoros. I trust you, dude. Yasu it is. Nah, just listen to Rosetta Stone while you're editing. It's what I did when I was streaming and editing and learning Japanese. Oh, that's S tier, dude. Honestly, I'm not good enough to edit and do other things right now. I'm still getting over the learning curve, right? I'm still trying to figure out. Like, it's not second nature to me just yet. And so when I edit, I have to be, like, fully locked in. Or else, like, when I go back and look at it, like, the morning after, do a quality check, I'm like, dude, what the fuck was it? Like, I'll, I'll notice, like, really stupid, stupid mistakes. So right now, I guess they locked in. Oh, yeah, Devil, I'm definitely enjoying Druid, for sure. That's one of the worst quests. Always mage farm in those camps, yep. Yep. But uh, it looks like we caught a respawn here. So that's, you know, that's sweet. We'll take it, we'll take it. Oh, nice, Jerry. <laughs> hey, what languages do you speak, Jerry? Okay, well, I think I'm the only uh, Dutch one looking at the stream right now. I'll, hey, thanks for watching. Duncan, even even despite the time gap, bro. Would you recommend Druid and Hardcore at level 13, wondering if it's worth? I mean, I think it's it's fun. I actually really like Druid. I think it's a great pick for leveling. You, you know, it's fast because you got travel form, cap form with extra speed. You get self heals. Um, but Druid at endgame, though, for classic, I mean, you can't be boomy. Feral's not a popular pick. You could tank a little bit, but like, you know, uh, Resto Druid's where it's at. Uh, in, in terms of, like, I, I think your biggest chance of running hard, in-game hardcore stuff, so if you're considering that, be okay with that. That's that's what my understanding of everything is so far. Scottish and Norwegian here. Oh, that's sweet, dude. I've never been to Europe. I, I've, I don't know, I've kind of been interested in it because, like, I'm a big history buff, and they have a lot of cool historical sites. Um, and, and things like that, that I think would be pretty sweet to see in person and do that like Lord of the Rings tour. Oh, that would be super cool just to do for like a day. But sadly, I've never been. I try to convince Jess to do something like that for our honeymoon, but she really, really, really wanted to do a tropical cruise. And so that's what we did. We did a little cruise. But yeah. Uh, I'm Dutch, too. Love watching you, Deej. Really bringing back my wild nostalgia. Yo, thank you, Yuri. Hey, I appreciate that, dude. Thank you. And I'm thrilled that I could bring you guys some nostalgia as well. Set my phone to Spanish and played through Skyrim in Spanish, too, to learn it. Yo, that's... Hey, so me and my friends were in this really hard Spanish class. We would text each other in Spanish to, like, you know, like, like a little bit before the test to try and, like, you know, feel more comfortable with it. Because we had this one hard-ass, like, Spanish professor... Um, who basically, he was the type that only spoke in Spanish, gave directions to the assignments in Spanish, and it's like, bro, what the fuck am I supposed to do, right? I just want to know what I need to, to do, right? If I'm learning Spanish, give me the directions in Spanish. Looking back, though, I mean, that he, he was very effective. I That was by far, like, when I was most fluent with the language. But yeah, we'd text each other in Spanish just to try and get better. Deej, I just put a wet dog in the Discord. Uh, why do I feel like it's not what I think it is, dude? Why do I feel like it's... I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna... Why do I feel like... I'm gonna open up the Discord, and it's not gonna be like, you just gave your lab a bath. I feel like it's gonna be something completely different, yeah? I'm actually descendants of lords from Scotland. If I went there, I think I'd have some land to claim. Oh, dude, that's awesome. That's actually pretty hype. All right, where'd you put this? I know it is a wet dog. Oh, they're not a fan of baths, dude. Yeah, Ziggy does the same thing. Ziggy's not a fan of baths either. 
That was actually what thought. It was a dripping glizzy. Low key, that's kind of what I thought he was getting at. That's what I thought he was getting at, yeah. Uh, it's a mystery. Yep, we just did. We did risk the prison time for the prison. Yep, we did. Worth. Ooh, Davina. You have cashed in and am I the asshole? Let's see what we got here. So my roommate called me an asshole. That's, um... Not, I would say that's already a damning start for you, Davina, but... Let's read the rest. She came into my office and said, are you working or gaming? And so I said, oh, there's a new great game called My Numbing Excel Spreadsheet. You should try it. So was that response really an asshole response? I don't think it was an asshole response. It depends on your tone. If, if they didn't pick up that it was sarcasm... Then it then it would come across like an asshole response. It, it depends on their on your tone, honestly. It could definitely be interpreted like that, like it, it like she could have maybe interpreted like oh she's in a bad mood and, and you snapped at her, totally sarcastic. See like that's that's what I think it boils down to. If she picked up on your sarcasm, then yeah, you're fine. But if she didn't pick up on the sarcasm, she would have definitely interpreted it like you are the asshole. Just depends on how she interpret because sometimes people aren't like you know super locked into sarcasm so i'm gonna say nta because it depends on her interpretation of the sarcasm right can go both ways can go both ways but if she's if she's like upset just be like yo i was being sarcastic and it should be fine right should be fine but yeah that's kind of what I, that's that's my thoughts at face value wait singing Wait, what? People sing while they play? What do you mean, sing? Like, 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 all the time? He said, nothing is worse than streamers singing while they play. That was rough. What do you mean, singing while they play? Like, karaoke and shit? Nah, hey, what up, wagon? Nah, not really. Not really. It, it's, it's more chill. Say what a rough day, I'm having trouble. Bob, you better not fucking say... That you're having trouble opening a lockbox. Alright? You had a tough day at work. I don't know. Maybe you dropped your Chipotle bowl in your car and it made a big mess. I better not hear a fucking lockbox, box, Bob Swagger. But just go ahead. Tell me what you're having trouble with, dude. Hey, yo, greetings from Finland. Really like the content. Thanks, Elvar. I'm glad that you enjoy, my friend. Yep, there it is, dude. No, I'm having trouble opening up two lockboxes. Okay. Yeah, I see. That's tough titties, though. I don't know who can open them for you. That's, that's going to be a tough... If you try trade chat, try trade chat. Yeah, sarcastic? Not asshole. Does she have a... Uh, does she have a Sheldon level of sarcasm? Yeah, it's just that's what it depends on. I suppose. Ooh, written. You've cashed in for an awkward whispering. I've known to skin the mole rat for a... The mole rat? What? Why is it the mole rat? For the right price, if you know what I mean. I don't know what you mean. Um, I'll do this whisper, but like, what the fuck does that mean? Who's getting this? Um, let's go with like... We already did the big fella. Uh, moon hug. What about moon hug? Alright, bam. Moon hug has been whispered. I'll let you know, written. But I'm curious what you mean by that. Hey, you too, Khalil. Wait, what's tomorrow? What? What's tomorrow? Come on, hey, Bob. <laughs> hey, good to see you, dog. I hope you're having a good day. All said and done. Friday the 13th? Oh, shit. Real? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Um. Hmm. I'm superstitious, but like I don't I don't think anything's bad happened to me on that day. I think it's been pretty chill for the most time. My oh dude, yo, my sister's coming up tomorrow. We're gonna hang out. She might even make it before the end of the stream. So you guys might she might come in here and chill for a little bit. Oh god, we do degenerate shit sometimes. So we'll probably do something degenerate and it go wrong. Get her in the stream. If she's here and she wants to come in, yeah. She'll she'll chill for a little bit. Oh, damn. I know that, Khalil. I know some shit's popping off, but I'm very... Uh-oh. Uh... How... how? 
Uh, okay. I'll just escort Pig Latin out of here. But I'm I'm not getting in there. <laughs> Yikers. Oh yeah. <laughs> it just said run Oh shit, they're still coming. There's I'm just gonna run over here. Why the dude? That was a longer tag, man. Holy shit. That was funny. No, hey, no, Chris the Bull. <laughs> Do I have an extra dummy on you I could buy? Uh, I sadly don't. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. No, yeah, I do. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Wait, I do. Alright, Pig Latin. Get you a dummy, bro. Boom. Oh, little 20 silver. Thank you. Stay safe. Sweet. Onward. We still need some flint. We just need one more flint. Deej, you gotta have your mom stream again ever. Probably. Yeah, probably. I gotta make sure, because that was really fun when she went in there and did Mythic Plus. Probably won't be tomorrow, because she's coming up as well. Probably won't be tomorrow or anything, because they gotta drive to get here. And I wanna, like, I don't know. Be like, hey, I know you just got here, but you, you wanna you wanna sit on camera for like a couple hours and and meme? Yeah, yeah. She might not be into that then, but um that's I do want to do I do want to do another activity with her again. I think that'd be really fun. You said that was a blast? Honestly, it was, and it was really funny. I she she like just from a personal POV, she said she's down to do it again. Um I imagine I'll set something up like over the holidays if I come back home. Whenever we're together for a longer period of time again. D just mom is just an AI anagram like just, oh, yep. Hey, everything is just an AI city, dude. We're all we're all just just beeping and boops. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Perfect boy. Hey, and thank you for the bits, by the way, written. Well, who cheap tattoo day? Wait, what's what do you mean cheap tattoo day? Do they do discount tattoos on Friday the thirteenth? Is that a thing? Deej, it feels wrong and immoral for you to thank me for a single bit. Okay. I don't know, I just I was appreciative, does it? But yeah, nah, I got you. I got you. Some places do. I work at a tattoo shop. They do. Sweet. I'm now I imagine it's like some. Like you can't go in there and get a full sleeve at a deep discount, right? It's probably just like, you know, for specific amounts of work, yeah. No, it's one? Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, like, like, yeah. Or like a big back piece or something, right? Thanks, Davina. Lists of those doing the Secret Santa are listed in the channel in the Discord. Check the post if you want to join. Hey, thank you for doing that. I'll put the Discord here as well in the chats. So if you guys want to come on down for that, for the Degenerate Secret Santa, bang, there it is. Advice for the midterms I just had, lol? I can do that for you, Dean. But, hey, uh, what's the vibe? Did you just, like, bomb them? And, hey, you can tell me the truth, dude. No judgment. I bombed my fair share of exams back in the day. I, I'm just trying to taper my advice based on how you, how well you did, or poor, I guess, you think you did, right? Depending. How are we feeling about them, about those midterms? Thumbs up or thumbs down? No, just smaller size and flash. Though. Okay, that makes sense. Right. Yeah, usually they're small. You can choose from a couple. I get you. Because at the end of the day, you're pay it's like paying for like custom art, right? So and that's a personnel. Like you're you're paying for that 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 skill. Not like a like a like a like a like raw product. You know what I mean? It's not like you buy something off a store. You're paying for somebody's time, kind of thing. So it makes sense. You pay what you get. Sure, you can get a sleeve done for 200 but is it really worth it? Probably not. You might get an infection as well. Hey, Thinless, what's up, dude? Thanks for the bits, man. Probably, ne hey, never say never, man, but I'm going to tell you this. Probably do a Roblox stream before that. With how things are bumping. Cristobal, actually. Man, I almost hopped off the stream early a uh, couple, of, couple of nights ago, man. Cristobal posted some, some World of Warcraft Roblox action. That almost got me to hit the button. 
You know what I mean? So, never say never, though. <laughs> Child form is sweet. Yep, it is. It is. And uh, Dean, if you if you responded earlier to the the midterm thing, the uh, the TikTok automod may have caught you, dude. Just as a heads up. We let the apprentices who haven't tattooed real skin yet do those. That's why it's Friday the 13th. Well, that's probably what's cheaper too, right? Because I know in like some professions when um like like dental, like when you get um you know, right out of college there, you can go and you can get cheaper dental work done by by less experienced individuals. Um because it's like, hey, they're learning, right? So makes sense. I'm serious. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, like other professions do that too. Where they let uh, people who are getting some experience, uh, you know, getting their feet wet with certain things, like they, it's a deeper discount. Uh, I paid Robux to get my first to 60. Now I'm griefing these seven year olds. You better fucking have voice chat on if you're going to do it, Cristobal. You, be you better, man. If you're not, you're missing out. Straight up. If you're not, you're missing out. You got to have that vo VC on. To Metathil now, I suppose, yeah? Yep, to Metathil. What do we got here on the way? Fen Creepers? Alright. These are actually a pain in the dick to, to farm as well, so I gotta be on the lookout for the Fen Creepers. Mm. Mm. Oh, heavens? Yeah, so it's an... So it's FYI for all you Friday the 13th tattoo heads. Looking for Robux. <laughs> Robux GF, what is this? Trying Indian food for the first time. Alright, this is definitely gonna be a flight path here. This guy looks like me. Oh no, dude, he's... Yo, he's cooking up the... He's in up some spicy shit, I can already tell, bro. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't blame him on that one, Alyssa. Some of the minigames are, are actually pretty cool. Like, you know, somewhat entertaining. Like, I wouldn't play him for years personally, but, you know, I don't know. The one offer? Sure. Get the right side of the map you want, like this? Over there, Steven? Like, near the elites? I'm okay at the moment. We will go over there at some point, but I'm okay at the moment. Yep. You get your ass into that fray. Well, I don't I don't know if that fray is too inviting, dude. That fray looks a little sus. I, I don't I don't necessarily know if it that's the most hospitable of locations. I, I think, you know, there'll be a time and a place, but I don't think that's today. I don't think that's today. With those elites, right? Oh, these are all gonna be gone, dude. That sucks. Yikes. Careful, my eight-year-old nephew could really hurt your feelings. And then Cristobal says, I doubt it. I paid a win on Roblox, and I don't want to hurt his feelings. Sounds like we need to have a duel on stream between Davina's eight-year-old niece here and her nephew, excuse me, and Cristobal. I don't know your exact age, Cristobal. I don't know if you feel comfortable disclosing that information, but I'm assuming you're a full-grown man because you said you had a, you had a kid, all right? So, just context clues, right? Context clues. Second half of the workday always sucks. It's a little slower. You have that 4 p.m. Uh, that 4 p.m. feeling, right? Like post lunch in the middle of the work grind short. Yeah. You want to take a fat nap? Mm hmm. Indeed. I've never liked the flash sail seats. Um, I mean, if I wanted Betty Boot bending over a ship wheel, I'd have to pay for it. How do they figure out, like, what goes on those sheets? Is it just the real, uh, I'd say the repeats? Like, the, the really common requests? Like, uh, what's another one? Like, a small heart or something? Or, I don't know, like, like, birds? A bird, like, little pigeon tattoo? Not pigeons, but, like, birds flying away tattoos? Hey, Alyssa, I've been there myself, too, dude. I've been there myself, too. No judgment over here. I just got the worst ad, AT&T, uh, and something about being able to stream outside. 
the fuck? Huh. That's, uh, yeah, that sounds weird. Uh, maybe this, I don't know, dude. Yeah, I never heard of that. What was it, like, for their satellite services or something? Live, laugh, love? That's gotta be one of the repeats, right? X for doubt? <laughs> Look up tattoo, flash sale sheets. It's all the same thing. Oh my god, yeah. Dude, these are like little uh like 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 tattoos that you like uh you get at the mall. Like like you you stick them on there, put water on them and peel them off. That's the vibe for the designs at least. But yeah, pretty much just generic cheesy tattoos. Yeah. That are like easily to, uh easily repeatable kind of thing. Boilerplate, templated. Literally had someone I never uh never seen stream. And she had a whole setup outside. I think that'd be, I mean, <laughs> I, I've said this before, but I kind of want to do a stream where I try to build something from that Primitive Technologies YouTube channel where I just go out in the forest and like, I don't know. I, I like watch one of his videos where he like builds a wooden hut and it's just like, all right, guys, that's going to be today's goal. I'm going I'm to try to build this hut and see if I can actually do it because part of me feels like I could do it. Obviously not to the level of uh, expertise that that dude can but like I probably I think I could get something that's like passable you know but I don't know part of me thinks I'll also be humbled very fast when I get out there so I think it'd be funny part of me always wants to try that I've actually talked with Jess about this too Jess said she would be down to attempt but um I don't know after seeing how Jess does in some situations that involve like building Ikea furniture and stuff like that. It ends up me doing it and, 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 and she's scrolling on TikTok and I'm like, hey, can you please hand me a fucking flathead? And she's like giggling in the corner and I'm like holding shit up. Like at all angles. Got boards up with my feet trying to hold the screw and just hear giggling over TikTok. That's probably how it'll end up. Deej, you would be humbled by nature itself. I mean, well, see, that's the thing. It's like, I'd rather try and get humbled than wonder if I could do it, right? I'd rather know. Primitive technologies is completely fake. I know they are. Like, well, those really intense ones where it's like, yo, I'm building a swimming pool. But I'm talking about there's one Aussie dude who started it. I think he's an Aussie. But yeah, the, he was the original guy. And it's literally just him. And it's it's very, very simple shit. It, it's nothing outlandish. Um... I just, I wonder if I could do something simple like that, you know? I'm not talking about, like, building, like, a water park like some of those channels do. Like, they, they have excavators and stuff, like, off-camera. Mainly just, you know, the simple things. The simple things. I got ants in my CPU. Yeah, and then there's all the additional challenges that come with, with streaming in an outdoor environment. Like, if I rain, like, it, you know, if I get caught by rain, like, what, the, what am I supposed to do? Just, well, obviously, you GG it, but, like, that would just kind of suck, right? Unless you have, like, a big overhead. Hey, what up, duels? And Curly, good to see you as well. I know, it's, it's kind of cool, right? A lot of diversity. And duels, thanks for the heart, man. And I agree with that too, Elizabeth. I'm really tempted to try Alliance after watching your videos. You're enjoyable to watch. Thanks, Brian. And yeah, give it a shot, man. I think Alliance is pretty cool. I play both. And uh, I, I, I like a lot the, the Alliance leveling zones a little bit more than the Horde ones. Personally. My GF always buys things... Uh, that says that she can assemble, and it always ends up being me that builds it. Yeah, I know that all too well. I know that all too well, man. They've got a whole contracting team, heavy equipments that are out there. Off, yeah, yeah. The um, the bigger well, I don't want to say the bigger ones because I actually think that thought that the OG guy is still really I mean, he's massive. Um, I know it didn't start that way, but I think they just kind of, I don't know. They, they were probably put on this, like, timeline or, or treadmill, rather, where it's, like, in order for the videos to keep getting steam, it's, like, maybe they felt pressured to, like, do them bigger and better each time, and then you fast forward a couple of years, and you're, you know, what started out as building clay pots, I mean, you're now building, like, whole dwellings, you know? Kind of nuts. Kind of nuts. Uh, the Alliance leveling path is so iconic, in my opinion. I just know the different paths better for Alliance. Same. Same. 
I, I feel like it's a little bit more diverse, personally, too, like, in terms of the biomes. Personally, I find that there are fewer edgelords on the alliance side. You guys agree? Yeah, edgelords? That's funny. I had to get Rested XP add-on for Classic, because I've only ever played Horde. I've got no idea what to do or where to go for the alliance tunes. Eh, that's fine, dude. If you like leveling with it, it'll, it definitely makes things a lot easier. Right? And that, no, it's, that's totally fine, dude. Do your thing, bro. Do your thing. Especially with how spread out some of the Alliance Zones are. I bet they were like, why would we do this the hard way? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder, like, uh... They probably had a video, like, pop off, and then... They're like, hey, what if we take this, but if we do 10x, how would we do that? And then they probably, you know, brainstormed about it and be like, oh... Well, it would take us, like, you know, 30 days to build that. And then somebody was like, well, what if we just get it use an excavator? And yeah, probably took the, probably took the bait on it. That's all I think, but I don't know, dude. <laughs> grass run? It's okay to be on the grass as long as it's not a death run, dude. Hey, but in about two hours, we're going to be avoiding that grass. And, and T-minus two hours, we're going to be a no-grass gang. Especially after, dude, la yesterday, or not yesterday, la last week's death run. <laughs> it fell one, man. We got clapped by the grass and the wildlife. It was awesome. It, it's so funny. It's so funny. That grass and fell wood, that humbled us. That humbled us. It's going to be a death run if you roll on a DJ. Oh, for sure, dude. For sure. That's what I'm saying. We got to be nice and chill with it. I've been saying retail would be cool if they made leveling expansion, raise the cap by 50. Oh, wait. So from back to like 120, Curly, are we talking about those YouTube videos that we watch at four in the morning uh, of some four and third world country building like an infinity pool in the rainforest? Yep. Yep. Those are the vids. Those are the vids. Yep. Again, I think the OG dude is in Australia, and he, his is like, you know, he's just out there in the forest, especially if you go back to his earlier vids, man. But um, there are a lot of channels who like do it at scale and just do insanely crazy things. Yeah, with a stick and a flat rock. Yeah, and he like makes his own clay and stuff. It's, yeah. Yeah. You should do a death run to the salt flats from Org and have the path go through Razorfin areas. I'll add it to the list, perfect boy. I like taking um, suggestions from, from y'all for the death runs. Um, the last couple that we have done have actually been that. It, it's cool It's cool to, to see like y'all's ideas actually like come to fruition on the run, so I'm down to add that one to the list, man. Excellent suggestion. Uh, that's ass. We take this instead. Croc Gumbo, we can actually learn immediately, though. We do take that. We do take that. All right, we're fine. Otherwise, sweet. Sweet. What are you going to do? Travel to Menethil, take the boat to Dark Shore. All right. Dark Shore it is. Dark Shore it is. I like the lower level numbers. Like, I think the team did too. So, I, I don't know. I wonder where when the team started, actually probably in Kata. I bet that's when they first, like, okay, so after, like, Wrath, they're probably like, oh, fuck, guys. We can't keep going by 10 levels each expansion. We're going to run out of things here. It's, it's, it's going to get to the point where it's just crazy. And then I think they tried five levels in Kata. And then pe maybe they, they felt like, and I, I think actually some, a lot of people gave them feedback um, to where it just didn't feel nearly as good, right? To go only five levels. And so after Mists for Wad, they were like, all right, let's go by 10 and then just deal with it later. <laughs> That's probably when they figured it out. Um, I just had a butt puckered moment. Fell off the tree of Teldrassil. Landed with 3 HP. Nice. Nice. Hell yeah, Nasilla. Congratulations on the survival. 3 HP? That's a pucker, but hey, you're still trucking. Your thoughts on Classic Plus? I'm a big fan of it. I'm very biased, but I'm a big fan of it. I think it, there's a good possibility that'll happen. I think if we... I think if it is gonna happen, we'll probably hear about it at BlizzCon. But yeah, um, I would love to see it. I think it, it solves a lot of problems and gives a lot of people what they want, so. I'm thumbs up, but we'll see how it goes in the long run. 
Right. I think Blizzard speaking on it, potentially a BlizzCon, that'll be like the definitive, right? But I think it'd be great. I remember reading something about the numbers before the squish. Yeah, well, like, they also had an engine problem, too. The math behind the game that was being calculated on the fly with, like, trinket procs or buffs, short-term modifiers, it it was really slowing down the engine at scale. Um, and so they had to sort of, like, trim the numbers. You know what I mean? What's Classic Plus? It, it's like, instead of getting Burning Crusade after Vanilla WoW, uh, we just get all new expansions. Right? So it's like, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. it. It's just like custom classic expansions. Kind of like how Turtle Wild does it, but like it'd be a Blizzard thing, obviously. They won't talk about it unless they're doing it. Yep. Uh, yep. I agree. Level 2 Troll Hunter Raid on Stormwind. I actually... So if we wanted to do some PvP stuff, I don't think we could do it on Hardcore. Because I'm editing the VOD right now for the, the Death Runs that we did a little bit ago, where we got into Goldshire. And I think... What they did for a anti PvP griefing measure is they have it to where when one individual like I don't know triggers a PvP or attacks like a other faction NPC, it spawns way more guards than usual because that's what happened to us in Goldshire. Like twenty Stormwind guards spawned out of the blacksmith the second somebody initially tagged or, or got tagged by um, one of the one of the Goldshire NPCs as a horde. And so I, I think if we tried to, to to run up on a city on a hardcore server, we just get clapped at the gates because of how many guards would spawn, right? Man, that'd be so badass. So of course they won't do it. Well, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I think there's a real chance of us saying it, but again, I'm very biased, so I'm I'm huffing hopium. But I think there's a real chance we could see it. I didn't, Jaren. I didn't. How you like the druid so far? Peaches and pits. I'm loving it, dude. I'm loving it. it. It just feels like a faster rogue, especially with like travel form and shit. But yeah, rhetoric. That's just custom classic expansions. Bro, hardcore factions. My faction raids would get so hard. They. It would be fun, but I, I don't know. I know a lot of people are apprehensive about world PvP and hardcore just because it's like such high stakes, right? I mean, we see the Makara stuff for sure, but I think it would be fun. It'd be fun to watch for sure. I'll I'll definitely agree on that. Definitely agree on that. James Corden hosted a business meeting for Ad Division and Bobby Kotick. What? Not the crossover I expected. Why? What do you mean he hosted a business? Like, wait, what? Why? Like as a troll, like a meme, like a troll. Yeah, that does seem odd. That's, huh? I wonder why. I can try to find the article and put it in Discord if you want to, perfect boy. But I hey, don't go too far out of your way, dog. And same, Curly, it's a fun time. Blizz definitely up to some social engineering with that. Who knows? Who knows? I I have no idea that 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 move. That's uh, a head scratcher for sure. Classic Plus will add and split to the game, like split is in like like further split the like player base kind of thing. Is that what you mean? I definitely think yeah. Well, hmm. I don't know if they if they balance their site like Blizzard does do a good job of balancing their cycles. They they release stuff. No, it will add slash split. Oh. Spit. Oh. Oh. Oh, like literally slash spit. Oh, my fault, dude. <laughs> I remember that meme. Didn't they take that away over a mount or something? I know people were doing it, but like, wasn't there some weird, like, straw that broke the camel's back on that? I thought you were actually like saying, yeah, it will add people, I break up people bad butt split because it'll further flatten at the prey base. I got you, dude. My fault. It's in Reacts? At, at Activision's internal meeting, uh, inexplicably hosted by James Corden, Bobby Kotick promises a new dimension of emotional connection powered by AI. Oh, God, Bobby, don't. Bobby, that is fucking weird, bro. What does that mean? 
As reported by Windows Central, sources have shared the inside details of an internal town hall yesterday between CEO Bobby Kotick and employees. This was apparently hosted by James Corden. Uh, we know who he is. He's just like a late night host. Um, so perhaps a bizarre choice, but sure. James Horton hosting an internal town hall at Adivision Blizzard. Stranger things have happened. Kotick spoke to Corden about how the company's leadership culture, one he described as magic and special, would change. I assume Kotick was not referring to... Yeah, yeah. There, I was waiting for that sexual allegation, uh, that, that sexual assault comment to come through, yeah. I was dug your dick grave in that one, dude. Kotick also spoke on the future of AI and Adivision Blizzard games. If you look at the new tech that are on the, that's on the horizon... We're going to be able to do things that we've never done before with AI and machine learning. We have characters on screen and video games with movements and facial animation that's realistic. You're going to have new dimensions of emotional connections that you have not met yet mastered. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how AI, specifically machine learning stuff, has anything to do with realistic animations. Some of the best physical acting that we've seen as of late has been from BG3, which was achieved through mo motion capture of over 200 actors, which animators then translated fully into the game. There's a lot of techno wizardry going around to achieve that, but part of me wonders if Codex mixing terms here. Granted, AI could nix a lot of the busy work in the right hands, uh, so I could see a future where AI helps the cleanup process. That's likely what it would do, yeah. Uh, on the other hand, graphics aren't required for emotional... Okay. Is this just fluff? Oh, here it is. Codex also highlighted Elon Musk's Neuralink as an example of tech advancements that he's keen to see develop. I talked a little, earlier, a little bit earlier about the physical experience of interfacing with something on the screen. I think you'll see things like Neuralink. You'll actually be able to interact with things on the screen where there isn't a controller. Just see unlimited potential for what we do. Okay. I mean... <laughs> it seems like they just threw James Corden in there still, though, dude. <laughs> it seems like, yeah, you know, it'd be funny to lead this really serious talk on future tech. James. Let's get James in this bitch, dude. Still a strange choice. Still a strange choice. Brother, the community manager uh, that hosted whoever's in charge of YouTube is funny as well, is, or he's goaded. Oh, I don't know who the community manager is. No, I, Owen. I was on a flight path. I was good. That was safe, dude. James Corden was a clutch call. Perfect mascot for Activision. Hey, <laughs> something, dude. It's something. Slash target hot steamy loaf slash spit. I don't think he appreciated that, man. I don't think he appreciated that too much. Thin lips. They removed it because people were using it on anyone who bought TBC Deluxe Edition. That's You're right. That's what it was. Yep, that's what it was. I remember that now. Don't spit on him. He likes it. I hope Bobby doesn't F it up. Uh, I'm surprised. I thought Bobby was, like, ousted or stepped down or something. Like, uh, what was it, a couple months ago or some shit like that? Maybe I'm mistaken. Or maybe it was just Blizzard. I thought, yeah, I thought he had, had announced something. CIA fly on the head vibes. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's super early, so it's tough to actually see that sort of tech, like, affecting us immediately. I mean, the AI stuff is good for time saving. That's true. They're, they're starting to slowly introduce AI to like all sorts of industries to cut for time. So I could definitely see how it would save for like animation and stuff. But um but I don't know. I mean you, you could definitely do like AI and machine learning for like having NPCs feel more dynamic, right? Like I don't know. It'd be kind of cool like instead of a NPC that has like, you know, maybe five static voice lines, maybe have something that can learn and respond to the player's interactions. I could see that being really cool, right? That would that would add a lot of depth, but who knows if it'll actually be used like that. One of the most hated people stories about how big, yeah, yeah, how big of a PO as he is everywhere, yeah. Not, not a fan favorite, for sure. Not a fan favorite. Because he acts like a fun guy, but he's just a dick to everyone. That too, but what really susses me out is he looks like a goblin. Y'all ever get that vibe? He looks kind of like a goblin, dude. Straight up. I just... That's the first thing that I think about. It, it's, it's like a goblin with a wig. Every time I look at him. I'm just like, oh, okay. It's kind of... Yeah. Like he's, gonna, like he's got like a greaser, you know? He's gonna, like... Like like uh, one of those dudes that'd be... 
coming around it like in the in the mafia or something like charging you for security kind of deal that that's the idea that i get unpopular opinion but they should do another corrupted blood event on hardcore servers <sighs> dude like a little survival of it that would actually be hype that would actually be hype like they purposefully plant the the thing somewhere and it's just <laughs> that's funny i'm not sure who that is sc Hey, I appreciate you, Rutabaga. Thanks, dog. I appreciate you saying that, man. It is. It's hardcore classic, Christian. It's hardcore classic. Indeed, Tyson. We're moving now. How much cost is a house in general in the USA? Well, it depends on your location. Um, it depends on a lot of things. Um, I mean, easy on the low end, like a couple hundred grand. I'd say easy on the low end. Um, like I, I'd say in like, like cookie cutter sort of like neighborhoods where they kind of throw up like for housing developments and stuff, a couple hundred grand, I'd say easy. Hey, thank you for the bid fryer. Harry Potter bank goblin for sure. Yeah. The Grim Gods banks. Yeah. Yeah. The Grim Gods or the, the Grim Gods banks, the goblins and the Grim Gods banks. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. That's a perfect, yeah. Perfect analogy. <laughs> perfect boy will you be playing on wrath classic i want to play with you sometime i likely won't do like icc i just i don't have a character that'd be ready for it and I, hey thanks cringe and i hope you're enjoying the holiday bro 150 grand in the middle of nowhere montana 800 to 1.5 mil for a house in a dense location yep i mean like we're kind of jess and i are near a metropolitan area and it's one of the more fast growing areas too um we're gonna get priced out because like just rent alone uh, my rent went from what was it, sixteen fifty to twenty three hundred in the past. I mean, we uh, that jump was just in the past year. Yeah, so we're gonna get priced out just from our renting POV and how like buying a house over here is not even a. It's just as bad if you're anywhere near the metropolitan area. I got my house for two hundred seventy eight k, fifteen hundred square feet in Florida. Nice, nice. Posted a pick of reaction of Jan, of John. Oh, dude, yeah, the teeth. Oh, yo, is this from Gremlins? Hey, is this from Gremlins? I remember the Tifers. Like, they they feel like the the same little Tifers from Gremlins, right? Or am I tripping? Hey, what up, pimp daddy? And Pooks, I appreciate the grats, man. No, he's the singer in Necro Goblicon. Okay, my fault. I also the Jeepers Creepers teeth teeth too. Those little narrow pointy teeth. Th those also gave the Jeepers Creepers vibes. All right, loot the plants. All right, so we there's a box over here that we need to snag. Let's go for it. Hey, thanks, Ryer. It's showing Goblin, but all I can think about is Penguin and Batman. That's a solid one. Where you at? For seven hundred dollar rent, that's crazy low. That's a good price, yeah. It's a good price. Bro, my mortgage for in Connecticut sixteen hundred. Location definitely fatter than price. That's the biggest factor, yeah. That's the biggest factor. Like I said, I mean, we're in a market that's really, really growing. It's getting more and more popular, and we're near a metropolitan area. So, you know, if 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 some place is gonna go up, it's gonna be here. You know what I mean? I am on device, Hunter. I am on device. Maryland, you can't find an apartment for less than twelve hundred a month. I don't know. We didn't look for apartments to like, like, cause we're a little bit, we got a little bit more stuff and you know, the pets and things. A lot of the places around here don't allow for pets either, which is kind of sad. <laughs> Jay says, yeah, yeah, mo yeah. I mean, we're, we're it's, 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 it's going to come to that point for sure. Hey, DJ Frizzle coming on in. What's up, man? Welcome, dude. Appreciate you coming in and hit us with a follow on the Twitch chat. Welcome. Welcome. All right, there's an elite over here, though. Um, I don't exactly recall where, but there is an elite that I want to be mindful of. I, I mean, it shouldn't it shouldn't pose a problem for us um, at this level, but still, we should be good. Hey, yeah, dude, come on down, Hunter. And hey, you're looking for a guild? I'd love to have you. Hey, man, I, I heard that you're into WoW lore. Can you tell me your thoughts on Karen Bloodhoof? Like, like, just generally speaking? 
like kind of like like character wise i know romeo it's crazy blizzard just dropped their lo-fi beats to wait for for blizzcon i their lo-fi series is pretty good like i remember they did the lo-fi shadowlands beats those were really cool decided to do skinning on my mage to make some money didn't even make it back to leveling area before i had to turn around and give up level skinning past 75. Oh, dude. Wait, hold up, hold up. I literally before I turn around and give up. Wait, why did you, why why did you give up on it, man? Just too much. I don't know where this book is, but that's what we need. It's supposed. To, oh, it's right here. Sweet. Did you watch the Wrath of the uh, uh, the Wrath of Lich King ICC trailer? The one that um, oh yeah, the one that um Hurricane made. So good, dude. So good. He did a fantastic job with it, man. I'm in my, in my late 20s, Jay. I'm in my late 20s. Character-wise, yeah. I mean, he kind of didn't do anything in Shadowlands, man. He, he kind of just sat there and... Literally sat there, actually, for, like, the whole expansion. Um, I mean, it's... I'm not going to sit here and say that he does have big shoes to fill from his father. Legacy of the Blood Hoof is strong. But at the same time, I mean... I don't know, I spent a little bit more activity. A little bit more hustle and buzzle. It's 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 cool to see where he's going with the centaurs. Especially how he's handling them, like the Anar and Plain centaurs. Um, I just, I'm neutral on them. I'm neutral on them. There's some stuff that I like and some stuff that I don't like. It's going pretty good, Jim. How's your day going? And you can use Questy. It, all add-ons are fine for hardcore, Brady. Everything's fine for uh, add-on-wise for hardcore. Yeah, that shit was hype. Almost made me want to play. I mean, Hurricane, dude, that guy was the perfect, uh, the perfect creator for the job. I mean, that quality was, it honestly would have taken Blizzard way too much time to do that. So it's, man, he was the perfect dude for the job, straight up. That, that was a wise, a very, very wise hire. Very, very wise hire. Oh, no, you leveled it too fast. There were animals everywhere. Oh, I got you. I got you. Yeah, but hey, that's a good thing, too, because you got a vendor in like crazy, right? At least you got a lot of, a lot of materials that way. Won't have to try to, you know, hunt nodes and shit like you do for mining, I suppose, right? But yeah, especially like in Westfall, dude, or Red Ridge, like literally the opening to Red Ridge is nothing but skittable animals. Oh, there's a lot of shit over here. I need to... Okay, they're all gray, but, like, I do need to proceed with a little bit of caution. I see now why it, it tells you to, like, you know, over-level this, because there's, like, 30 mobs over here. And it's also called Covert Ops. And I'm so I'm assuming it wants us to stealth, but, like, fuck that. We're just gonna sling dick. All right, we're just gonna come in here and pump. Yo, what, what race for the death run tonight? Troll. Troll. Or Orc. We're just starting at the troll org. I mean, you can bring any, to be honest with you, but we're going to be starting in the tra Valley of the Trials, so the starting uh, races for those are, are going to be orc and troll. And clean this one out over here, too. Just so I can run back if there's a big, big oopsies, but I doubt there'll be an oopsies. Same way to grow in College Town. That's why we ended up buying. Oh, see, yeah, getting in while it's a good growing College Town. That's a good snipe. That's a good snipe. A slinging contest, right? I'm all for Blizzard outsourcing to fans. I mean, for some projects, yeah, it makes sense. Like, like that dude was a good match, right? Because he obviously was passionate about the work. It was near and dear to his heart, and he was insanely talented. So it, it just seems like an, an incredible match. Respectable opinion. Karen's death by betrayal to the Grim Totem was insanely well-written and sad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. They kind of did... They, they kind of did a lot of characters, like... I don't know. I don't want to say shock value, but that, that is the word that I'm looking for, I guess. In a sense... See, these are getting chain pulled. We need to back up. Or we're going to end up with, like, 50 of these. Again, even though they're all gray... Uh... I don't, I don't want to get in a situation... Like, how many do we have here? Like, actually, no. Just the two. Cool.
Best profession for warlock? Um, tailoring and enchanting is pretty good for warlock. Because, again, wands. You could just buy the wand, though, to be fair. Um, right, but... I like, like, tailoring school. You make your own bags. You buy the bags, I guess. You make some big dig gear. Um, alchemy. Herbalism is nice. Because you got a lot of nice consumables. And then engineering and mining is great for survivability. But I think all those are pretty viable. In terms of the talents, yeah. I'm with Seth. Uh, demonology for the talent tree is usually what I go. Because that's got really, really high level survivability. Hey, what up, Cody? How you doing today, dog? And Jay coming in with the roses. Thanks, Jay. Sweet, I'll be joining you guys. Have a good stream till then. Alright, hey, we'll see you, Jay. Can you interrupt their cast? Sadly, nah. I mean, I could, like, go into a bear form and, and stun, but, like, I don't know. It'd just be a waste, because it would, really wouldn't do anything, right? I'd be stuck in bear, and and then it's... I'd just have the bash. I, no interrupt, sadly, yet. I was listening to Asma talk about all the horde canically cheating Makara. The only one who hasn't cheated was Alliance. I don't know if that's accurate. I mean, like, there are a history of individuals cheating in Makaraz, like, you know, Sylvanas, Thrall, Girash, Gul'dan, etc. Like, yeah, that, that has happened before. It's hardcore WoW Moon. Knowles suck so much. They do suck, and yeah, they goblins and gnolls mixed. Do you ever go questing with people? I remember in hardcore, I was always questing with friends or family. I usually do my own thing. Because, you know, I mean, you guys know my, my kind of cadence. Like, we'll stop, we'll do art bots, we'll meme around, we'll get distracted, whatever. So just because I'm kind of, you know, I'll often, I won't, like, slam, like, I'd say conventionally. Um, I tend to go up my own thing. Now, if, like, people are there and we're competing for tags, oh, yeah, we'll group up so we don't have to split things. But, yeah, usually I ride solo. Cool, I'm going to go tailoring and enchanting. Yeah, it's a solid pick, dude. Solid match. Good combo. You guys were all great at stitches. But look how he turned out. I know, right? The, hey, Jim, that's... that's. I love the logic there. I love the logic there. Not bad, bro. Making me some dinner. Good to hear, Cody. Crim totems are not considered a horde anymore. Yep, that's right. They're they're sort of like... Uh, you know how the trolls had bat, like like enemy offshoots and cadets? Sort of the same deal. Do you like Feral over Rogue? In some ways, yeah. In other ways, nah. I like the convenience of Druid, like travel form, which I'm still not used to having, by the way. Um, so I'd run around a cat more than I'd like to admit. But yeah, it feels like a faster, like, you know, higher QOL Rogue, so I'm digging it so far. Thrall switching to Biss Twink Gear after accepting a duel to the death. True. <laughs> True. God, that's wild, man. I watched a couple of clips of people baiting um, Makaraz, and, and like, there's an add-on uh, that lets you swap gear really quickly at the start of a duel. Madness, dude. Madness. Like, literally, I watched the rogue's health double. So, as soon as you put on his gear, because of the adjusted stamina, his HP went to half, and he had to eat really quickly before the duel just to have a, you know, good shot. Crazy, dude. Crazy. But I mean, hey, if there's no way to prevent that, um, people will find a way to do it, right? I feel like Blizzard should have st like should make it to where it locks your gear when you hit accept, or like I agree or whatever for Makaraz. I don't know how technically challenging that would have been. It doesn't seem too crazy. M maybe, maybe they didn't anticipate that. Who knows, right? But I feel like now it, it'd probably be a good idea just to make it to where people lock in the gear. They should offix that in. Yeah. Yeah, I think they should too. I think they should too. Now, I, I'm not like a... I'd say like a, a super high level dueler to the point where people are swapping around trinkets and, and stuff, or to where I'm swapping around gear in the middle of a duel, but like if anyone is, correct me if I'm wrong, is there like a really, really big skill curve or a fun factor in like swapping around certain pieces mid-duel? Right? Like, I don't know. Say like, oh shit. I need something here. Bam, let me swap trinkets and have a macro for it. Or nah. Yep, we're on to fight. Hey, good luck, John. Yeah, no gear drops. Uh, and drops any buffs you have. Dropping buffs would feel bad. 
to like like say you're doing world buffs or say you just got world buffs and, and like you're out questing and you see somebody and you want to muck around losing them would feel bad but having them like pause or something or or, or maybe just like having having it having shit like that disabled during the duel maybe something like that like world like like the world buffs or rape the big ones that like people just used to put people in the dirt with yeah yeah I didn't just walk up to this fire elemental and paw at it and, and, and cheetah form, did I? No, didn't do that. Warrior being able to equip shield and one-hander should be allowed, but it gets muddy with different classes. Ooh, yo, that's like a perfect counterpoint. Yeah, because that's like stance dancing is a big part of warrior and you need shield. You actually do need a shield to interrupt, I think, is on warrior. That, that's a really good point. But as far as like generally speaking, odd one, you said, no, it's just for sweaty people who troll. Yeah, yeah. See, I don't know how we did, how do you how you handle that with those. I mean, maybe just slots, but then it does get kind of muddy, you're right? Where do you get the world buffs? Um, the Anixia had drops in Stormwind, and then, well, it's called the Rallying Cry of the Dragon Slayer. That one goes to Stormwind when it gets dropped, and the Spirit of the Zandalari, that one applies to Booty Bay when it gets dropped. Or enable a cap, like an upper limit of stats upon duels. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure what the best way to be what to handle it is. Yeah. Because it's just like the griefing part. Or or maybe just have like a certain amount of items that you could swap, right? Like, I don't know, maybe maybe allow like like a sword like a sword and shield kind of thing. Right? And I guess it wouldn't it's it'd be better than literal full gear sets, right? Maybe switching shields and swords uh, to a different one. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, I'm with you there, Jonathan. Yeah. Maybe it's like, all right, you could you could let certain like like you know smaller swaps happen with like for cases like that. Hey, thanks, Denim. Yeah, we're moving, dude. Good to see you too. Uh, I'm on Defy's Pillagers, Plin Plin, and we do have a guild. You're more than welcome to join, man. Just whisper me or anyone else in Degenerates, and I uh, will swing you in, dude. A rogue's not winning based on four DPS. Well, most of the time, yep, most of the time, you're right. You're right. It's mainly just those big macro swaps that feel so bad. Like, it's like, ooh, I've got an add-on and I'm gonna fucking bait your ass into a duel. Yeah. That's what feels so bad, right? But, yeah. I would've never... I mean, now that it happens, it makes sense, but I... I don't know, I've played hardcore for a little bit here, and I that's something that I never thought would happen. Straight up. I, so, I just didn't think about it. But now that it does, it makes sense. It's actually pretty simple. The system is already in the game. You can swap weapons and shields already, but once combat starts, you cannot swap armor at all. So make it to work when combat starts. The second ornament hits accept. Ah, okay. That'll work. Yeah, just at a glance, man. That, that, that sounds perfect. That sounds perfect. I wonder what sort of... Uh, again, I wonder if it, there's any like tech limits that maybe prohibit them from doing that, or if it's just something they didn't realize was going to be a problem. DTC and see that's why that's why whenever you guys challenge me to to mock Raz, and it, it sounds a little sus it always feels like I'm getting baited I'm just like wait wait a second there's no way you would challenge me to a mock raw if you if you were worse than if you thought you were worse than me right you wouldn't volunteer to just kill your character for the memes in a mock raw so it's like you got a trick up your sleeve right all right that that's what I that's my red flag going up. Yeah, John. I I wish there was a way to gamble it with gold for Makaraz. I think that'd be funny. I mean, it's crazy. Like, I don't even know how you would begin to accomplish that system. But I think, like, gambling in WoW would just be kind of cool, right? Like, if anyone's played Final Fantasy, you guys know how they do, like, the flying saucer shit? It, or is it... No, it's the golden saucer. My fault. It, it's like a casino in the game with a bunch of little mini games and stuff. And they, they've got those chocobo races that I believe you can gamble on, too. Like, that would be so fun. And wow. Death rolling is great. Yeah. It's like people have created player-run casinos forever, right? So the content is there. The, you know people want to do that, right? I would lean into it. I think that'd be super fun. We watch your place all day, you don't see ours. This getting baited on its own right there. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you guys know my strengths, my weaknesses. Yeah, I didn't even think about that, Steve. You're right. Last night I was questing with Deeds, a 44 warrior in the guild. Uh, in STV, he aggroed Zanzil. 
and got uh, swamped by the skellies. He ran in another direction uh, and died by the lift. Yo, that was hardcore. Yep, that was hardcore denim. Zanzel strikes again, man. Zanzel blows. Now I've got survivor's remorse. Hey, way to live, but yeah. That was hardcore. Hordecore Hordecore did get the uh, guild for 60, though. In Battlegrounds, if I was DPS and needed to switch to be a more of a tanky, uh, to be more of a tank, you gotta get out of combat. Yeah. Yeah. Swap the trinkets and such. I mean, that makes sense, too, right? You said that'd be badass. I feel like every time a big MMO, wait, I feel like every MMO, every big MMO has it besides WoW. Like OSRS has gambling, and it's a blast. Yeah, I just feel like it'd be so cool, man. I think it'd be awesome. Hey, loaf. Yo, thanks for the bits, bro. Yo, when we get to Gurubashi, we should pit two of the raid groups against each other and bet CP. Yo, I'm down for that. I'm down for that, dude. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm I'm definitely down. I'm definitely down. That'd be sweet. But here's the thing. So we have to not all run into the arena then. Because as soon as we go into the arena, it's going to be chaos and everything's going to get fucked. If if we're going to do like something organized like that, I'm down. But I got to have the time to create the poll in, in sort of like split. We got to split sides and see what's what. But that sounds like a great idea, dude. I'm down. I'm definitely down. Let's do it. Hey, what up, Stu? I just whipped up a tasty snack and I put it in swallow me let me know what you think alrighty dude alrighty stand at the bleachers until it's time are you safe in the bleachers so it's only when you go downstairs in the arena right you're safe in the bleachers bro what are we doing still yo dog what it, you, you talk shit about Arby's yesterday and you come in with this bro you over here talking about my beef and cheddars? You, you talking shit about the mod sticks, the Arby sauce, the curly fries? And he hit me with this? It's a it's a hollow glizzy with bait in a baked beans can with whipped cream and sprinkles. Still. A hot dog straw? That's what that is. That's exactly what that is. It, it's a fucking straw. So you get some of that glizzy flavor with the beans. You're not even look at the hole. Hey, look at the hole. Okay, look at this opening. That's not big enough for a bean. So you, you're just getting bean juice. Dude, that's not even edible, bro. That made me puke a little? <laughs> dude, where did you find this, bro? Where did you find this at, dude? Oh, man. What if you can wager X amount of levels instead of your whole life? That's an interesting thought. That's an interesting thought. I got diarrhea just looking at that. Bro, same. Same. Have y'all ever tried to drink, like, bean juice like that? I have. It's not good. It's not good. I promise it's not. Don't ever think for a second, oh, well, hey, bushes. No. No. The, the, it, bean juice is not good. Straight. Yeah, hot dogs and beans, I call them. No, Mr. I, you can't be doing that, bro. I just, I can't let you do that. That hurts me to hear if you're trying that. You just, you can't. It's just, it's, it, it's just not good. Man, think about what you could be having instead. All right? Y'all ever eaten beans and hot dogs together? No, no, no. Okay, so I've eaten beans and hot dogs together. That's fine. Okay, like a little side of baked beans. No issues there. What I'm talking about is 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 drinking bean juice like only bean juice that is where i draw the line like like you're not getting beans and it's not a side it's like imagine a pickle back shot but it's literally the bean the watery bean residue from a can that's what i'm talking about bull facebook's has a nasty eats page oh it's like shitty food porn right uh, uh, on reddit that's the vibe that's funny that's funny It's edible if you're hungry enough, or if someone offers enough bits. Okay, that's true. If you're hungry enough, yeah. You're right, you're right. I've got all the RB secrets. Are they good, Light Knight? Is this going to turn me off to, to curly fries, bro? Because ignorance is bliss right now, man. It. I've already lost red Skittles in California. I don't want to lose curly fries, too. Ask away. 
I don't know if I should, man. Because like I just like I like the I like the what I get from Arby's and, and I don't know if I want to roll the dice and risk ruining it. Like McDonald's nuggets, you know how you shouldn't look up what how McDonald's nuggets uh, how McDonald's nuggets are made? That's the vibe that I'm getting with these. You know what I mean? I just had jaw surgery and I blended a Dave's double from Wendy's with ketchup. Pretty good meatloaf, not gonna lie. Okay. I I did something like this and it was so bad. So I, I did a I did an event where like I had to this was in like season one of Dragonflight, where I had to tie him a key, and if I didn't, um I, I had to drink a McSlurpee. And that was something that I came up with. Basically, the, the chats got to vote on like three McDonald's menu items that we ordered. And then I blended them all together with like a can of Coke. That was so bad. That was like easily one of the worst decisions I've ever made lifetime. It was so rancid, so pungent. Like it's some, it, the, the wafty scent of all that just somehow penetrated my wall. And it stuck in this office for like three days. So bad. So bad. It was a holiday pie. It was a uh, McChicken, uh, McFish, and, and a McDouble. I think is what it was. I think that, that was the spread. Not good. Like, not even like, yeah, like, I could, it was just the texture too was just, oh. The texture was lumpy. God, it was a nightmare. Like, looking back on it now, I'm just like, what the fuck did I, what was I doing, man? <laughs> to make a hot dog straw, you just take a metal straw through the glizzy and suck the filling out. You don't have to eat the fill <laughs> filling. See, you don't have to be eating the filling, though. You could just, like, like blow it. Like, like spitball it out, you know what I mean? What are we looking for over here? Scales, embers, okay, cool. Just gotta be careful. Sometimes not knowing is best. That that's kind of yeah, kind of my stance. Oh, there's a lot of harpies. Oh, there's a lot of harpies. Yeah, that's a lot of beak over here, dude. All right, we got to be kind of careful because a lot of these casts as well. I don't even think it's worth like stealthing because we're we're not gonna like save any damage. We're just gonna take damage. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pull. Right, like look at that. The, like a uh, that was like the intersection of like five pats right there. So, we're not saving anybody by doing that. OMG the McFish? Yeah, dude. I already didn't like the filet of fish going into that. Like, that was my first time eating a filet of fish Never again, bro. Ne never, never again. Top five's worth... Uh, one time I blended a banana peel with blue applesauce and fruit by the foot. There were little fibers sticking out of the straw. Top five worst mouthfeels. <laughs> I could definitely imagine that, dude. I could definitely imagine that. That sounds so bad. Skip that area. They could stun you for 10 seconds. Really? 10 seconds? Holy shit. Is it just the elite, though? <laughs> oh, true Romeo. See, like, look, look at the casters. They, they already kind of just pump by default. Like, that's a green caster. Yeah. It is quite a dicey area. But it's fine. We got it. We still go sling it in here. Take a sip of the juice and a little nibble of the beef stick. Oh, unhinged, bro. At first, my arteries were like, bro, and my asshole's like, I got you, fam. What's the curly fry secret? I don't know if we want to know. I mean, there can't be, it's curly fries, right? It can't be that bad. I used to be the night shift manager at Arby's. Ask me anything. The curly fries are fine. Right, Sushi? There's nothing wrong with the curly fries. Right? Oh, and rip sinister. Big rip, man. Nay. We we were we were alright in BFD. But uh, if you're trying to make make some if you're trying to make some of those points back, just wait until we get into Sunken Temple again. That's gonna be a good bet. That harpy area is so sketch. Oh, yeah, for sure. I feel pretty com uh, confident to do this, though, because they are kind of greened. Like, we shred. I just got to be careful. 
They are standard frozen bags of fries that are pre-seasoned. That's okay. I'm alright with that. Right. I'm okay with that. I just, they, they just... As long as they don't have anything, like, weird in it, like, beaver buttles or whatever. Like, I'm, it's, it's okay. I just, I, I don't want to be horrified, right? Yeah, it's Cyclone? Okay, sweet. We could deal with it. No, 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 don't tell me about the roast beef, bro. I, I'm good. Don't you tell me about that roast beef. I'm, I'm fine. I enjoy it. It, I like a little RB sauce. Like, like, I, I don't think, that's one of the ones that I'm better off not knowing IMO. Right? I'm, I'm big chilling on the roast beef. The mod sticks are okay, though, right? R Arby's is underrated. I agree. I agree, man. I, I believe so, Karma. The male? Or am I tripping? You talk about the male, yeah? I ate Arby's so much that I don't need to know. Hey, I'm in that category with you, bro. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. And I'll probably still, like, fucking <laughs> eat it after, but... <laughs> That's the raspberry... Uh, the yes, yeah, with a beef, yeah, yeah. That's where I got that one from. We learned, we've learned so many weird things on the stream. Um, that that is just one of those, just one. So many other adventures we've taken. Come on, buddy, kite back. There it is. I gotta know. Oh, Chen, do you though? Do you gotta know? Uh, anything that comes out, uh, comes with the fryer is exactly what you would expect. Oh, that's great news. Okay. Frozen bags of pre-made goods that are straight to the oil. Okay, that's good news. Oh, that's fine. I'm okay with that. That's totally chill. Totally chill. Uh, a day has played. Got to 47. Yo, grats, just bush. Slangin' man, congratulations, dude. Ah, uh, I got you, karma. You got a new computer, though, today? Nice! Hey, way to get it, bro. Way to get it, bro. Congratulations. That that was fast, dude. Hopefully that'll minimize your downtime. Let's eat it up real quick. I do need I do. Now the beef. Okay, apparently you guys do want to know what the roast beef is like, so I guess I have no choice. Go ahead, Sushi. What's going on with the beef, bro? Tell me about those beef flaps. How, how they made. I'm a big believer of what I don't know won't hurt me. Okay, so I probably shouldn't read this aloud for you guys, because it looks like we're all split on this issue. H half of you guys want to know what those little beef flaps do, and, and the other half don't. So I'll, I'll read it silently, because I, I feel like I'm kind of forced to read it in a sense, right? Put you on the big screen. Hey, let's go, Sinister. Thank you, dude. Thank you. I'm honored to be up on that big screen, bro. All right, more embers. Uh, just the one, Paul. Bring out the wheel. <laughs> I don't know if we want to wheel it. I got to be honest. I don't know if we want to wheel it. And hey, what up, Tobar? Good evening, man. How are you doing today, dude? Whew! That was a big crit. 236 or 263. Let's get it. Oh, nice, Chork. Hell yeah, dude. Solid setup, bro. Solid setup. Oh, iron? Can I, I can do iron, right? I'm pretty sure I'm at the perfect spot for iron. Yeah, there it is. Nice, nice, nice. Mine it up. Okay, that's not that bad. That's not, that's not the worst sushi. I could live with that. I could live with that. It's sort of just like a hot dog, but like a roast beef sandwich instead. That's fine. All right, that's I, I'm okay with that. So it's bologna. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's fine. It's like a little little mix, little mixture. Yeah, little mixture. That's that's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm doing great, to bar. Thanks for asking, bro. Another Merlot moment with a crit. I know, right, Dean? Uh, we're fine. I don't want to pull the Chimera, but it pats, and it's gonna pat over here. So, like, we might as well kill it so we can just deal with this now rather than later. No, it really isn't that bad. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's not the worst. It could have been a lot worse. I, I thought it was going to be way worse. But that's okay. That That's like, I could sleep with that at night, you know? Like, I, I could I could still order the little beef beef and cheddars and, you know, it's like kind of respected, you know? 
I feel kind of respected. Uh, see, the problem with these is they don't hold back very well. And so we have to be extra careful where uh, things like the chimeras and those, those basilisks are padding. See, we were like, if we were a little bit later, we would have just gotten aggro on that immediately. We're sushi as well. Sushi, yeah. Uh, I'm talking to sushi. Sushi, we're talking to sushi at the Twitch chat specifically, but I also fuck with the food as well. The worst story about Arby's that I have is more to do with the location and the lack of business of the franchise itself. It's got nothing to do with the food. It just went out of. Well, it sounds like you get you just went out of order, right? Or not out of order, out of business, right? Like lack of foot traffic, poor quality control, right? And just sort of folded. So I worked at a Hardee's and I lost faith in people. They'd come in and say, I want the biggest burger that you have. I'd say, okay, we got a third of the pounder. They said, no, man, I want the quarter pounder. Yo, this is actually funny. So McDonald's uh, tried to launch a, a burger that was a third of a pound. And it actually performed way worse because the lowest common denominator assumed that fourth of a pound, like that quarter pound was bigger. Um, and so they, they took it off the menu. Like, that's a true story. You can look it up. McDonald's tested this. Kind of wild. Kind of wild. Hey, thank you, Mickey's. I appreciate the look, dog. Have you seen the video of how they make chicken nuggets? With uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I haven't like actively watched it, Big John, but I know of of that sort of things. Uh, that sort of thing existing. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying earlier, where it's like you know, the 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 how it's made. McNuggets, that one's gonna miss me. That 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 one I'm not gonna inquire too much about, you know what I mean? Was just scrolling on the gram and I just saw a video about how imitation crab meat was made. Mancini, please. Please don't, Mancini. That is my Mancini, that is my favorite snack. Don't don't ruin imitation crab meat for me, dude. God, I love it so much. I'll eat a whole pack. With, with, and and no issues either. I'll put it down and be happy about it. I'll, I'll I'll eat that whole thing and be like, yep, job well done. That's exactly what I needed. Hit the spot, right? I can't have that. I can't have that go away. Tag the Camara. You want no balls? I'll fuck. The, I can fuck the Camara up for sure. Imitation crab are just cheese sticks of the ocean. That's fine because I like cheese sticks too. I love. That's a good snack as well. Like those little cheese string, uh, string cheese little little. Sticks? Those are great. Well, I don't even know why they call it a crab. Yeah, I know, I know where we're going with this. Yeah, but I still I still like it. It's still one of my faves. Right? Crab or conglomerate, it, it tastes good to me. Tastes good to me. Right? I like it too, but now I don't know. And see, I just want to be ignorant over here, Mancini, because... The joy of of a pack of imitation crab meat, you know, it, it, it's it's one of my peaks, and I don't know if I want to go through life without that. You know, I think that'd be too str too tough for me to lose. Yep, you got it, Eli. You got it. Shift three. Shift three. Uh, hey, DJ, are you in the 100K OTK Makara challenge? Uh, I'll be like co-streaming it, but I won't like. I'm not going to be a duelist, but I will be co-streaming it, yeah. Can you eat a six-string cheese in a row? Deep fried, I can. Oh, yeah, deep fried, I can. Because that, that deep fried, that just sounds like cheese sticks. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So deep fried, I can too. I, I could fuck up a whole little cheese stick appetizer solo with, that, with no problems. Yeah, it's like tilapia. That's that's what. Yeah. Sneaky, sneaky. Bang. Imitation crab is a top tier snack, especially with cocktail sauce. Ooh, yo, I've never thought to try it with cocktail sauce. You may have just unlocked a new bis for me. I'll have to try that and report back. Hey, good luck there, Matt. I'll have to try that.
Uh, it was just okay. So this is your worst uh, Arby's like store experience. It was just slow all year round, except it's on both Mardi Gras and parade routes. So twice a year, it's an absolute shit show of people mostly coming in to use the bathroom. And by that, I mean I've caught people banging in the bathroom, shitting in the sink, shooting uh shooting up in the walk-in freezer. Jesus, dude. Yep, I I see why. That that does not. Mm. That does not sound very very chill, does it? That does not sound very chill. I love me some chicken livers and gizzards. How about you, Deech? My mom really likes that. I've never tried them though. There's like a little uh when we were growing up, there was a little chicken place kind of near on our way home from school and we'd stop there sometimes and my mom would always get those but i never had the strength to try them but i've seen them before i mean it's not like they, they look too like they look bad or anything i just never tried them a fried glizzy ain't too bad yeah i could i can see it i mean if you like regular yeah good with the fried variant it's more or less you know <laughs> yo there's the elite so when you do this zone, part of what makes it kind of sus is there's a there's a blue harpy that's an elite. You got to be very mindful. She has a big pat range as well. Uh, yeah, Pedigree found out unfortunately about that, and big rip on Pedigree. Just be careful when you're out here doing this because she will fuck you up. She will fuck you up. Deej, I don't know how I feel about you calling yourself a foodie anymore. When you eat ICM, buy the pack. I may have some strange habits, or I'd say tastes, preferences, if you will, right? But but I I I like to try new things. Like that's it's fun, right? I'd like to try and you know get some new new food in there every now and then. Hey, let's get it, oh brother! Coming in with a tier one for ten months. Thank you, doll. That's BDE. Let's see what Brian has to say about that. What you got for us, Brian? Let's go, dude. Hey, you're sell you're selling uh you're sharing that toilet time with me, bro. That's sacred. Thank you for uh for coming to me for the, for the, for the go to John Entertainment. Though I'm happy to keep you entertained while you're doing your business out of the game. It's a pleasure having you here, oh brother. And thank you for wanting to support on top of just being here, dude. Thank you for ten months, dog. Hey, I spoke cheers on it. Thank you, oh brother. Thank you, dude. These check reacts. A friend made a new PC wallpaper. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, that's nice. Get yeah, the the whole druid skins in there. That's sweet. That was nice of them. Very thoughtful to make one of the character. Damn. That's pretty cool. Don't try gizzards. Imagine steak griddle or yeah, steak griddle on steroids is so gross. Is it really? Uh huh. I just, it it looked it didn't look too. It did look, it was like burnt ends kind of thing. Totally the time, best time, truth. Oh, I, I know, right, Eli? I inhale those shrimp party platters as a guilty pleasure sometimes. Oh, yeah, those little, um, the shrimp. Oh, they're not like raw shrimp, but they kind of are. I, with the, like the cocktail shrimp, we're going to say, for lack of a better word. Yeah, those are great. Those are great. I love them. Defried Oreos are best. Oreos in general are best are the best store bought cookie. Mmm. Okay, they're definitely good, but I love those little uh soft cookies with the icing on top of them. Like and the little sprinkles that they do for seasonal, you know, times. Love those as well. Th those I could easily clear a whole pack. So those are up there with like Oreos for me too. Oh, here we go. Got an ambusher next. Yeah, we'd see some ambushers win colors. Hey, what up, Rich? Thank you, bro. Appreciate you stopping in and wishing us a good stream, man. Thanks. And I hope you're having a good day, too. So I come up, or I came up with an interesting snack. Imitation crab meat, unroll it, put a string cheese in it, roll it back up, tempura batter, deep fry, so good. Ooh. I feel like that's a roll or something. I think, okay, sub the regular cheese with cream cheese. I feel like that's a roll that I've had at a sushi place. I don't remember off the top of my head. But it's that sounds very familiar. I've seen a lot of hardcore film videos in this zone. Oh, yeah. 
I mean, there's just a lot of deadly mobs. That, like, you've got caster mobs, CC, aggressive pats, and then the, the elite, too. It's, it's very deadly. Ooh, Tim Tam's the best cookie? Pretty solid. Pretty solid, dude. Ooh, brother. You've cashed in for what really lubes the gears. Hmm. Okay. Let's think on this. We're talking a lot about, like, I don't know, little, 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 little desserts. Little, little store-bought things. Um, ooh, I got a good one, bro. You know those little muffins that are kind of moist? The, uh, Little Debbie's, I think is what they're called? Those Little Debbie muffins that you get in, like, packs of four? Those are delicious, man. Now, I'm not a big breakfast guy, okay? But if I'm on the go, and I'm looking for something to quell the short-term hunger, Little Debbie's uh, muffins are S-tier, and they really lube the gears. They're snackable. They don't make you lethargic. They're delicious, delectable, and I fuck with them hard. Those little, yeah, those little bites. Yeah, it's the little bites. That's what it is. They really lube the gears. That's what I got for you, old brother. And Matt coming on down with the, with the five-month resub at the top. Yo, thank you, Matt, for keeping us up on the talk, dog, and for just being here for five months, coming in with the, with the support on top of that, bro. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Thin mints are, in fact, goaded. Yo, hot take. I don't like thin mints. I don't like thin mints. Hot take. Because I don't like mints on, on, on really any form of dessert. Like, I don't like mint chocolate chip ice cream. That kind of thing. But you know what I will fuck with? The Samoas. The coconut caramel ones. What do you mean unfollow? Dude, they're, they're minty, man. I just don't like mints. Hey, thank you, Laura. Like, come on, guys. We don't gotta be unfollowing and unsubbing and all this we don't get that's extreme okay it wasn't like i said i, I want to kill puppies or something you know what i mean i just i don't like thin mints girl guy cookies for the wet they're delicious just just not the thin mints that's all coconut is f tier my kiddo says he's not with you on like yo come on we gotta get have so does anybody have my back on this hey Lily by Walker coming in with a follow. What up, man? Welcome, Lily. Appreciate the follow, my friend. Appreciate the follow. The Food Lion brand Samoas are better than the Girl Scout ones. I haven't had the Food Food Lion one, so I I can't say with certainty. There's got to be someone in my corner. Hey, what up, Poseidon? Coming at damn dude with the twelve month resub. My apologies on the alerts, the alert snafu, man, on the alerts failure. But hey, you got that burger batch. That 12 month, that beautiful legendary burger now, dude. It's crazy to think that it's already been a full fucking year of you memeing, getting us rolling with the stream stuff. Yo, Poseidon, thank you, dude, for all the support in and out of the stream, dog. Been here since it first started. And the fact that you're still memeing, helping us keep on keeping on, man. Thank you, dude. For Again, for all the support in and out of the stream, dog. Peanut butter anything, Girl Scout Wise is elite. The rest is ass. I like the Samoas. I like the Samoas. Hey, we got Mr. Debra coming in as well. What's up, man? Appreciate the follow, dude. Thank you. All of us like Thin Mints. Thin Mints are trash. Hey, thank you, bearded guy. Thin Mints are trash. There, I said it. I said it. No, nah, I don't fuck with it, Shasanta. I don't. I don't. Google what space movie came out in 1992. Samoa's Biss. Thin Mints, hard garbage. Thanks, Davina. Hey, Davina's got me. What space movie came out in 1992? Bro, what the fuck? What is that? The fuck was that? Is that real? That can't be real. That's got to be a, a troll, man. What the hell was that? Are you for real? I'm not. I, I can't say it. Look at your own risk. I'm not saying it, dude. Love the wild lore on TikTok. Oh, thank you, dude. I'm glad that you like the lore, bro. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oops, too late. Yeah, now you see. What the fuck, though? Holy... Coconuts are, uh, coconut is ass tier? No, it's not, dude. You tell me you don't fuck with a little Almond Joy? I could back you on pineapple on pizza, but Thin Mints, 
slap like nobody's business. I just I don't like mint like minty like desserts, dude. If if I didn't if I wanted like a minty thing, I would brush my teeth or eat a mint. You know, I I I don't want like a sweet treat and then a and then a side of 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 freshness because it's too cold. That's the thing. Like mints as a flavor, it it's kind of cold. But when you combine it with say ice cream, it's just like it's too much. It's too overbearing. You know what I mean? That's why I don't fuck with it. Best breakfast cereal, Captain Crunch. Easy Captain. I'll get crunchitized any time of the day, bro. Now he does fuck up my mouth on the way out, but I'm down to be crunchitized. I love Captain Crunch. I think it's the best. What do we got up here? Ambusher still. These are like very few and far between, right? The ambushers and the slayers. I believe so. Yikes. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, he did aggro, but we could de aggro him just by running. The York peppermint patties? See, I don't fuck with those either. I don't fuck with those either. Coconut flavor's okay, but I can't do the texture. I love the texture. Like the little flakiness? I I, I actually I fuck with that texture, dude. I love it. Cinnamon toast crunch? That's a good choice. It's a good choice. Why did my Google autocomplete that? Because it's being searched a lot, I'm guessing. Like, like just as a... I guess it's, it's probably going to be the next, like, big troll, right? That'd be my guess. That'd be my guess. The texture of coconut is completely, unequivocally wrong? Bro, what? Dude, it's good. It's like, it's like flaky. It's like sad. It's cool. What you mean, dude? What about Critters 4 gave you that reaction? I didn't see Critters 4. That didn't pop up for me, dude. I want your I want your Google API because or your not API, but yeah, your I want your Google because that, that's gonna be safer for me. Alright, there's no harpies over here that we need. So we gotta go to the other side. We gotta go to the other side. What about mint on something like dude wipes? Oh, that's actually refreshing, I imagine. I'll take that, Atlas. Yeah, mint on a dude wipe? Yeah, that, that's refreshing. I'll take that. So what you're saying is your mouth is wrong. Mm, no, no. I think my mouth is right on some things. Like olives? Fuck olives, dude. Olives can easily get all that forward out of life, and I wouldn't bat an eye. I don't fuck with olives. Fresh coconut is the only way to go. Hey, Laura's a fan as well. Look at that. Ah, it's not that, holy. It's not that, dude. Not that. It's It, it feels faster, Paul. That's the big thing. Hey, and right back at you, DMU. Olives are good on sandwiches. I don't fuck with olives just because they they don't look like how I think they should taste. You know what I mean? Or like, they don't taste how I think they should by looking at them. That's a better verbiage. I look at an olive and then and I'm like, yeah, it's going to taste like this. And then it doesn't. And then I'm like, yo, that's weird. That's it. No, SC. That tracks. Ranch on spaghetti. Not loving brown sugar Pop-Tarts. You got a wonky mouth. Wonky mouth. All right. Well, what about like Captain Crunch and like Sour Skittles, right? I mean, I mean, th th those are universal bits, aren't they? No heat on those. Garlic stuffed olives are so good. Okay, I've never had those. Never had those. I said fresh, not the dried shit. I immediately get Laura. Laura, I gave you the dub. It's okay. You like what you like. Hey, Granger coming in with the bits as well. Thanks, Granger. My apologies on the alert, Snafu. You said, I would rather eat a urinal cake than those nasty-ass coconut Girl Scout cookies. Applebee's number one dessert is coconut... No, bro. A urinal cake? Used, I'm presuming. No, bro. It's, it's like not... Why are you guys not like coconut? What's wrong with coconut flavor, man? Y'all don't like the flaky stuff? Like al like, like Alma Joys? What's wrong with Alma Joys? Do y'all really have fun with Alma Joys? They're one of my favorites. The mounds, too. Um, like... I don't know. Casper. I got a 60, though. Sour Skittles are super best? Truth. What add-on do you use for the nameplates? Plater. Starbucks Jelly Beans. Best of both worlds. I haven't tried those yet. What ability do you get at 30? Travel form. That's the big one. Travel form. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is much better than Captain. I don't like cinnamon, so... 
it doesn't hit me, but honestly, it's Cinnamon Toast Crunch is respectable. Even me not liking cinnamon, like, I, I'm not upset about a bowl of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's just not my favorite. Yeah, see, Almond Joys are bis. Jordan's a fan of the mounds. That's what I'm saying, dude. And congrats, Jordan. That's what I'm saying. They're good. Ban him? How do you ban the, the one who bans? I, I, we, we can't ban the one who bans, dude. What do you mean? Also, I'm getting visibly shooketh by the lack of slayers in this area. Where are they? Do they all share a spawn or some shit? Like, I'm seeing a lot of feathers, but okay, here's one. Yeah, dude, right in the thick of things, man. Of course. Of course. Just right in the middle of, of this. <coughs> hey, thanks, Chris. Three cinnamon too spicy for a Dutch. No, it's it's not. Cinnamon is it's not too spicy. I just don't like it. it it's just it's not my it's just not, I don't know, it's just not my thing. Um, this is a really bad scenario, by the way. I am in the middle of, like, literally a zombie. It, this is like that one scene from World War Z when the horde just doesn't attack, like, sick, like a sick person, and they're just, like, running aside from them. That's what this feels like. Let me get out of here. Let me, let me like, find a side and chip away. That's going to be way better. Way, way better. You don't like cinnamon? Nah, not a big fan. Not a big fan, dude. Not for me. So I don't know. I just don't like the perf the the taste. Coconut coffee cream is the best out there. That's I do like that. I do like that. Some subtle coconut flavoring is okay, but you start putting dandruff bullshit in the food, and I've got pro dandruff. No, it, it's it's good, man. It, it's like it's like shavings. It, it's like a zest, right? You get like a good little like it's like parmesan. You know what I mean? You know how they put like Parmesan over the Olive Gardens and they say when? That's like, 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 coconut shavings are the same, but for desserts. Straight up. Bro, all of this coconut slander will not be tolerated. I'm with you, Vezzy. I'm with you. You know what I don't see much anymore? Big Red. I think Big Red is out. I think Big Red went under. The gum? Uh, yeah, I think they're, I think they're done. Any candy that you can get in bags that are unwrapped or easily being downed in one sitting. Yeah, I don't have any self-control either when it comes to that. What expansion should I love on my next account, though? Ah, uh, Legion. Try Legion. Indeed, Quinternet. Don't they count as humanoids? Uh, they do. The, the harpies? They do. Roasted coconuts even better? I agree. These is Halloween night. What candy are you eating first in the bag? I mean, presumably... Okay. Hmm, let me think, actually. Alright, if I got an impressive hole, like... The fuck? Okay. Sorry, that, that was drawing. If I got a good hole, like, I went to one of, the, like, the, the loaded neighborhoods where they're giving out, like, full-size bars. And it's, like, basically, pick of the litter. I, I'd probably go for the chocolate first, and then cleanse the palate with a little, like, Skittles. Yeah. So I go for the chocolate first, because for me, I can only do so much chocolate in one sitting. So we get that sweetness out of the way, that richness out of the way. And then we curve the palate with like a sour candy, like Warheads or Sour Skittles, something like that. That's going to be able to cut out some of that richness that's left over. That's, that's what I would do. That's what I would do. Slayers are kind of closer to the part where you go to the Teslas. Good look, Sushi. Thank you, bro. Like down, like down here. Kit Kats for me, not a second thought. Kit Kats aren't bad. I they're all right. They're my sister's favorite, but they're not my personal. Fa I mean, they're they're okay. They're good. It's not my personal fave. If I'm looking at chocolate, dude, I'm, I'm fucking up a three musketeers most of the time. Little three musketeers, man. That 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 fluffy texture, dude. That silky smooth. Oof. All right, that was that was lame. That was uncalled for. I thought I had enough time for the moon fire dots to. Like, this is, dude, come on, I should have kept that tag. What the hell was that? Right? I definitely should have kept that tag. Deej, pumpkin seeds or sunflower? I'll go sunflower seeds, but pumpkin seeds aren't that bad. I, I'm like, I, like, like, sunflower seeds are slightly better for me. Yeah, little sniffles, little allergies. Oh, man. Those orange and black wrapped peanut butter taffy pieces, those are... Excuse me, those are good. Those are good. Chocolate of Fia Rocher, also great. Also great. Butterfinger is mine. I like Butterfinger a lot. 
So, like, okay, there's a classification of candy that are problems for me. Yeah, good and plenty are fine. Good and plenty are fine. Um, I don't have that learned, Jay. I don't. I don't have that learned. I don't think I do, at least. Yeah, yeah. I don't think. Uh, I don't think druids have that at this level. Maybe I skipped it because I know I skipped a couple of spells, but, but yeah, there there are certain cl classification of candies for me that like I like, but they cause me bodily harm. Right, sour skittles. Um, that's one of them. They fuck up my mouth, but I love it. Um, Butterfinger is kind of in that same zone for me because Butterfinger is like, when I eat a Butterfinger, it, it's like somehow they get in every little crevice of my teeth it's like they build up a dam in between the quarter inches between my like canine and molar and it, it's it's just slightly uncomfortable right i love the flavor i just wish it didn't stick in my teeth so bad that's my biggest gripe with butterfinger i go for the fruit tootsie rolls first those are good those are good thanks doe i appreciate you say or th thank you dova i appreciate you saying that dova is balance viable for leveling, or is it like Elemental Shaman where it takes a lot of water? You, yeah, you drink a lot. You're very thirsty. Hey, what up, Lencho? Indeed, my friend. Butterfingers are like makeshift cement. Yeah, that's true. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, they are like makeshift cement, dude. They're just thick. Everything gets stuck. Ever had a zero bar? Never had a zero bar. Way good? I'll have to try it if I see it. I like to skin my three musketeers and just eat the middle. Oh my god. Bro, that is unhinged, Cristobal. Cristobal, you're telling me that you get a fucking three musketeers bar and, and you, you take the harder chocolatey shell that contains the, the soft center. You peel that away. But see, you didn't say peel. You said skin, which off rip gives like lotion vibes. You know what I mean? Like off rip, that's a little red flag. That's a little serial killer. You said you skin a Three Musketeers like it's a canvas in front of you. You see what I mean? How do you... So, wait. The soft part of a Three Musketeers, dude, it, it doesn't have structural integrity. It's just going to flop. How do you keep it together, bro? Like, wouldn't it just, like, like flop down? Y'all fought with Dairy Queen's Blizzard? Yep. I fought with it a little bit too much, man. That's that's a that's a that's a sinful night for me. Hey, Sinister coming in with a gifted sub, the Lily. Thank you, Sinister. Lily's popping on down. They just hit us with a follow. And now you got him up with a gifted sub as well. Thank you, Sinister. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate that. And Twisted, what up, Twisted? How we doing? Yeah, don't people do that? Chris, well, I don't think a lot of people skin them musketeers, man. I don't think a lot of people are skinning it. Okay, follow up question, Crystal. Because you like apparently you, you like to, to skin the three musket. Do you also skin grapes? How do you eat your grapes? Reese's are top tier. I same. I love Reese's, dude. They're my favorite. They're my favorite. Yes, tell Mars you getting it. Uh how many days do you need leveling up from one to eighty? I have no clue, bro. And are you going to answer me? Well, now I kind of regret answering you there, Mozart, because that you kind of sound like a dick, dog. I can't answer you immediately, bro. I got like a couple hundred people. Bro, you got to have some patience, man. Damn. And I have no clue, to be honest with you, man. And now I don't give a shit to look into it, bro, because you're being kind of a dick. Hey, thank you, Davina, for the bit, by the way. Don't you mean Reese's? Yes. Yes. Oh, I skin Re- No, dude. You don't skin Reese's. No, dude. Wait, okay, here's what Davina said. I hate to admit this, but with a three musketeer- Davina. I also eat the chocolate off of it first. That's why you and Cristobal are a good match. That's all I'm going to say. Sorry I've done it since I was a kid. Oh, so you're saying you and Cristobal were matched at birth? Is that what you just said? That's what it sounds like to me. 
I'm way older, so no, it's just a number, dude. That's all that is, Davina. You're just you're you're you'd be Cristobal's romantic guide, right? I mean, it can't be that far apart. What do you get? Right? You just you just you're more experienced than Cristobal, right? What do you mean it sounds so okay? Hold hold pause. No, that's not what I meant. Okay, that's not what I meant. You guys know what I meant. It's not sussy. It's of course over the certain limit that we're gonna over the certain limit. Yes, but you get what I'm saying. Start kicking inactives. Wait, what? What you mean, Jim? For the guild? It'll be full. Wait, what? Damn. You can only have a thousand people in the guild. Is that guild cap? You can only have a thousand people. All right. I, I guess we will have to kick inactives, man. That's the only way to keep it fair, right? Or or just like, yeah, like like delete it. I mean that that's fine. I'm sure we got a lot of people who are just like, I mean like me, like you know, with Deej nuts. I they're still technically in the guild, right? So okay, here let's put out a little PSA. If you're in the guild. And, you know, you're dead, and it's a character, and you know you're not going to come back with them. Let's make a little bit of space in the guild to pause. Because we are somehow at a thousand. Almost. We got three more, and then we're there. That's fucking insane. That's fucking insane. Deej, why did the chicken cross the road? No idea, bro. No clue. Hey, what up, Ultra? I oh, know, we got you on that one, man. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah, it's not cap. A thousand people is guild cap. That's, that's, I mean, I guess it's not crazy, but it is crazy that we're there at a thousand. <laughs> no, it's not huge. It's not you. Hey, good to see you, by the way. No, don't do that, Steve. Please. Steve, please. Don't do that. We don't need to be doing all that. How many more of these do I need? Two. All right. Two. Two. Hi for the death run? Yo, I am G-Sass. T-minus 45 minutes is where we're going to get that going. T-minus 45. Start with the 72 and active that are got to go. I mean, not 72. I, I want to see what the max is. Uh, like, that that's what I'll start with first. It it's like, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out what the max and active is. And I guess that'll be our, our benchmark. Like, because if it's like two weeks or something or three weeks, right? Obviously, but let's see. Let's see. I'll I'll check it out post stream. Um, be kind of yeah. Gonna be a spicy death run. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Nah, you're good, sushi. It was just some ass hat. You're straight. All right, we need one more or two more. My fault. I'm starting to think, do, do these things share respawns? I low-key feel like they do. Because we're pretty much just left with, with nothing but the ones that no one wants for the quest. And that leads me to believe that it's nothing but the respawns. Because people are killing them. They're, they're basically doing what I'm doing, where they run around like this and just start, and try and collect, right? So maybe I should be the one that starts killing. Yeah. Uh, let me invite this dude. That way we at least don't compete with this this dude here. Now he he's going after that fucking iron mine or iron vein, bro. He's on his own. I'm not I'm not gonna <laughs> Yeah, that's a shit storm over there, dude. I'm not fucking around there. Uh what's the route that you're taking to Guru Baji? Uh for the Valley of Trials, we're gonna go to Org. We'll do a victory lap around Org. And then we'll take the Zep from, uh, no, we won't take the Zep. Then we'll go into Ratchet, take the boat to the Southern Booty Bay. And then from there, from Southern Booty Bay, uh, or Southern STV, rather, uh, we go to Booty Bay. Oh, no, what the fuck? From Booty Bay, we go to Southern STV into the arena. That's the route. That's the route. And all good, perfect boy. We'll likely do another one then, too. 120 characters have not logged in for over a month. Well, it looks like we got 120 spots then. Fuck yeah. If any if anyone is on, um, 
that could boot individuals and just want to go ahead and KO the, the 120 that I haven't been on for a month, go ahead and do so. Yeah, just just get probably ults or maybe people who have quit because they've you know had their fun with it. Yeah. If not, I'll I'll go through and clean uh post stream. Ooh, Christabel, you've got an Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for throwing up on myself when the wait staff at Applebee's was singing happy birthday to my son and getting kicked out for vaping after they said not to? Dog, you're, you're living life. We're, we're on two different complete planes of existence, man. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say on, especially on the son's birthday, man, that's kind of a dick play. Because it's like, you know, your son's there. They want to have fun, right? They want the, the staff to bring him out a little ice cream cookie and sing happy birthday. And Yeah. I think you're the asshole in that situation there, Cristobal. You should have just took the vape outside. That's the big takeaway here. Yeah, you, you should have just taken the vape outside. Hey, Uch, I see you, I see you uh, helping. Good shit, dude. Good shit. And, and Egg Krotos as well. Thank you all for cleaning out, making some space in the guild. What race were you? Yep, troll. Good load there, Jim. Well, yeah, I mean, you could technically you can be any race, but we're going to be starting in the trolls, uh, the Valley of the Trials, which is the troll and the orc starting zone. Whoever started the Applebee's thing, every time I see a commercial, I think of you. I mean, it was technically me who started it because it's an actual real life story like that I that I went through. So I just shared it and now it's a meme. So yeah. Yeah. It's on Defy's Pillagers. That's gonna be the death uh the realm of the death run. Alright, we literally just need one more. There it is. Fucking finally, bro. Good God. The death run, will that be on our server or Skull Rock? It'll be on Defy's Pillagers. It'll be on DP. Don't boot any of the Friars, please. I think I've been on all my twos this year. We get sweet, sweet. Uh, now we see the ambushers. Thought I was done. Am I the asshole for not enjoying Applebee's half price apps and unlimited chicken titties? No, you're not. You're not. I'd say you're you're sane. I'd say you're sane. Don't say DP. Not in this group. What's wrong with that? That's like the abbreviation for the server, right? What you mean? Honest opinion. How's the druid feeling compared to the rogue? It's faster, G says. A lot faster. Um, between travel form, you know, cat with feline swiftness, a lot faster, a lot faster. That's the biggest thing that I've noticed. And a little bit safer because it self heals. Hey, thanks, King. I appreciate you, dude. But it's all good. Thanks, dog. Well, Applebee's lore fact? No lore other than that it's a shithole. Trash establishment. Needs to be burned. That's it. I need the Applebee. I can't reopen this wound. Uh, just, just Okay, I'll, I'll sum it up. They, 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 uh, they, they, they raw dogged me on an endless chicken dinner special eight years ago, and I haven't forgiven them. It, it, it's just a grudge that I will likely take to the grave. That's pretty much what happened. They just did me dirty. And I just, it, it just, it hurt at the core level. That's it. That's it. It's classic. Hey, thank you, King. It's same, dude. Internally, I'm the same way, bro. Uh, are any of these ambushers Oh my god. You've got to be fucking kidding. None of them. None of them. I Well, I don't know, Davina. I don't know if that's a great idea. They're stealth, aren't they? Maybe. You might be right. Maybe they are. Oh no. Here's one. Nice. I waited 42 minutes for a burger that was cold and incorrectly made. I feel you, bro. Perfect example. Perfect example. These, where do you want the pictures for Jess? Just in general, it's perfect, Kondo. Oh, thanks, Mahani. Appreciate you. Hey, if you guys are look, if we need some more targets, Mahani's got uh, Liania and uh, 
and Falfordrin. They're dead, but I just do not have the heart to delete them. I get you, bro. I get you, dude. The absolute best spot for farming them is on the little hill right next to the elite. Oh, ne just that's convenient. Right next to the elite, huh? Hey, what's up, Daisy? Good to see you as well. Hell yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. I just did what Davina told me to do. And which okay, so she told you to Google DP. And uh she needs Jesus. I'll pray for you, Davina. Wow. It appears that the student has become the master. The tables have turned. Never thought I'd see the day. But here we are. Here we are. You think you was Elaine? Yes, exactly. Yes. Like, if they cut you at seven tendies, I understand the rage. No, they didn't cut me off at tendies. Um, they just weren't tenders. They were like nuggets, and they were 90% 90, 90 breading. Like, I was about to crack a molar on these things, man. And, um, and it just took very long. Like, like, like 20 minutes in between each round. And, um, you know, the outcome of a 20 minute per round, and also having diminishing returns. So, like, the first time it was five, then four, then three. It, it, it was just a flurry of, of anger. Internally, though. Because I'm, I'm kind of, like, chill most of the time on the outside. Jess is the person who, like, has to... Je Jess is the... <laughs> Jess is the one that has to stand up for me if there's something wrong with my food. Because I don't want... I always... I, I don't want to be a dick to the waiter or anything. You know? I'm just like, no, no, it's fine. It's and then the chicken's raw. So that's a funny dynamic, but... Yeah. Chili's decent, though. I do like chilies. Yeah, I like chilies. The pictures up for the death run of you and Lady Jessica together. Whatever you got, Kondo. Yeah, wh wh wherever you want to post them. If you put them in general chat in the Discord, that's the best way for me to get them. Ooh, please. Oh, it's a regular harpy. Close. Same colored. Uh, but why so turnt about the diminishing returns with them? But not Olive Garden breadsticks. And uh, what up, Amenia? Well, I mean, because at least the Olive Garden breadsticks are good. I can understand not wanting to run out of a good thing and rashing out a good thing, but these were just ass. Like, what do you what, like, like? Like, who are you saving these for, man? The rats? Like, Jesus! It, it's it's no reason to hoard these things. It's not like a national treasure. So it's more of like the audacity of why you would even give diminishing returns on something like that, right? F Applebee's, man. Ireland supports you, Deech. Oh, I got Ireland. Fuck yeah! Type. Hey, thank you, dude. Thank you. I'm glad I've got the support. <laughs> and that's Deej has an inner boiling rage I've seen it I, is that and Caillou those are my two like bugaboos those are my two things that and Caillou Oop. ooh Stone Talon hmm Bim Bim I don't know any lore off rip on Stone Talon Peak man I'd be down to investigate with you um I'd have to look it up though if, you, if you're down to be be a little bit chill with it. I'm down. I'm down to look it up. But I don't know anything about Stone Talon off, off Rip Man, to tell you the truth. Other than the de deforestation, um, that's going on with the Venture Co. That that's it. Off Rip. There's that one video in Stone Talon Peak. Yeah, the 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 murder mystery. Now that is a good video. That is so good. But as much as I wish that was actual lore, as oh dog, it's. God, that was a good video. I can't do a random Caillou lore fact either. I'm going to lose my shit. Nah. Nah, I can't do that one. Uh, I'm saying it wrong. I want to take a picture. Oh. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, I mean, if you got it for the death run, I'd say we're going to do like a screenshot thing in the beginning. Kondo, that'd be sweet. That'd be sweet. If you want to do it like that, that'll work. Can we talk about the next expansion leaks from Tally? I actually haven't seen those. Um, you saw about Lumbono? I haven't seen those. Um, I'd be down to check them out. Oh, thank you. Jesus Christ, bro. Got it. Why the rage for Caillou? It's because he's a bitch, man. His lifestyle, his attitude. It's just he's f fucking weenie, man. Like, rub some dirt in it, Caillou. Quit sobbing. Get over it. Life's gonna be tough titties, bro. I can't, I, I'm already, like, just seeing red. 
Like, my, my vision is slowly, like, turning into a Vignette effect, like... <laughs> it's his attitude, dude. <laughs> I just can't do it. Just, it just, I don't know, it just bothers me, man. That's it. Ban from the talk incoming. Yeah, we gotta be careful, man. <laughs> we gotta be careful. Uh, Lamau, my kid started laughing when he said that you can't state a lore fact for Caillou. Yeah, yeah, can't do it. It's a limiter. Oh, thank you. Yo, I feel like we gotta bail out with this one. This was a great spawn. Finally. Nice. What a nightmare. Where are we going? Uh, turning in, right? I think we just turn in next. Now we need some crystallized scalies. The fuck? Where are we headed? Where the, the scales are going like this way. Kill black and basilisks. Score specialists for crystallized scales. All right. Is that here? Oh, no, it's all here. How do I not have a single scale? I don't think I have this step. Or maybe I do, and it's a world drop. Uh-oh. Well, I don't even have this quest, so... I'm just gonna skip this one. And then we go turn in some stuff. Let's do it. No, it's not my inner child, perfect boy. I refute that with every bone in my body. Hell no. It's not me, dude. <laughs> I beg, oh, don't you do that, Snaz. I bet Caillou wouldn't go next. Oh, okay. Yo, that took a turn. Nice. I agree with you on this. I bet Caillou wouldn't GG go next over a 52, uh, after the 52 rogue died. That's right. You know what he'd do? He'd probably wail for his fucking dad. That's what he would do. He'd, he'd probably have to have somebody come in and tell him it's all good. It's, you know, it'll all be good. Quit crying. That's what he would do. And then he'd try to, like, sing some bullshit song. Bald ass. Fucking Caillou, dude. That's Caillou. No, uh, we looked it up. He doesn't have cancer. That odd one, that is a common misconception. Caillou is fine, okay? He's fine. He's just kind of... He's just weak. That's it. He's just weak. You're right, Davina. You're right. I'm losing it. I'm losing myself in this rage. You're right, Davina. Thank you. Let's have, let's have some espresso to, to calm down. See, that's what I'm saying, Friar. That's that's me. That's what I'm saying. I agree. Looking forward to the death run? Hey, same. Same, dude. I'm excited. Who's Caillou? It's, it's a cartoon character that bothers me. That's... It's a little like a, like a children's TV show. There's a, he's the main character in it. It kind of bugs me. As if... Je <laughs> Perfect boy. <laughs> what happens if your hypothetical son's favorite show is Caillou? He better find a new favorite. It's banned in this household. Door vs. Caillou Makara would pay money to see that on pay-per-view. What brand of espresso do you drink? Um, most of my stuff is this is this uh this uh what's it called? Coffee beans called Death Wish. That that's that's what I drink uh a good bit of the time. Um Yeah. There's a bluey household, what you mean? That'd be fine. That'd be fine. I'm on Device Pillagers. What kind of car do you have? Uh, an Acura 2004 TSX. It's like, uh, kind of like a small little, little four-seater. Good gas mileage. Good gas mileage. Very efficient. Nah, you good, Sushi. So glad I got to be here for another death run. I won't be part of it tune-wise, but it's always great and fun to watch. Oh, sweet. Hey, it's all good. I, again, I just appreciate you being here, too. Maybe he was... No, no, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Don't give him a bailout, each. That's just how he is. That's his template. <laughs> Odd one. Yo, what up, Butterboy? How we doing, bro? Basically a Honda Accord. Yeah, it, yeah, that's right. It's basically a Honda Accord. I think Honda and Acura are like... Aren't they similar brands or like close? Kind of in style. Look about Honda Activan. That's my car. Better gas mileage than whatever you have. Really? Do you have serious beef with a fictional character? Forget Tinky Winky vibes? Given Bert vibes? What do you mean, Bert? Like Bert from Sesame Street? Honda Activan? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, these those those are built to last, right? You said, yep. Okay. 
That's fine. That's that. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. We'll take it. Hey, isn't it? That's right, Jim. Bro, 04 TSXs are actually dope. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a very reliable car. I've had it since high school. Very, very reliable. I made a tune for the run tonight. I hope you like its name. I'm sure that I will. I'm sure that I will. They're both Japanese cars. Yeah, it's a good brand. It's a good brand. Shadow Meld is a thing of wonders in hardcore. Yeah, it's pretty cool to be able to stealth on the spot. As a cat, I don't use it as much. I wish it did break combat, but sadly it doesn't. For classic, at least. Three hours to go. Three hours. What you got in three hours? Oh, three hours ago. Oh, yeah. With uh, with the KT stuff? Yeah. They did. Now, they lost some bodies on that one. But uh, we, we did check out, uh, or we talked about, rather, Frontier K. Owen. World, fir world first KT. That's a, It was very impressive. Very impressive. Ooh, get the Desolus flight path. Are you... Okay. Aren't there, like, 40s? I guess we're about to find out. I guess we're about to find out. That's true, Daisy. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Which area are we starting in tonight? The Orc and the Troll one. So, Valley of the Trials. Life did a thing, but I'm happy to be back and watch the... Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate you being back as well, Pontably. Hell yeah. Boom. Ooh, this or that. Goblin or Gnome Engineering? Um, so, I, I looked into this, Vezzy. I'm ultimately not sure, f like, my understanding is that if you, goblins, they, they give you better bombs, like you make dynamite and shit, but gnomes are cool gadgets. I don't know what's better for hardcore, but goblins, like, give you better explosives, gnomes, uh, give you, like, cool gadgets. That's what I think. It want my midget, what's a butt pummel? Like like a bad situation. I go and goblin. I goblin away. Goblin away. Where are you on the map? Stone Talon. Stone Talon. At the moment. We're just moving through. Apparently we gotta go get the deathless flight path. Oh, death. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Yeah. That would blow, wouldn't it? Goblin D's nuts. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Hey, good looking menu. Yep, 7 p.m. Eastern. So we'll start doing invites in like, what is it, 30 minutes, 6.45 p.m., 15 minutes ahead of schedule. Um, and then, because uh, I want to get to run in as close to 7 as possible. So that's what we're doing. That's, uh, that's the time frame we're looking at. Stealing this from General now. Uh, Kelfus should say, Torn who fall off Thunder Bluff become ground beef. That's funny. Kelfus, that's funny, dude. Ooh, yo. Hey, Jack. You got that merch command on? Funny you say that, because we've actually... We're donning the McMouse T Right here. That's right. The McMouse T. One of my favorites, Loaf designed. Very cool graphically. Did he, uh, did he add more merch? We're currently testing out a couple things. Um, making sure that, you know, everything stays up to date. I don't know when you last checked it. But, uh, I mean, the newest item, I think, is the, the BDE, uh, briefs. I think it's the BDE, uh, briefs are the newest item. Back, any upgrades? No uppies. No uppies. The Harpy Quest fucking ate, like, an hour, as it usually does, but other than that, we're chilling. I know, Ashley. Hey, we, at least we know that area well. Oh, thanks, Ryer. Uh, there's the BDE big boy briefs, but I don't know if they're real or not because Deeds hides them from us. It's not that I, I, I genuinely like them and I do wear them often and I always get stuck in the cycle of like, I need to save them for the first stream to show like I do with the shirts, but like, you know, I wear them. So it's like, fuck the, I, they're in my, my drawer at the moment. Like I haven't worn them this cycle and I'm waiting to wear like instead of wearing them the next time I pull them out of the, the drawer I'm just gonna save them that's gonna be my plan does Deej model the briefs I that's loaf says yes but I, I don't I, I don't recall signing a consent form to model the BDE big boy briefs 
I, I didn't sign anything. Maybe it was a fever dream that was actually real. I, who knows? But I don't recall getting photographed. I know, God, that was brutal. But at least they got it down, right? If this was Defias, I could help. Le it says Defias. Well, it's Defias Pillagers. I missed it on a scale of 1 to Arby's. Arby? How terrible was DJ's loofah? Yo, my loofah was fine. My loofah was fresh. What you mean, dude? The loofah was spotless. A little damp because, again, I just showered. But, like, you know, it was a good, it was good loofah. Man, I'd fuck up some Arby's right now. Yo, same. God, I'd put a couple of beef and cheddars under the, under the ring right now, dude. Mmm. God. Little curly fry? Little Mott's? Dangerous game. B hey, thanks, Cristobal! How absorbent? Oh, uh, all right. I now I I I, I do like to d QA everything myself. That that basically I wear it. I make sure it's comfortable. I throw it through the wash to make sure it doesn't shit like the bed. But I didn't think to test the absorbency of the boxer briefs, Cristobal. Um. I don't think you could blame me for that one, though. I don't know, man. I don't know. Hey, good look, Dano. Love says absorbent or absorption 100. If it's 100, it's a I, that's that's a huge value add. But I did not personally test the the absorbency of the briefs. Got to be honest. Ooh, let's get it, John. Yo, I fought with Pad Time. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> Someone's got to need the do moist loofah. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Ah, uh, rip, Alex. Hey, it is what it is. I just appreciate the help. Uh, the help you offering to help, dude. Uh, what's the most fun class to level? I mean, for me, it's rogue. I really like rogue a lot. But I think it depends on who you ask, personally. Oh, this is actually fine. The biggest threat here are going to be the the um the hyenas that roam. There's like a big pack of hyenas. I don't think they're actually this far back. They're more here, but... Like that, okay, the Dread Swoop's 33, but we're fine most of the time. What's the material that the McMouse tea is made out of, and does it shrink in the dryer? I haven't noticed shrinkages. Um, I got the tag. It would, it would say on the tag, right? Oh, shit. It would say on the tag, right? All right, let me get on flight path. Let me get on flight path. Because w watch me like AFK into mobs while I'm trying to look at this. Uh, bro, this is this listing is wild. Uh, common ancestor, or do they speak orc? A wyvern? I, oh, I think I know what you're referring to. You talk about how orcs are the only ones that are able to tame wyverns. Welcome to Desolus. Ah, here it is. What are you doing right now? Getting a flight path. Or going the wrong way to get a flight path. Trying to get a flight path. That's better verbiage. Trying to get a flight path. Oh, for sure, for sure. If it's 100% cotton, it's going to shrink. It's definitely not 100% cotton, then. Because I'm not noticing any shrinks. Get to a safe spot. Okay, I got you. I got you. We get to a safe spot and then, it, then we fly to Stone Talon. BFA trailer time. Don't. This is the BFA zone. You should PvP flag and attack Rexar and Misha. I don't think I'm making out, uh, out of that one alive. I think we're, they're going to put us in the dirt. I don't want to throw hands with that, with that beast. All right, one second. Let me take a quick bio too while I'm on this flight path. I'll simultaneously check the shirt fryer.
Okay, I lied. It is 100% cotton. I lied. But I haven't noticed any shrinkages. But it could just be me. Maybe I didn't, I don't know, think to, think to, maybe it didn't shrink as much for me to notice. So yeah, treat it as if it will shrink, Fryer, because it is 100% cotton. I didn't know you had legs, Deej. Yep. Yeah. Walking and everything, man. Walking and everything, dude. Hey, come on down, Chris. I'd love to have you. And I, Chris, thanks for the, for the roses as well, dude. Pre-shrunk? Um, I don't know. I didn't see anything that said it was pre-shrunk. I, I, I checked the, I took the shirt off, checked the label. Nothing like that. Um, just said 100% cotton. All right, Dano, you cashed in for this for your lore fact. And uh, Bim Bim, if you're here, we can do your Stone Peak one too. So what you're talking about here, yeah, Wyverns share a common ancestry with dragons and griffins. They hail from the same, most inhospitable regions of Kalimdor, making them masters of adapting to any environment. They can be found living in the cliff terraces of the Barrens, Stone Talon, a Thousand Needles, as well as parts of Theralus. Um, the orc thing, though, that you asked about, where's this at? Was that in the opener? They do understand orcish in Tahori, but they don't understand common. Yeah, here it is. Okay, okay, here it is, here it is. Impressed by the orcs' commitment to honor and victory, the wyverns allowed orcs to ride them into combat against those who would disturb the tranquility of Kalimdor and his denizens. The wyverns used their powerful claws and razor-like fangs against both airborne attackers and ground troops, while their riders may hurl and venom spears at the enemy. Wyverns today are considered sacred by both orcs and tauren. They're kind of like, um... What's that? What's that thing that they ride in Avatar? Where they like they they like sync up their tails and the tail to the braid and shit. That's what it's like. Yeah, they speak or yeah, they speak workish. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Well, they like That's why only limited races can tame them, is because of that connection. It, yeah, it is pretty insane. Explain why them all orcs going into <laughs> maybe, maybe they just not all orcs? Ah. Common enemy? I don't I don't know, dude. But yeah, that's the idea. It's it's really cool. Um, I didn't know that they shared ancestry with Griffins either, so that's a that's an extra plus. Hey, the Mortal Sniper coming on in with the follow. What up, Mortal Sniper? Welcome, man. Appreciate the follow, dude. Thank you. All right, what time we got? T minus uh fifteen minutes, and we'll start forming the group. Um, now I will need. So here's the play. We're gonna be doing this on on Horde. We do have a guild for Horde already set up. I will need an invite on my Horde character to the guild too. Um, if one person, whenever we get rolling, could like hop on the Horde guild and, and start the invite trains, we should be good. But other than that, that's the only thing. We trolling soon? Yep, 15. We'll get it started in 15. Unshrink the item. Turns out there might be an undo button for laundry mistakes that leave cotton garments. If you accidentally shrink your favorite tier joggers... Through a higher, he's like, all is not lost. Soak them in cool water. Oh, cool. I always thought it was a permanent thing. I think I'm the only person alive over there. I think you can still invite, even if you're not alive. I'm ready for the death run. It'll be the first one that I could join. Nice, dude. I'm hyped to have you. I'm hyped to have you. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be amped. Scorpion, I, <laughs> I see what you put in the Discord. That's going to get flagged, dude, but that's funny. I know it's not what it looks like, but it's funny. Nice little meme in there. Oh, any bear put a little carrot cake action? Sushi's got some soup, too. That's going to be a dangerous game to play. What are you, Death Run? Yeah, I got you there, Mindswap. Good luck. Yeah, I didn't know you could untrick things. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Damn, we're so close to 31 too. Three bars away. We've been bumping. We've been bumping. I'm liking the prog. Liking the prog. Predatory strikes already maxed out. We're ready to get into some Heart of the Wild points when, when they become available. Ooh, Marshmallow. Hey, listen. As someone who is... I, I may be 
haven't AFK'd in a bad spot, but I've certainly all tabbed. I feel you. I feel you. Hey, it's always a lesson learned, right, dude? Always a lesson learned. Deej, I don't think I've seen you eat on stream since the subathon. I want to see you chew. I mean, like, I, I don't think I've got special form, Pudding Tater. What do you want to see? Anything in particular you want me to eat? Like a sub sandwich or like, like a little chicken part? Like, like, what do you want me to eat? What race for the death run? You could do any race, but we're starting in the troll and the orc area in the Valley of the Trials. Just hit 30 on my mage. Where should I go? Um, Duskwood, if you if you haven't fucked, fucked around with Duskwood, Ashenvale is pretty good. Um, you can do Northern STV if you take it slow. Any of those are fine. Yellow Skittles. A glizzy. That's OF material right there, Deej. Charge for it like your feet. I mean, that's that's a great point. That's a great point, yes. A slice of white bread. We did that yesterday. We did that yesterday. Didn't you eat grilled cheese this week? Not on stream. Not on stream. A little chicken parm. It goes a long way. Bagel with cream cheese. As long as it's an everything bagel, ba bagel. As long as it's an everything bagel, I'm down. A bunless hot dog. Why'd it gotta be bunless though, dude? Jess, you don't... Oh my god. No, babe. They they want me to eat a boneless hot dog on stream. That's one of your favorite foods? They want me to eat it on stream because it looks like a dick. You would pass. Yep. Just said a bunless hot dog is one of her shit. How do you eat a bunless hot dog? You cut it up and dip it in ketchup. What? 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 Are the, how do you? What are the cuts? What, how do you slice it? Like, like, what, how many inches? Are they like bigger chunks? No. Okay. Yeah. I want to see you eat at Applebee's 10 day. Don't think it'll ever happen. Don't think it'll ever happen. Carolina Reaper? Can't handle spice, dude. I think that pat I'd, I'd that'd be rough. That'd be rough. Show us how you eat a chicken wing? I mean, I just take a little bite. I, I like drumsticks. So it's like, I don't know. Just like bam, little bite. What do you think the most balanced playable expansion is for PvP and Arena? Uh, mate, I don't know, bro. I, I'm not really a super intense PvPer, so I, I, I don't know, bro. To be honest with you, uh, Rogue died in ST, Michael. Message Didgeridoo for invite. Yo, thank you, odd one. Thank you, dude. Didgeridoo. Okay, sweet. What about a banana, Deej? I'm not gonna eat that on stream either, dude. I know what you want. If I do, I'll break it into a little part. I'm not gonna go like you know whole whole hog on it. You know what I mean? Well, I'll I'll break it off into little pieces, and just go individual. Hey, what up, Enrico? All right, bro. Hey, you enjoy your snooze, dude. Uh, do you just crash would forgive Applebee's and eat one on stream? I mean, they look. Listen, they can they can make amends, but only Applebee's corporate can mend my heart. That's it. But they could do it. They just, yeah. I gotta be wine to dine, do you know what I mean? What about a Geoduck? I'd try it. I, I, no troll, I would try it. If I could source it, I, I, if I can source one, and it's not, like, fucking incredibly expensive, I will eat it on the stream. But, like, I, I think it's a logistical thing. It's tough to source, I believe. Do I break bread into average-sized pieces? Well, it depends. So, like, you know how an Olive Garden, not an Olive Garden, you know how an Outback, they come out there with a the loaf of pumpernickel bread. I mean, I'm not like whole fisting that one, right? That's rude. Think about the other people at the table. I break that into smaller pieces and eat it, right? So everyone gets a share. But if it's an Olive Garden breadstick, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm whole fisting that one for sure. Hey, all right, Enrico. Have a great night, dog. 
I heard you eat chicken fingers and glizzies backwards. How do you eat it backwards, dude? I've never heard of eating it backwards. Oh, yeah, for sure, Michael. Absolutely, dude. And I appreciate you just enjoying that. I'm sorry, Deej. I've held it in for too long. Chili's is better than Applebee's and I will die on that hill. No, I agree with you, dude. It's, it's, yeah, I agree. That's cool. I like, I like, nothing wrong with Chili's. Chili's cool. Talking about the bomb? You eat it from the, what? Backwards. But you're not eating it. You're, you, it's, so, so it's like a, a, a suppository? Is that what that is? No, but this is not eating, right? Indeed, Spice. We got T minus what, nine minutes? Deej scoops that cream donut center with his thumb. Okay. Here we go. Mm hmm. Uh, do I, isn't this, where, where's the dude that I need? I thought he was like right there, but he is not. Doll Blood Claw. Where you at, doll? That's what I want. That's what I'm after here. Never forget. Hey, never forget. Unlimited soup, salad, and breadsticks at Olive Garden as long as you can one tap the breadsticks. That's right. That's right. And that's why we like that value. How many times do you think that they'll show T Swift during the NFL game tonight? As much as they can, bro. As much as they can. They, they found a new niche, so they're going for it. They're going for it. I don't remember that episode actually prior. Yeah, I don't remember that one. Uh, if this casts, nice. I was worried about it casting, but it, it's it's chilling. Bro, my wife is a Wifty. Oh, you mean a Swifty? Yeah. Do not mess with them. They are insane. Hey, I'm not throwing Jay, dude. I'm chilling. I'm I'm chilling. Now, is she the type that? You know, does she think that that Taylor Swift put Travis on the map, or is it is that what is that what you're dealing with, dude? Or or is she just a big fan of the uh, of her of, of the albums and stuff? Because there is a difference. Yeah, it's not over here either. Yikes! It could be in any of these areas, but <laughs> Ooh, I know, right? I got another good computer, or if I get another good computer, I'm buying WoW again. I miss it after everyone, after I watch everyone on the top playing. Oh yeah, dude, it's really fun. Hey, come on down, bro. Come on down. I'd love to have you. And you guys have crushed the, the like goal and the talk chat yet again. Thank you guys so much for doing that. I'm certainly down to cash in on a little lore fact here. Um, hmm, let me think if I've got anything off the top of my head that I think would be really cool. Hmm. Something that I've I've done maybe. Hmm. Oh yeah, he's right there. Bang. Hmm. Oh, ooh, I've got a cool one. All right, all right. It's kind of metal though, but it's it's fine. Um. So if you go into Nax Ramos and you'll hear like uh screaming like when you first zone in. Right, you haven't killed anything. You'll hear you'll hear people like screaming, like like distant voices and you know echoes and things like that. So the source of that, it's not just any ambiance. There, there's actual reason for it. That's coming from the the final boss in the construct co uh, quarter, whose name is Thaddeus. Um, and the reason why the screams are coming from them is because Thaddeus is known as a flesh golem. What a flesh golem is is it is a scourge instrument of war. It is a massive conglomerate of of corpses sewn together uh you know carcasses like multiple skins um sort of like a like a like a big ass like tank essentially but made of hundreds and hundreds of people um now the thing about this is like when those people sort of get sewn together and and made into the a flesh golem their souls are going to trap there as well and so the screaming the help me please save me you know the, those like really iconic um, we'll say quotes from Nax. All of that is actually from the souls of the people trapped within Thaddeus. Specifically, it's 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 a it's a, a, it's a woman, um, because the scourge, you know, 
they didn't get they, they weren't very picky about the souls women or children easy game so that that's the lore behind those uh spooky voices in Noxramas. it's the souls of hundreds of innocent women and children sewn together to make thaddeus the big boss that's what i got and i hope you guys enjoyed that one thank you guys again for spamming the likes in the talk chat Swift is the one-shot warrior king. So since your uh, wife is a Swifty fan, I'm sure that she... <laughs> the fan had a one-shot... Aw, oh, dude. Right? Wait, did I read that right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is a term of endearments, right? Ooh. You want to know about Archdruid Fandral Staghelm? All right. Well, the Archdruid, this guy, he was... So he's an Archdruid, and uh, he was leading... The Druidic Order, um, for a long time in Darnassus, he, uh, he, it's sad because he kind of, you know, despite his power, his prowess, and how high of a rank that he held, he, um, he sort of lost his mind. It all started with him losing his son to the Karaji, um, with the whole pop off between the, the Druids, uh, or I guess the Night Elves, Darnassus in general, um, the conflict with them and, and the Karaji and Silithus. He lost his son then. And uh, ever since then, man, he's, he's kind of been on a slippery slope. We we don't really see him reemerge um, too much until a little bit later with um, the Firelands patch. He comes back. I believe that's him, right? That's not. Well, let me let me double check. Let me double check. I believe that is him, right? Fandral Staghelm. He comes back as the same guy in Firelands, right? Yep, that is him. Yeah, he comes back um, during the Firelands patch in Cataclysm. And he's serving as what's called the Major Dormo. The idea behind this dude is it's like the right hand of Ragnaros the Fire Lord, the Lieutenant. Um, we saw one of these before. That was the the lizard that summoned uh, Ragnaros, Executus. It's actually elemental technically, but I don't know. He kind of looks like a lizard to me, right? Um, it's basically Ragnaros's right hand. So whenever the Druids of the Flame were sewn into the ranks of the Fire Lord himself, Staghelm decided to lead them forward as the Archdruid of the uh, Druids of the Flame and also the uh, the right hand of Ragnaros the Fire Lord. With it came a whole new set of forms as well. Um, but that's the lore behind him, man. He started off as one of the key Druids of, uh, you know, the Night Elves, led them to, to new heights and even made strides against the Karaji, but ultimately turned to deeper powers when he lost his son and his mind to boot. There it is for you, Sushi. Hope you enjoyed that one, dog. That is the lore behind Fandral Staghole. Just a little bit of an overview for you, dude. Have you ever picked up takeout? The bag's like eight pounds, but it was just for you. And you know that you're going to eat it all and there's no one there to stop you. Yes, and I love that feeling. I love that feeling. It's a great time. Do you think I'll the Death Run character now? Same. All right. So I need to get mine, uh, mine rolling a little bit. Give me one second. Uh, I will go over and make my little Deej Run character now. We'll go from there. Hey, old goose. I know, dude. I'm so sorry. I did. I did. But hey, we learned as well. We learned as well. Uh, what realm do you play on when you're not doing hardcore? Um, Area 52 mainly. Area 52 if I'm not doing hardcore. Uh, okay. Unable to reconnect, bitch. What? We were just connected. We voluntarily disconnected. All right, let me relaunch it because apparently it was unable to reconnect. Man, honestly, I just like hearing you tell it. You had a little something extra. Oh, thanks, dude. Thank you. I know I can't get into too much specifics because Staghelm's a big character, um, right? So I do, whenever we do have those bigger characters, I like to give those like, I don't know, overarching sort of, uh, what's it called? Breakdowns, analysis, you know what I mean? So I'm glad that you enjoyed it. And I'm, I'm glad that you, you like the little bit of extra stuff I put on it too. So ready? I'm saying I'm ready as well. I'm ready as well. The source of the screaming and Nax is actually the ghost of hardcore characters that were wiped by Sir Zelik uh, by the troll tank. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> hey, maybe. Maybe. All right, guys. Um, Give me one second. I got a little checklist here for the death run. If you already know what you what you need to do to join, go ahead and do it. Um, and if not, I'm gonna get all the all the instructions and everything posted to 
just so we're good to go on it. Boom. Where's the wallpaper from? Uh, I got it on Google. It's literally, if you just search Skyrim Cat, you'll find it. It's, it's literally, that's what's just called Skyrim Cat. All right, that's good to go. Let me get these rolling as well. Cool. Okay, that's pinned. So we got the pin thing in the Twitch chat. That's good to go. Let me get the talk chat's instructions posted. Uh, we got boom. Boom. And then boom. All right. All right. Let's begin. Here's the plan. Ooh, let me also uh, disable the decursive because that's like popping up over there. Where's this bitch at? Bang. All right, here's the plan. We're doing the death run. All right, we're all going to make level one troll characters. Here's how you join. All you got to do is step one. Create a level one troll or orc, okay, on Defias Pillagers. Step two, whisper Deej run the words I and V, only the words I and V, and you'll be automatically invited. All of you guys are more than welcome to come. The route that we're going to do is we're going to try and make it through the Gurubashi Arena. So we're going to start here in the Valley of the Trials. We're going to go to Orgamar. We're going to do a victory lap around Orgamar. Then from there, we're going to go down to Ratchet, take the boat to STV. And when we get to Booty Bay, we will run north to the arena. Now, once we get to the arena, stick to the bleachers. Because what we'll do is we'll have a showdown. We'll have a battle between the two raid groups, okay? It, I'm assuming we'll have two groups like we usually do. I think actually last time we had three. Um, so we'll do a group, uh, a raid group one, the raid group two. And we'll, we'll divide everybody and then we'll descend into the arena. But that's the plan. So again, you guys are more than welcome to join. I got the instructions on how to join right there on the talk and then pinned in the comment on Twitch as well. Come on down. Now, while you guys are getting rolling, uh, ooh, yo, th is this on me? Oh, that was a little, that was a little hiccup there. Everyone froze for a bit. Let's check out some of these names. Let's see what we got because the names are some of my favorites. The names are some of my favorites. Deej Feet. Hello, Deej Feet. Pats on grass, Windex snaps, Deej beans. Already a great start. Already a great start. Yo, anyone else lagging? You're seeing the same hiccup at the server? Maybe it's a server hiccup. Runny guts. Manlet Deej. Manlet Deej. Oh, hey, got to clap his back. Hey, got to clap his back. Let's get it. Death run, bro. Dude. Hey, who's this? Hi, you? You, you, you used a special character to name your character Caillou. Dude. I don't know whether or not to be impressed or, 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 or disappointed. But I'm here for it. I'm here for it. All right. Spicy Nips Deej. Deej is hung. Oh, that was nice of you, dude. I, I like that name. That's a cool name. Busty Deej. Who's jumping around here? Remember Amy. All right. All right, we're officially full on group one. So I'm going to leave and I'm going to start a group two. Now I need a volunteer for group to, to, to lead group one. Can we get a volunteer? Who wants to lead group one? Hey, DR coming on in with a follow. What up, man? Welcome, welcome. Appreciate the follow on the Twitch chat, dog. Yep. Yep. Jack, that's what we're doing. We're just getting informed a little bit ahead of time. Trying to get all, you know, together, a little more organized. Uh, because I'm not able to pay attention to him, Ath. Like, I'm I'm fully focused on the death run. And, the, you know, I'm not able to do the rewards in the midst of that. So I'd rather just turn him off if I can't do him. You know what I mean? Oh, so we got regular just Deej. Okay, nice, nice. Um, It's fine, honestly, as long as we don't get phased. That's the biggest thing. 
as long as we don't get here, I guess fucking I know Caillou is in group one. So Caillou, you're gonna get my marker, dude. Just so I know we're not gonna get phased. Can you add Dipsy Deej? I can't whisper you for some reason. Yep. Yep. You're good to go. You're good to go. How's group two looking? Group two's getting there. Group one's already full. Again, all you got you all you guys gotta do is uh whisper Deej run the words I and V for an automatic invite. My meme to you. I am following you while I go to practice tonight. Don't let me die. Oh, dog. Yo, don't. Don't. Okay. That, hey, that's a big trust, man. I'm going to do my best. I, I'm going to do my best. I, my content, as AMJ said. My content. Yep. No. Yep. All right, Aminia. You're, you're literally AFKing? Like, for, for a long period of time? I feel like I've, uh, it's like I'm in fifth grade and I just got assigned the egg project. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to pee. What? I'm going to wait to pee till after we start. Just get a cup, man. You, get, you got your gamer bucket? Where's your gamer bucket, bro? Hey, who made Deej Anus? Dirty Lufa? Deej Easy? Okay, that's kind of cool. Deej Easy. That's cool. That's cool. Limited tendies. Is this... No, nope, it's limitless tendies. God damn it. Yep, you got it. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. is when we're getting started. We're just forming now to see how much we got and get organized. DJ ain't for the... Yep. You promised tendies this time. I promised nothing. I promised nothing. Zilch. Nada. Nothing. DJ trolls? I like that one. I like that one. Just go in your pants. Hey, big one. Four to pound. Uh, in the raid, where are we headed? Gurubashi Arena. Gurubashi Arena. Uh, you got limitless tendies, but thought mine was Windex Naps. Yeesh. Oh, it's Windex in apps, isn't it? Like, and apps? Is that what that is? Your limitless tendies twisted? That's funny. Yeah, Windex and apps? <laughs> my bad, dude. Yo, my bad. <laughs> You're DGZ? Let's get it, dude. I like it. I like it. Let's see what else we got. Fuck Thin Mints. Hey. Hey. Yes, dude. Whoever made Fuck Thin Mints? Nice. Great name. Great name, dude. Deej's Lufa. That, that's, that's still funny every time I see it. Tinkerbala. Uh, someone's already dueling to the death, guys. All right, plenty of group, plenty of room in group two, plenty of room in group two. Chocolate and mint don't belong together. Facts, dude. Hey, big facts. Anna, that's you. Great name. Great name. Saggy cheeks. Saggy cheeks. Nice. Got the cl oh, you're got the clap theory. I'm liking the name, dude. Glad to see him back. Midas Rogue. I don't know if the, if they're actually yo my I don't know if Midas is like an alt or some or, or what what the what the play is. Remember Amy has challenged you to a duel to the death. I'm sadly gonna have to decline, remember Amy? It would be kind of a logistical hurdle if I lost. I am Meat Shaft. Hey, we got Meat Shaft in here. Yo, is Meat Shaft in a group? Meat Shaft is already in a group. All right, cool. Cool. I was about to say, we had to get them in. Your glory troll? That's funny. Oh, sweet. Hey, greetings, Tim Echo. Thanks for, thanks for hanging, dude. Thanks for hanging. D just beads reported for duty. Hey, let's get it. Silver, you got some time still. We still got six minutes before we go. Indeed, Story Boy. I'm excited. Deej, remember you promised us an IRL stream at Applebee's in the swings and then claimed you never promised us anything? I don't. I, I don't. I don't. I just... I don't remember that. I don't remember anything of the sort. It, how is Deej already dead? Yo, what? How did Deej already die? And why are you naked, dude? Don't, uh, dude face, don't, uh, dude face, don't get on my dog. Hey, don't defile my corpse, guys. What are we doing with that body? We don't got to be doing all that. That's theoretically me. That 
Oh, and more of you guys are piled up. Oh, now we've got a fucking ball of humping. All right. Uh, all right. Oh, Deej Balls. That's funny. I like Deej Balls. And you died to Caillou? I didn't see that. What do you mean I died? No, that's not, that's not, that's not fair. I didn't die to Caillou. Hey, let's get a doctor. Right? No, please tell me no. Oh, Deej runs and Zotsa, I think, are dueling. Is this to the death? It was? Hey, well played, Deej runs. Well played. Well played. This is on Defias Pillagers. This is on Defias Pillagers. That's why your course was getting teabagged. If I died to Caillou, then that's that's fair. That's totally warranted. If I if if that's what put me in the dirt, that's what then yeah, hump away, dude. Go for it. Teabag me to to in to fucking the next server reset. Your DJ Balls Mew? Hell yeah, man. I'm loving the name. I disabled trades, polar bear, because I was getting spammed. And it was uh it was tough to edit around. So I got I got my I got like trades and shit blocked. No, Deedrons, I saw you. You're one you're one and oh, dude. I'm not gonna make it two and oh. I'm not gonna make it two and oh. Deej looked at Akayu's bald head and saw just how bright his future was. Deej Butts is created. Nice. Nice. Deej Jabari. Yep. Yep. As long as you have uh as long as you have regular classic, hardcore is just a server. Hardcore is just a server. Alright. Group two is almost full. Group two is almost full, but we still got a couple of spots here. What, like twelve spots? Yep, we still got like twelve. Let me get you in Deej. No, I a auto follow Deej. We learned about why it's not a good idea to auto follow Deej. Here is why. Because if we do that. We're going to come into a situation like the Furball Cave, and we're just going to stand... Deej, talk us down, okay? We're just going to come into a situation like the Furball Cave, where everyone is following me, and then we just get ransacked, okay? A train is ran through us by the Furlogs because no one wants to go first, right? Deej, would you like some spicy Deej nips on a stick? Uh, I think I'm all right, dude. I'm straight, bro. Tantalizing offer, but I'm okay at this moment. Deej cannot handle the smoke. Because he knows that Deej Balls is the real Deej. You're right. That's too much. That's too hot to handle. What can I do? What can I do, man? I'm only one guy. I, that's too much. That's too much. It is the official. And all right, Robert. Hey, you still, Roberto, you, you still got some some room in here, dog. Chris, you too, dude. Everyone want to run a train on Deej is what you said. No. Now, hold on, Mr. Ride. That's not what we said. I'm I'm gonna kick regular Deej because he died. We're talking about talk, talking about the the fur blogs there. I only died last week because I stopped auto following you. Well, my next question, Sushi, is: Did you touch the grass? That's my next question. It happened within moments, but was it on the grass? When I dinged 60, I ran through the carnage of your corpses to get to my final turn. And that's actually kind of epic. No, I was closer by pixels to the mob. Hmm. Okay. Now, I don't think you should take that and have your main takeaway be, hey, the only safe route is follow Deej, because I promise you that's not going to end well. That's not going to end well. You know, you killed me jumping over a log. I'm going to say this. I am, am certain if you follow me, put me on auto follow. It's risky. Okay. It's risky. You guys see me in these, man. I panic. All right. I react irrationally at times in the face of danger and everything just goes out the window. Wh whenever I get attacked, my only instinct is just fuck, fuck, fuck. I need to live. That's it. Okay. That's it. I'm so hyper-focused on just surviving, and I, I forget about the follow ball, all right? I forget about the follow ball. What up, Myces? You need to go and lead into the front. Mmm, I'm good. I, I'm okay. 
I'm okay, dude. I'm straight, dude. I think the auto invite is broken. Never mind. Okay, cool. It could have been because I was full. Oh, we were full. It could have been because we were full. All right. So we got enough for two. I'm going to go ahead and leave this one. I'm going to remark Caillou. That way you guys could still, uh, that way you guys could still do it. So we, we've got three now. Um, is, can so who's in group two? Can someone in group two, uh, what's the character name so I can mark you? I'm Meat Shaft. Hey, thank you for being here, man. Thank you for being here. Fuck yeah, dude. Deej runs, all right? Oh my god, it's going so fast. All right, sweet. So I've got, every, I've got, as again, as long as we, wait, where did Caillou go? Hey, where did Caillou go? I don't see Caillou. Where's Caillou? I want to make sure we're not getting phased. Log off and back in real quick before we start to drop the followers. I don't want to do it to him. I don't want to do it to him. That would be that would be sad. Okay, heal me, dude. You're in group one? Okay, fine. You got it, dude. You got it, dude. That works. So we're not phased then. If as long as we see both groups, we're not phased. I think we're good to go. Uh, we need Deej flavored Pop Tarts. I mean, that'd be kind of sweet. We got plenty of room in group three. Plenty of room in group three. Trust me, if you're getting phased, you wouldn't see this many people. Okay. I didn't know if they did it like gradually or what. Well, never forget the for the content. <laughs> yeah. And that was a panic. That was a big panic. How much time do we have to join? We need to get started here really soon. So, like, I mean, we'll do a screenshot here in a second. Maybe a couple minutes max. If you want to be at the start. Now, if you you could find us at, at any point in the run and join in then. But if you want to be here for the start, we're about to get rolling uh, real soon. Hey, and Abs and Cody, thank you guys for coming in with the gifts, man. Thank you, thank you. Anyone else need an inv? Anyone else need an inv? Last call before we do the screenshot. I get you, Loaf. That makes sense, dude. That makes sense. Deeds, let that guy sponsor you? What? Who? What, what do you mean, what guy? Deej, let's sponsor you. I'm confused. <laughs> what you mean, dude? Sometimes, Ted, but not, not always. I'd personally prefer nah. I'm part of the guy's group, but I'm not in the shard. Maybe leave and rejoin, Tojack? Hey, Jerry, a cheers, man. It's Troll Howard from Starfield? I can't say that I'm familiar, man. Um, this Death Run is sponsored by Caillou, the best kids cartoon in the world. Okay. What server? It defies pillagers. I have no idea, Jim. I, I wouldn't be in a position to help. It took me like two minutes for me to get in the shard after the invite. Okay, so it does eventually zone you in. Sweet. Sweet. Uh, I'm almost on. Two minutes. Where's this run to? Gurubashi Arena. Can we gamble on channel points on whether or not you're going to die? Okay. that's We'll, we'll do some channel points if I'm going to die. That's a good idea. All right. Let's do it. Because we're also going to do channel points on, on the raids, too, when we duel. All right. So, will Deej die in this death run? All right. If you want to gamble on some channel points in the Twitch chat, go ahead. Uh, we got a yes and a, and a no. Uh, boom, that's up. What? Boom, that's up. That's up. Where's the hardcore selection? Server list, there's a hardcore tab at the bottom. Hardcore tab at the bottom. I'm on the wrong layer. My understanding is it'll eventually get you into the right one. Um, it, it just might take you a second to shard. That's my understanding, because it happened... It happened here a bit ago. Um, Two-way. Where, where, where did it go? Specifically, it said... Hold, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. 
it happened here to Bryce. So two minutes for them to get in into the layer on the start of the invite. Uh, oh, you know, the lead dev who lies a lot for Bethesda, Todd Howard? Oh! Oh, Todd Howard. Oh. I got you, I got you. It just took me a second to connect the dots. I've heard of Todd Howard before, yeah. But I did put two and two together. That's on me, though. Alright, anyone else seen an inv? Mike's mom's? Got it? We good? We good? Anyone else need an inv? We got some. We got plenty of space in group three. Plenty of space in group three. We we have well over a hundred at this point. But then we're gonna line up and do a little screenshot. Yep, that's the idea. Outside one, it is. Yep, level one. We're all gonna get it in there. Five spots in group two, so we do have some. We do have some space. All right. In the meantime, let's line up. Teach does it hurt? No, dude. All right, let's line up for a little screenshot. Let's line up for a little screenshot. I like this this area right here between the two flags. This is cool. Yo, let's get between the two flags. Right here. This looks picture perfect. Picture-esque, everybody. Beautiful. Where's this to? The arena. What's up, Psyduck? World of Warcraft is in the name. The graveyard. All right. The, well, no. Damn, dude. Look at this. Hey, real, real quick before we get started, man. Thank you all for being here and memeing. Again, these death runs, man, they get bigger and better each time. It's a hell of a time. And I want to pre I want to take the take a moment to just say thank you to everyone who's made characters and is going to run this shit back for the memes for us. Hell yeah. A cheers to you all. Oof. Oof. Hey, Granger, thank you for the bits. Thank you for the bits, dog. My condolences on the loss of the character, man. That's a tough one, but it's a tough lesson learned. Just GG, roll it again. And, and hey, thank you for the bits again. All right, guys. Three, two, one. We ready? Let's do this screenshot. Three, two, one. All right, we got a couple. We got a couple. Nice, nice. Dumb girl needs an invite. All right, last call for invites. Last call for invites. If you want to come on down... Here's what you do. Whisper Deej run. Just the words IMV. We'll get you in. We got some spots open. We're going to get started here in like 30 seconds. Dukes. <laughs> All right. You're in. You're in. Last call. And then we're going to get it get it cooking. Get it cooking. Let us die for our queen Deej. Thanks, Goose Run. Thank you. Thank you. This, you know. I mean, Apple Deej's is... Oh no, Apple DJs is asleep, not dead. I'm gonna defy spillagers. I'm gonna defy spillagers. You better not die for my content and my channel points. <laughs> I'm stuck in the rocks. Wait, what? How are you stuck in the rocks? Like back here? Oh. For the tendies. Oh, hey, th from Hawaii? Thank you, Machigo. Thank you. Are you on? Are you getting on defy Zerters? There's a lot of you guys over here, and all what's and all of you guys are naked. What are y'all doing over here in the rocks, man? No, ah. What are y'all doing over here, huh? Watching from Vermont? Oh fuck yeah, ice cream and eggs. Hey, thank you, dude. Thank you, thank you. Come over and find out. Looks, I don't know. It looks like nothing. It looks like nothing. Hey. Doug Gaiman coming in with a follow in the Twitch chat. Thank you, Doug Gaiman. Welcome, welcome. And a rookie ripping some bits as well. Hey, thank you, a rookie. Thank you, dude. Thank you. I have to pee? I mean, you got some time. Are you guys RP walking? Oh, my God. Yaman? All right. Hey, I guess we're getting it started. With an RP walk. Now, I would like to say we are we we cannot RP walk all the see I already see it. Uh, we cannot RP walk all the way to Gurubashi. It's just not gonna happen. What we could do instead of standing there 
is our P walk to the end of the Valley of the Trials, sort of as like a, a nice peaceful protest, right? A nice ancestral way to honor the fallen Guru Bashi, who have lost an incredible amount of footing in the arena. I mean, we could, I mean, we could, but like, dude, we would get clapped. Could you imagine if we RP walked in like Fellwood, right? Look at how slow we're moving. Dude, we're given a full on buffet to one of those rabid bears. One of those infected wolves are going to have their fill with us with this, man. We are literally a walking golden corral, right? Are we there yet? Yeah, it kind of closed, dude. I should have peed. Yep, probably. This is really cool to see all these. Uh, look, look at this. It's kind of satisfying to watch all these RP walking uh, characters, though. Right? It's like a mass protest. Who do I whisper for an invite? Deej Run. All one word. Deej Run. And let me also bang. Do this one. Do this one. How do you RP walk? It's the backslash on my keyboard. It's the backslash on my keyboard. Eating good in the neighborhood. I mean, it's a good, it's a good catchphrase. Honestly, it's a good catchphrase. All right. Now I want to say this. While the RP walk was great, uh, it's made us very loose. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's group up in a little death ball right outside the gates of the Valley of the Trials. Right. Let's get everyone together, and then we will presume our running. Can we stop at Applebee's? No. No. That's the last place we're stopping. It's goddamn Applebee's, bro. Everyone said to follow. I I advise against that. All right, that that is that do that at your own risk. Just saying. How many people turned out this time? Um, like, what is this one? It's like one twenty, one twenty. Hey, Kitty Liquor, coming on in with a follow. Welcome, welcome. Appreciate that follow. All right, we ready, guys? Let's get it. We are about to embark on a journey. Okay, here's the plan. Our journey starts here at the Valley of the Trials. We're going to go to Orgrimmar, and we're going to do a little bit of a victory lap, okay? We're going to honor the ancestors who founded Orgrimmar by stomping around, all right? Then from Orgrimmar, we're going to go down to Ratchet. We're going to get on the boat. And then from the boat, we go to Booty Bay. From Booty Bay, we go to the arena. Guys, I would like to remind everyone to stay tight. Stay clean, okay? This is a march for the ancestors, right? It's going to be limp dick. If we get to the Guru Bashi Arena with like five people, that's not a battle worthy of the Guru Bashi name, is it? But you know what is? If we make it to the Guru Bashi Arena with like a hundred trolls, that's honor. Okay. That's culture right there. So let's do our best for the ancestors to stick to the road and not touch the grass. Onward, everybody. To honor, to ancestry, um, and, and to memes. And to memes. Now, I see a considerable amount of you have, have left me on follow, and that's okay. But again, I would like to remind you guys of the considerable risk in doing so, right? You, you see how I react to panic. You see how I react to danger. It's going to be tough, but I'm going to do my best. Hey, we got a little snoot and boar. Oh, goose run. Goose run. Yo, nice seal. Hey, nice seal. It seems like we haven't learned from last time. It, it seems like we've already pulled a boar for some reason. All right. That's, that's, that's not the safest start. We never learn. I know we don't, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. Let's just keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. No grass touching IRL or in the game, please. Yo, that'd be Bert. Well said, dude. Well said. It's vanilla. It's vanilla. For Rohan. Hey, that's right. For Rohan. For Rahan. 40 plus 40 plus 20 equals 100. Okay, my bad. It's like 100. My fault. Quick math. Quick math. I'm behind on it. Hey, Doja Lol. Welcome. Appreciate the follow, Doja Lol. Winner gets chest. I mean, as long as no one is there, I guess, to take it. Sure. Yeah. 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 Mama, life had just begun. There's no grass to touch. That's by design. That's by design. Damn, look at that, dude. Look at that impressive death ball. It's lovely. It's thr it's full, dude. I'm like I'm loving this. Hey, we got Nader TV coming on in. Welcome, welcome. Appreciate the follow, man. Thank you. Oh. All right, I'm noticing already we're fanning out. 
Now, we're not going to be slapped on the wrist here, okay? Because there's not a lot of aggressive wildlife. But if you try to fan out in the jungles of STV, you're going to get clapped by a gorilla. And it's not gonna. It's not even to clap you. You're gonna get thunder clapped by a gorilla. And it's not even to think twice, dude. You're not even gonna see it coming. You're gonna hear it, right? You're gonna hear the like the hoo, 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 and all of a sudden, bam, you're dead. All right, you're not gonna be able to react. Now I just saw that. Okay, somebody just elegantly tossed a little knife at that boar, and now it's rooting and snooting in the group. That's the kind of activity that's gonna get us killed. Yeah. That's the kind of activity we want to avoid. We got to be careful on that, all right? I understand that a couple of you guys are maybe chaotic neutral, personality-wise, but let's keep the chaos to a minimum in STV, yeah? Just to be safe. Just to be safe. We're on Defias Pillagers. I remember these runs, and the leader kills kill runs. Leader kill runs. I haven't heard about that one. Toucheth not the grass. Outside? Hey, well said. Well said. You did, Shadow. We have done this before. Yes, this is our fifth. We do this every Thursday at like 7 p.m. now. Deez, let me clap them cheeks like a gorilla. I'm a pass. I'm a pass. Someone said they shorted? That's on you, dude. That, what if the boar wants to come to Gurubashi with us? I mean, if, if that's the product, sure, dude. Yeah, we, we get a company, a little boar, right? We got room for it. But let's not, let's not force it. You know what I mean? Can we stop for McDonald's? Hey, we got McDonald's at home, dude. We got McDonald's at home. Have all you guys made it? Uh, fuck. I, I don't know what our highest success rate is. I really don't. Uh, we've gotten clapped multiple times. I'm going to say, like, like, last time everybody died, but that's because we tried to make it to winter spring. Right? So it's a little bit of a higher risk. I'm not sure about the exact layer. Hey, pretty good, Red Main. Maybe Molten Core? Yeah, honestly, dude, even though we got torn apart by the cats in the Badlands, we had an impressive amount of people make it to Blackrock. Like, like a stunning amount of people, dude. I, I had no idea. We had like 40. Uh, I like to think about us being part of other people's stories. I also like to think of the bystanders. Like, what's it like to witness us in the wild? You know what I mean? Just doing your thing, killing boars, scorpions, whatnot. And then you just see this, right? Just a ball of troll blood and fury. Like, like, look at that. Look at that. You see the shaman over there? The shaman wants in. Hold, hold up. The shaman wants in. I see them shock blocked. Yo, great name. Let's get him in. Come on, shock block. You can come on down, chief. He's joined. Yo, shock blocked is in. Guys, if you, okay, new rule. All right. New, new, new policy. If we ever see any bystanders who stop their activity and look at this, just toss them an inv immediately. All right, that's that's going to be the new thing. That's going to be the new thing. Now, who is this? Who's trotting on down over there to the graveyard? Friar, is that you over there? Friar, we're doing a victory lap around org, and you don't want to miss that. Victory lap around org, first and foremost, okay? We're going to go like this, right? Right side through the drag, Valley of Wisdom, back to the Valley of Strength. Victory lap around Org. Victory lap around Org. Sure, Scuba, if you'd like to come on down, we're Defy's Pillagers. We're Defy's Pillagers. We are not going to the Zep negative. We're not doing the Zep. We are going to go to Ratchet and do the Booty Bay boat. If we did the Zep, it would be a little bit too close, guys. We got to have some spice. We got to have some risk. We got to have some angst. Yeah? So we're going to do the boat. To ratchet first and foremost wow beautiful beautiful look at classic org oh that oh so light red and pink color palette of the clay mm, those tents those huts i could practically smell the sweat and boar being roasted over that big fire right there it's tasty and it's tantalizing. And we're here for it. And we're here for it. Here's Frost and Bolt. Frost and Bolt is moving with the Raptors. Yeah, we got a little Morcho 2 also coming with the Raptors. We do this for that sweaty, sticky dooge mod. Pause. Pause. I'm going to tell my kids this was the Eras tour. You know what? I'm here for that. That works for me. That works for me. What are the point? What's the point of this run? 
Oh, I'm just reading the... I gotta... Hold up, hold up. I got it on the middle of the screen. The memes. The memes. That's the point. Because it's cool. And it's fun. And it's meme -y. How long you guys running for? However long it takes us to get to STV. And hey, bold moves. We're in org right now. We're doing a victory lap. You guys can come on down. You guys can come on down. Just whisper Deed runs. IMV. That was underrated as well. Yep. Yep. All right. Hang left. Care, hang left. I have a 60 warrior on this server? Dejeezy, that's great. Eat me, Deej. Pat. Passed it. I'm all right. I appreciate that, though. Yo, I appreciate that. All right, hang left, everybody. Hang left. Nice. Nice. Out of the divisive fork in the road, it looks like everyone's going the right way. Great start. Great start. I saw a bunch of dead bodies between Fellwood and Winter Spring. Yep, yeah, that was us. Several of us perished on, on last week's death run. Several of us did. Um... Tough titties, bro. Lesson learned. All right. Can't make it a winter spring. Run defies pillagers. All right. Keep it moving. Looking good. How do we descend? We don't want to go out the back door. I think that because that gives us in a jar or that puts us in a jar, right? What, what is the safest way to descend? Do we just like. Yeah, it looks like we're heading towards a back door. Hey, can we survive this? Oh, yeah. Yo, everyone just jump off, dude. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Let's do a little, uh, little parkour. Little parkour. Oh, hold up. I gotta get a shot of this shit, dude. Oh, yeah. Look at the... Oh, look at the waterfall of characters. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's hype. That's so cool. Alright, onward. Onward. Now, we've been a little split, okay? When we go out of Orgabar, shit's gonna get real in the Barrens, okay? So, we're a little... We're, we're a little spread. We're a little loose. When we get immediately outside of the gates of Org, let's all clump up again into a nice little death ball. Deej, I need ranch. I got you, bro. Always ranched up over here. Let's group up and let's get tight again. What's my contrast at? I have no idea. Why does it look sus? Uh, did you say, did you see any dead bodies in the sunken temple? Jesus. It's been like a week. 89. It's been a week. Good meme. Good meme. All right, we good? Do we have any stragglers? I think we're chilling. I think we're chilling. Big Chungus. Dark Mood Fair. Tight for Daddy Deed. Oh, my God. All right. All right. Let's move. Onward. All right. Here's the play. Razor Hill. Left. Fucking through the barrens to ratchet, all right? Now, stick to the roads, yeah? Stick. I don't know why y'all think I want to go first. The If I go first and die, it's it's big rip, okay? It's big rip. So we got to keep pushing, right? We got to keep pushing. How is this compared to the wetlands run? I mean... Stranglethorn Vale is fucked up, bro. That, I mean, STV is serious business. I mean, we thought the Wetlands Crocs were deadly. STV is going to clap some ass, man. Straight up. Straight up. It's, it'll be a problem. It'll be a problem. Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. All right, dude, I'm going to remember that. I'll, rem I'll remember that. We'll, we'll see how, how, how we're doing when you're, when you're shaking in your boots, right? We're in front of a, a a level 30 Murloc. And you're on auto fall. We'll see who who's Wimpy. Wendy's Baconator? I actually stand for that. That's nice. That's nice. If y'all let Deej die, I'll sub to grief all of you. I, hey, don't let me die. We gotta save the content. Hey, thank you, Daisy. Thank you, thank you. Zaryu is following me? Wait, has he got me on auto follow? Is it actually Zarya or is it never mind he left? Oh rip. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. He went back to the chase. <laughs> he was, he ran away. That's cool. Hey, that's cool. Shout out Zarya. Alright, guys. Let's keep it rolling. Razor Hill is in sight. Now again, I want to remind everyone, you No, you smell Deech balls. Fuck off. I want to remind everybody 
that this is going to be the easy part, all right? There, there's no threat. There's no risk here, all right? It, it Shit's going to turn up when we get into the STV. That's the part that we got to be worried about. He's coming back? Is he mounted up? Save my content? Yes. Yes. Save the content. Deej gave me STV? No. Pause, dude. Hey. Nah, dude. Are we there yet? Yeah, we're pretty close, dude. Just put one foot in front of the other, bro. It, it, it's I want Applebee's. That's going to be a solo want, bro. Hey, bold moves. We got JDX bold moves above. Hey, thank you guys for the gifts at the top. Thank you, thank you. Deidre, do I, I cannot duel you to the death at this time, but I appreciate the, the, the honorable attempt, man. Honorable attempt. All right, turn right. Everybody turn right. Anyone else slightly puckered by, by those raiders suddenly springing into action? I kind of was. I kind of was. The amount of comments that... Am I going to see God, Mommy? No, you'll be fine, dude. You'll be fine. As long as you stick to the road and don't touch the grass. All right? Like, like see how Alas here is flirting with those stalactites, right? Those little geographical... That's not what you want to do, okay? That's not what you want to do. Now, guys, we are approaching some quillbores, okay? I would like to remind everyone that the quillbores are literal descendants of a fucking demigod, okay? A big-ass boar named Agamogan. It was the blood of this boar that birthed them. They literally live in his corpse, okay? Um, these quillbore are like level 10, and they're not to be trifled with, all right? I don't want to see anyone flirting with these things, Okay? They're not going to, they're, they're honest, I can't even get it out, dude. They're, they're not going to flirt with us in a, in a nice way. What they're going to do is they're going to, they're going to squeal and see, hey, see, Lufa, Lufa has been targeted by this Razor Mane battle guard. Hey, good net. Hey, who put that net on that? Hey, that had some mustard on it, dude. Nice. Hey, good net. Good net. All right, keep moving. Uh, I use Quillboard Quills for toothpicks. I would like to remind you, we, we are level one Windex and apps. We are level one. All right. We don't exactly have a lot of leverage against the Quill Boar, but despite that, we've made it past the camp. Now we're coming up here on the bridge. All right. We're coming up here on the bridge. Guys, I would like to present you all with an opportunity. Okay. I would like to present you all with a little bit of a democratic opportunity. We've got two options. Number one, we could do the safe thing, all right? We could do the safe play. We could go to the crossroads with some training wheels, stick to the road, and go down here. Or, option number two, we could take a hard left, a shortcut, and go through the wildlife. What do you guys want to do? You want to play it safe, or you want to go for two? Take it hard, short, crossroads, one, one, one. Pick number three, my lord, two, one. There's a lot of ones. There's a lot of ones. I do see some more twos, though. I do see some more twos. Okay, hold up. It looks like we got some server snafus. Hey, chill, chill, chill. Yo, it looks like we got some server snafus. All right, we're good? I'm seeing way more twos than ones now. I'm seeing way more twos than ones now. Dude, some of us DC'd. Where did you guys DC'd? We get on the DCH? Outer space exists because it's afraid to be on the same... <laughs> Wait for the DC. Okay, who, who all DC'd? Two or go home? I mean, it can't be that bad, right? You guys, let's do a poll. All right, let's do a poll. I'll start up a poll because we're waiting back for the DCs. What are we doing? Uh, play it safe or go wildlife. All right, go ahead and vote in the poll. My friends at the top, just say one, say say one or two for the same thing. If you're in the Twitch chat, go ahead and refresh. Vote it up. We will do what this poll says. We will do what this poll says. The vote is victory or death. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It looks like overwhelmingly in the two we've got wildlife. We've got Leo Bonbon coming on in with the follow. What up, dude? Welcome, man. Welcome. I appreciate that follow, dude. Thank you. 
I'd rather go down in a blaze of glory. It's okay. Real talk. It actually would save time. Look at this. Look at this strip, right? Direct line to ratchet. Direct line to ratchet. But then we got to go around. You're going to lose my points? I mean, I, it's not me, dude. I, I'm, we're doing a vote. Hey, Teddy also coming in. What up, Teddy? Welcome, dude. Welcome. Guys, read it and weep. Read it and weep. It's overwhelmingly the wildlife. Guys, let's get wild. Let's get serious. Let's get spicy. Everybody, through the wildlife. Through the wildlife. Now, this is going to be a straight shot, the ratchet, and we got to keep it clean. Okay, everybody, tight little stack. Deej, ranch my bussy. I don't know what that means, man. I don't know what that means. Grass, baby. That's right. There's only grass. There's only grass. Now, I want to remind you guys that the wildlife here is not going to be flirting around. All right, be safe. Be serious. No stray animals. Not a petting zoo. Not a petting zoo. Keep it moving. All right. This initial stretch is going to be fine, but I believe we walk up to like a lion's pride. I believe there's some tall grass with a couple of big cats that we got to be careful on. All right. But I like petting them. You know what? Sometimes in life, you, you, you can't have what you want. Okay. I want to gorge myself at Olive Garden, right? I want them to give me the same amount of breadsticks every time they come out. I don't get that. I get diminishing returns on the breadsticks. Okay. In life, you're not always given what you want, right? And you just got to come to terms with it. Now, I'm noticing everyone is kind of, what, 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 what's with the, the choke of the speed? Uh-oh, hyena, hyena, hyena. Got thickness has been targeted. Got thickness is down. Windex and apps is down. Keep it moving, guys. We cannot stop. We cannot stutter. We cannot stutter. Goth thickness is down. Yo, we got a croc. Oh, here comes the pride. Here comes the pride. Dude, Simba's on the prowl. Simba just died, though. Keep it moving. Good job, everybody. Minimum casualties, but good job. Good job. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Keep it moving. We got a zebra. Now, this thing doesn't pull unless it gets pulled, okay? So, this should be fine. These are neutral unless somebody hits them. Nice. Nice. I'm loving the risk assessment. I'm loving it. I'm seeing a lot of pss, 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 pss. Now, I got to remind you guys, this is what we did last time at Fellwood. We were getting cocky with the animal calling, and, and then we sort of got a train ran on us by some bears, all right? Then we kind of got fucked up by some rabid wolves. Let's keep the pissing to a minimum, right? We don't want to have a repeat of Fellwood, yeah? It'll be fine. I mean, it's it'll be fine until it's not, right? You fuck around and call the wrong beast to the group, and then we get KO'd, all right? We are strength in numbers, hopefully. We thought that about Felwood as well. We thought that about Felwood too. Hey, thank you, Bold Moves. I appreciate the kiss, man. Thank you, dude. All aboard the D-Train headed to the Gurubashi's new Applebee's for half-priced endless dickings? Oh, man. Hey, yo, let me get that. I'm telling you, you don't want anything. I'm telling oh, Jesus, man. All right. Half price, what a steal. Guys, Thanksgiving is in a month, and and I'm going to have to go to the family dinner and show them clips of, of, of what I'm doing now, and they're going to see that. And, and I'm going to have to look at my in-laws and explain to them why people are asking for half price dickings over turkey. Okay? That is an awkward convo. All right? I just want to eat my fucking pie in peace, dude. Right? That's it. That's it. In laws. Oh, <laughs> oh, dude. All right, let's wait on the boat. Everybody, the boat. Now, we usually play this game for the boat. All right. We've always got a couple of people who like to kind of uh, uh, do a little, little ipsy dipsy, little toes. Stomp it on the boat, all right? You guys like to flirt with it? Wait until it's about to pull off, and then some of you guys like to jump, all right? Like it's a little Tom Cruise action movie. Do so at your own risk. Do so at your own risk. Sometimes it works, and you glitch through the hole. Other times, you face plan and do it, okay? Just be cautious. That's all I'm saying. Just be cautious. Here it is. 
Oh, that is a mighty vessel. God, that is some good wood. Look at that, bro. What is that, mahogany? Do I see a little teak wood detailing? Right here? Let's get on it. Let's get on it. Everybody, all aboard. All aboard, team. I call top bunk. You got top bunk, bro. That's all you, bro. That's all you. Alliance noises. What is this? I will also say that it's quite cool when random people who are just on the boat see this. Like, you just pull up and this is your next stop. A hundred trolls ready to roll. Hey, life on high. What's up, dog? Welcome, man. Thanks for that follow, dude. Welcome, welcome. Manlets for Deej. What is a manlet? This is some sturdy hard... Oh. I see that I have provoked you guys with the wood comment, huh? All right. Okay. That's fine. Read my last message above. Uh, <laughs> Zolly just said that she doesn't know what the fuck is this, but she feels like she needs to protect us. She's on the map. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, Soup Guts, thank you, dude. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, for, for any level, high levels, don't protect us in STV. Yo, straight up, don't protect us in STV. If you guys see a high level following us, please let them know not to protect us in STV. We, we, there needs to be blood spilled. All right. Hey, Treadstone, appreciate the follow, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. If there is no protection okay we gotta earn it it's not gonna mean anything if ancestral honor is handed to us okay the guru bashi didn't earn their or they didn't get their territory just by having it escorted to them yeah they earned it right we gotta do the same to honor the ancestors we gotta do the same everybody we're gonna make it a guru bashi and it's gonna be on our own accord without a single asterisk yeah guru bashi is where we're headed hey thank you treadstone it's going good, man. We're on our way to STV. We're on our way to STV. Too much blood has been spilled this night. Well, I, what are we? What's casualties right now? What, what what are the casualties? We got like two, three. We're okay. All right, guys. Here it is. Here it is. I can hear the music. Okay. We are inbound to STV now. I would like to remind you guys not to immediately storm out of the gate. All right. Let's group up right before the cove. Let's make sure everything is good, and then we'll go, okay? That's right. Keep it tight. Who said that? God damn it. It was Deej Feet. Deej Feet is right, guys. Tight. That's the plan, all right? That's the plan. Right here is where we're going to group up. Right here. <laughs> Just a, look at this, dude. Oh. Like, imagine, again, just being there and, and watching. Just being there and watching. All right, here it is. Tight and steady. That's right. Now, again, don't go storming out of the gate. Okay, pump the brakes. Let's do a little form. Let's do a little form, guys. Right here is perfect. Yep, right here is perfect. Let's let's see what we got. Because, again, this is serious biz. Tighten it up. This is serious biz, guys. There are a lot of you running to your death. Be careful. Be careful, guys. Be careful. Formation. That's right. We good? Right? No stragglers? Dex, dexed up Deej is down there. Be careful, Dexed up Deej. Be careful, be careful. Nice. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take this time to, again, emphasize the danger out there, okay? This is our fifth death run that we have done so far, okay? While we have had several victories and several moments of high success, we have also taken some fat L's, especially recently, okay? I would like to remind you guys on how we got our cheeks clapped by some fur bogs last week. All right. But to be honest with you guys, I'm still fucking picking fur out of my underwear from that dick down. All right. We don't want that to happen again. All right. Let's remember our fundamentals. Let's remember our basics. We keep it tight. We don't pet the wildlife. We have one goal and one goal only. That is to get to Guru Bashi. By any means necessary. No, that does not cost extra. That was included. That is how bad we got beaten. So guys, no, the gorillas are not going to protect us. Guys, onward. We've got this. We've made it this far. We're doing. This is our best so far. 
Let's keep this momentum going forward and let's charge onward to glory, to Guru Bashi, to ancestry, and to honor. We got this shit, everybody. Let's roll it. Hey, thanks, Live on High. It is pretty fun. Let's do it, guys. I just get in the let me just get in the middle. <clears throat> All right, nice. Assumed position. Assumed position. If you guys see a higher level killing shit for us, please ask them gently not to do it. We have to earn this. We have to earn this. Oh, we're already fucking loose. Who is jumping around? Comes a fucking course, dude. Yo, uh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Deej. Deej has been targeted. Deej has been targeted. Deej, you are. You are done, buddy. You're just gone. You're gone, bro. We're about to see it pop up in a bit, man. There's no. There's no. There's no hope. Okay, keep it moving. Keep it moving. He lived? How did he live? No, dude. Hey, he lived, but we're in trouble, dude. Okay, that reset. Nice. 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 Okay, feeling good. Look at D Oh God. D just down. Yep, he just he just died. D just down. Honestly, that was a lot longer than anticipated, though. That that was well done by Deej. That was well done. That was well done. Okay. We're coming up on a danger zone. This, this is a highway of death right here. This middle stretch, there's going to be wildlife on both sides. Okay, cats, gorillas, um, basilisks. Yep, it's all there. Okay, speak of the devil. Harambe is right here, primed and ready to go. He's going to come thundering at us any second. Be careful. He's targeted Eden Nuts. Eden Nuts has been targeted by the elder Miss Vale gorilla. Uh-oh, Eden. Uh-oh, Eden. Eden's down. Eden's down. That's what I'm talking about, dude. These gorillas don't play around. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. We're doing good, though. Honestly, in terms of our casualties, this is an all-time low, guys. Well done so far. Let's go. I can see... Oh, there it is, dude. There's that snake statue. Right there. Glorious in the dist. All right. But hey. Rip DJ Anus. I didn't even see it. Rip DJ Anus. There's also wildlife to the left and the right, guys. There's also wildlife to the left and the right here. While I could see the statues in the the beginning of the Gurubashi Arena, we can't get this close and 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 fail. Okay, it would be big sad for people to die here. So let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Hang left. Hang left. Awesome. All right, sweet. So here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Step one is complete. Okay. Step one is complete. Do not go into the arena. This is only step one of the death run, okay? The true battle for glory, the true fight for honor begins here. What we're going to do is we're going to split. If you are in raid group one, go to the left. If you are in raid group two, go to the right. Stay in the stands. We're going to have a battle. Raid one to the left. Raid two to the right. Stay in the stands. We're going to all jump down simultaneously. And it's going to be in a battle to the death. What about group three? We're going to see how the sides look. And that's going to determine where group three goes. Okay. That's going to determine where group three goes. All right. If you don't know what you're on. um, Oh, fuck. If you're in a heal Deej, I think that's group two. Right? I believe so. I believe so. Like raid group one and two. All right. Let's get a couple more on the left. And then the... the yeah, the rest of us, let's go to the right. We're a little bit more on the left, so let's get a few over there. But the majority of us, let's go to the right side. All right? It's like a little TOC. All right? A little TOC battle right here. Right? You know the faction thing? That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Now, in terms of the recent channel Gambino, we have successfully won. Deej did not die on this death run. So, for those of you guys who voted no, nice. Now we're going to do another prediction. All right. Who's going to win? Group one or group two? So I'm going to do a vote for group one and a vote for group two. All right. Just to look at the numbies. Okay. We're about equal. Adige Balls is down. We're about equal. Reform the raid groups. If you're in the same raid group, 
You cannot damage each other, no matter what side that you're standing on. Okay, that's a good idea. That is a good idea. You want to reform the raid groups? All right, let's reform the raid groups. So if you're on the left side here, just whisper me. Deej, run. Let's get you in. I'll just go ahead and start. And then we need group one over there to reform too. That way we can make sure that there's no friendly fire. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Just whisper IMV if you're on my side. Whisper IMV for this duel of fates. And we'll convert to raid. Yep, if you are in over here, just go ahead and leave the, leave the group. We need a couple more on this side. So you guys in the mid, just, just pop on over there. But we'll just spread out polar, so. No, you're good. Just stay put. Uh-oh. Ice cream pant? Wisp inv me if you're over here. All right. Whisper in, if you're on my side, just whisper Deidron IMV. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. I regret getting naked. I mean, you got time. You got time. Hey, how's group one looking over there? You guys good over that side? You need more people. Super imbalanced. Do you guys need more people over there? If we have more of an excess, we could go over here. Getting layered as we reformed. It's it's okay because you guys will get relayered. You guys will get relayered. It'll be all good. It'll be all good. Yeah, they're 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 out of range over there too. We need leadership. Who 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 over there is 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 no one over there running it yet? I haven't started the prediction yet. I'm waiting to see how many we have. How do we? Here, let me get Mike's mom's in. No one's okay. Here's what we'll do. Honestly, this side is fine. So I'm gonna leave this side. Okay, I'm gonna go over here and do the other side. I'll I'll get it done. You guys stay there, and I'll go over here and do this side. I'll go over here and do this side. We had like four and a half groups over there. Okay, yeah, it's literally out of range. This side is actually fine. This side is actually fine. Looks good. Looks good. Oh, you guys do have a lead. Runny Guts is in? Runny Guts is lead? Okay, you guys are fine then. Yeah, yeah, you guys are fine then. All right, sweet. Sweet. Yeah, if you guys are fine, you guys are fine. All right, I'm popping back over to group two. It, it looks like you guys are good to go. Can I get an inf to, uh, to, to the group? Because they do look like it's half and half. It looks, it's looking good. Yo, someone get me in group two. In, into this group. Let's get it. That way we, we can anti-friendly fire. As soon as I get in 89, I'll get it. I'll get it. Hey, who's got this group? Anyone in, in this group over here that has M power? Who who is the I, I'll get back in. I don't Deej, please lead. I I tried to, bro. I, I tried to, man. That's what I was doing. Okay, nice. All right. I'm just gonna uh who is this? Deej Butts? Yo, Deej Butts, could you pass me lead? And then or do all assist. Just whisper IMV. Whisper IMV. I'm not sure, Kelly. I'm not sure, dude. All right, got it. Everyone's assist. Right. Sorry, guys. We're trying to get it formed. It is quite chaotic with the layering. Now we're good to go. Now we're good to go. All right, I'm going to do the prediction. We are even split. They're just not rendering over there. You got to actually run. So we'll go ahead. It's about even split. If you want to go ahead and vote in the, vote in the prediction or, or gamble your points, do it there. We're going to get started here at the end of this. Group one or group two. All you got to do to to get in is IMV. That's it. IMV. Lose it. Oh, All right. All right. Let's see if we can take the 49 priest. I mean, just we'll get in there. We're going to jump in and whoever survives, survives. I will give the winner, the survival, um, a, a pat on the back. I'm group two. I'm group two. I'll give them a thumbs up, an, a visible thumbs up. Death before dishonor, my brothers. 40 v 40. 
Yep, that's right. That's right. I mean, it's close. We'll get to it. All right. It's looking good. We ready? I'm going to give a ready check. And then let's get it. Guys, this is the blaze of glory that we have all been waiting for. We've got roughly 100 level 1 trolls that are about to fight for honor, for glory, and for victory in the Gurubashi Arena. I would also like to put out a PSA. PSA, if you're in group 2 and want to be like a Giga Chad and just make sure I don't die, that'd be sweet. That'd be sweet. You get extra brownie points from me. But other than that, I'm going to do a little countdown. All right. And upon my countdown, we will descend into the arena and blood will be spilled. Are we ready? Let's go ahead and let's get a little tunage to match this mood. Yes. Yes. This is perfect. Guys, it's time. Let us fight for glory. Five, four, three, two, one. Descend. Prove your ancestors worthy. Fight for... Yes, nice. Everyone down. Everyone down. Carnage. Lufa Stank is down. Did just Lufa... Hey, did you be targeted? It's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Pop off, guys. Oh, there's so much. Everyone's dropping like flies, dude. Yes! Oh, yes! The numbers are thinning! So much troll blood is being spilled! It's complete chaos, and I'm here for it. Oh, yeah. It's looking like group two is quite impressive. Quite impressive. Wow. Wow. It's like lagging. It's struggling to keep up. Huge nips just got taken out. It looks like group two is in the lead. I'm not going to lie. We've got some backpedaling going on over here. D trolls is fleeing from arrows. Yo, I like this. Look at this strat. We're getting some range toss from the sides. A lot of people are just watching the carnage. Deej Butts is healing in the back. We got some healing squad back here for group two. I like that. But group one is pressing a fast advance. Group one is closing in. Uh-oh. Group one is targeting the healers. Group one is targeting the healers. This is it. This is the final clump. There it is. Group one has claimed victory. Group one is victorious. Well done, group one. Well done. You guys fought hard and fought with honor. But there is no honor in a group victory. Guys, let's think about this for a second. There can only be one true winner amongst the trolls. There's only ever one war chief. I don't see a war chief amongst you all. You know what I see? A bunch of level ones. There's clearly not a war chief yet. If you guys really want to be a cut above the rest, I'd say just leave the group and kill each other. Right? Let there only be one. There can only be one war chief. Turn on each other. Turn on each other. Slaughter each and every one of your comrades in a blaze of glory. Claim the mantle of the war chief right here.
right now, if you play it smart, victory can be yours. Power can be yours. All you got to do is turn on your friends. Oh, yeah. There's a scramble. There's a scramble right here. We got a little snafu trying to get some smites off. Look at Mr. Orc here doing some great backstabs. The numbers are thinning. Everyone's turning on each other. It's pure carnage. There are no loyalties in the Gurubashi arena. We have a... Tw a 60 is in... Okay. A 60 is in here. Fucking cleaning house. Yo, just kill each other. Hey, just... Now it's about who survives the 60. Okay, the 60's running away. We've got a couple left. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got like eight left. Okay. We've got like eight left. Yep. Oh, that chain lightning was fat, dude. All right. There's like four. Okay, there's... there's we've got a winner. It's Death Run Bro. Death Run Bro ha has... Who is this? Death Run Bro was one. Hey, Death Run Bro, you did it, Bog. You did it, Bog. Death Run Bro was the winner, was the victor of this. That's you. Hey, Adam, you did a good job, man. You did a good job. Bro, look at how many bodies you lasted. You've bested this many people, dude. Wow. Fucking wow. That dude. Sing for our queen death run, bro. It's beautiful, dude. This is like looking at a tapestry of death, man. A painting of carnage. We, we were mere artists tonight, guys. And the Guru Bashi Arena was our canvas. I think we made a Picasso. I think we made a Picasso. Guys, that was a hell of a time. It was a hell of a journey. And I appreciate each and every one of you coming on down. Another successful death run. Our biggest and best yet. So you better believe we'll do another one that next week. Same time, 7 p.m., same place to find pillagers. We're going to do another death run for sure. I don't know about the route, of course, but this one went incredibly well. Hey, a smashing success yet again, guys. Yet again. And hey, Loaf is right. Don't delete characters. Leave the corpses as a stain on this layer. That's right. If we don't delete our corpses, what they'll do is they'll hang around and just chill there. Okay? And our, 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 our stain... Our defilement will be a permanent reminder of the death run. But guys, again, that was a hell of a time. Again, our biggest and best one yet. Thank you all so much for coming down and participating. I can't believe so many of us made it to the arena and STV. And, and again, we'll, we'll definitely do another one next Thursday. But with the victory claim today, a war chief among us, that's going to do it for this one. That's going to do it for this one. Hey, coming in with the gifts at the top, we got Brent, Denya, Moykin. Thank you guys so much for those gifts as well. Bold moves, I appreciate you, dog. Kondo, that's right, Kondo. Hey, thank you for the bits, Combo. Thank you for the bits, Kondo. I appreciate it. Thank you. And if I miss anybody throughout that, my apologies. Adam coming in with a follow. What up, Adam? Thank you, bro. Rookie coming in with the bits. Granger with the bitties. Davina with bits. Loaf, thank you guys for all the bits. And Adam, hey, our winner, our war chief. Our Guru Bashi King, Adam, coming in hot and heavy with that prime. Dog, it was an honor crowning you this evening. Again, a feat of strength to survive so many in the Guru Bashi arena. It's well-deserved, and you're keeping us up here with the prime as well. Thank you, dog. Thank you. That was exhilarating? It was. It was. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. We, we actually, we got to, our, uh, we got to our, our, our goal, and then we just went at it. I mean, that was crazy. Hey, Slump, thank you, dude, for coming in with the gifts, man. Thank you, thank you. Next death run should be the Hanging Island in the Black Rock Spire area. I'm not familiar with that, but I'm down to try it out. That was the most fun that you had in Classic. I'm thrilled that you wanted to just enjoy it, man. Thank you for being here, too, dude. 
Thank you for being here too. Why not horde? That was horde. That was a, we just did a troll one. Do we have a final clip of the arena? I don't have an offer it, but I'm gonna edit it all for sure. So it'll it'll definitely come as like a video, like the like uh here we get the uh, where's this bang? Is that it? Yep, like that latest. There's the video of the la of the of the wetlands death run that we did. So you can expect a video kind of you know same caliber of what we did here. That was the best 100. percent I can't believe we made it with a hundred trolls. I I honestly did not think we would make that with that many. Hey, let's get it. Uh, group two. Group two did rep. Now I will say though, group one ended up claiming victory. So for those of you guys who gambled on the points, it was actually a very close split. A uh, split. Group one made it through to the end, so you guys will get your points. A hey, and Fatal coming in with a BDE sub as well. The snipe bitch, dude. Thank you, Fatal. I appreciate you coming on down with the sub, dog. Thank you, bro. Thank you. All right, the points have been released for the group one voters. The points have been released. Do it again, but have everyone go orc and troll to do an orc versus troll uh, war in the arena. That'd be cool. That'd be easier to distinguish. Yeah, that'd be easier to distinguish. Alliance versus Horde? <laughs> I mean, I think it'd be fun. I've got a plan for it. I'm, I think it'd be fun. That's on the radar for sure, Friar. That's on the radar for sure. I'll go back. A oh, thank you, Loaf. I think a raid on any main city would be fun. Well, okay. Hold on, hold up. Here's why. I'll, I'll show you guys why uh, I'm a little apprehensive on, on, a, on, a, um, on a raid to the main city. Let me find it. So we actually... Hey, little bear. We actually did do uh, a, a little bit of a raid on... Um, I think it was our second death run is what we did. We went to Goldshire. Um, and I think this is an anti-griefing measure, but essentially what ends up happening here, I got the clip. Essentially what ends up happening is a fuckload of extra guards will spawn. Watch this. Okay. Check this shit out. You ready? So here, this is the end of our, I think, second death run. Um, let me scoot this up. Yeah, this is the end of our second death run. Watch this. So here we go. We're coming into Goldshire, right? Check it. Watch. So many Stormwind guards come out of the fucking blacksmith and annihilate all of us. And annihilate all of us. I'm pretty sure it's an anti-griefing measure. Because, check it, Oxy uh, consecrated us on that run. So that's what I thought it was. At first, when I watched the clip, that's what I thought it was, Be but it's not. Check it out. So there's a there's a, a warlock that runs with us here, right? Azel, watch. Azel immediately tries to get in the middle of all of us and Hellfire, thinking they're going to one-shot all of us, but we're not flagged here. So the Hellfire doesn't hit, neither does the Consecrate. It's just the guards coming in. They all come out of the blacksmith right here and just fucking go to town. Go to town. So I feel like it's an anti-griefing measure. Because I thought, I thought the same thing looking back at it. But nah, it's... Uh, it, it must be that. I, I don't know for sure. But yeah, that's my theory. Hey, thank you, Friar. What's in the mailbox? I, I'm not sure, man. So tell you, I, I'm not sure. Good call in the Hellfire too. Yeah, I, I was like... I was watching it and I was like, dude, no shot that that wiped us out. Because I know we all got annihilated and it was just so fast. I was like... Man, there's got to be like something that happened because that's what I thought it was doing. Nah, the, the guards come out of the blacksmith. It fucked us all. But it was so fucking funny. So I'm with it. Yeah, headshots all good, dude. We'll do We're doing another one next Thursday for sure. So we still got you on that. Yeah, they come out of the blacksmith in the end. Yeah, it definitely seems like they're pre-spawned. It's it. Well, not pre-spawned, but there's like specific points. Hey, yo, old goose. Of course, man. No, I'm just thrilled that I can make, make your night a little bit better. Um, much less help contribute to the most fun you've had, dude. I'm honored to be able to do that for you, old goose. Um, thank you for the bits, bro. And again, I, I just want to say before everyone, you know, does their thing. Um, thank all of you who participate in these. 
It, it's wild to me. I never thought that we'd have enough people to do this. Um, much less fill up two groups and, and have more for a third. Um, it wouldn't be possible without you guys. And you're not only making memories for, for each other, like old goose here, but you're making memories for me. These death runs that we do, um, they're truly some of the most special times that I've ever had in WoW. And I've been playing since BC. Um, y'all are making lifelong memories for me. And, and, and it's, it's crazy that y'all do so every week. So to everyone who comes on down and participates in these death runs, if it's for the memes, if you're you know there to shout out some degenerate sh shit and yell chat, talk about being tight, whatever the case may be, dog, just know from the bottom of my heart that that shit's truly special to me. And I appreciate all you guys coming on down. All right. We're, we're enough salt. We got to get hard for these fucking fur blogs. Oh, pause. Yikes. Whatever, dude. Let's kill some fur blogs. Uh, I'm on Defy Spillagers. I'm on Defy Spillagers. Hey, thank you, Jay. Thank you, dude. I uh, love it. Thanks for being a, oh, a bright light in the world. Of course, Nasilla. Thanks for being here. Did you ever get a chance to check out who? The work of Hunter G? I did. I did. Super fun. Jumping off for some ICC for the Guild Armor. Hey, good luck, Steve. Good luck, bro. Kill it in wrath. Get our revenge? Oh, yeah. For for the, the sins that were done in Winterspring, bro? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, and Bold Moves coming in the heart. Thanks, Bold Moves. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate that. I'm going to defy Spillagers. Ooh, let me get this uh, changed, too. Alright, looks good. Looks good. Maybe we got that little... Bloop. Sweet. Uh, 300 level 10 hunters took down a world dragon. <laughs> Dude. See, like, I feel like we could do some crazy stuff, but the time that we did stitches, we ca we kind of got some help by some stragglers, well, not strap by some bystanders. So I don't know, like, what the cap is for level ones, right? Hogger was too easy for us. The kobold mines were too easy for us, but I think if left to our own devices, I don't think we could get stitches down. I think we get clapped, but isn't that because he does like an AOE fart? I do, Twig. And if hey, if you'd like to join, man, you're you're more than welcome to come on down. <laughs> Dope bar. Uh, it's hardcore. Wow, it's hardcore. Wow. Is the game? Let's kill some fur blogs. Yeah, that's crazy. Three hundred level tip. I wonder why level ten specifically. Hey, what up, Miss Love? What if we did an army of humans to take back Stratholm? I mean, it's fun. yeah, that's on the list, actually. It's funny that you mentioned that. Yeah, speaking of, I don't know, if any of you guys have ideas for death runs in the future, I'm going to put the link to the Discord channel here in the chats. Join that up. There's a stream ideas tab in there. If you guys have ideas for, for death runs, put them in the stream ideas tab. All of the death runs that we've done, minus the first one, have been ideas from you guys. So slap them in there. That's the first thing that I check when figuring out what the next route is, is seeing what you guys have put in there and seeing how y'all react to it, right? If there's one where it's like, yeah, got a lot of positive reactions around it, let's, let's get somebody on the list, you know what I mean? So again, if y'all have an idea for a cool death run, slap it in the stream ideas tab in the Discord. Because that's where I look for a lot of these. What's a death run? <laughs> so uh, it's essentially like, we all create a bunch of level one characters, like, there's a hundred of us around about this, about a hundred or so of us that went out this time for it. And we all just try to run somewhere together. So it could be a really dangerous area or I don't know, like a key spot in the world. So like tonight, we all made trolls and orcs and ran to, um, ran to the Guru Bashi Arena. Hey, yep, it is, Ryan. It's hardcore wow. Hardcore wow. Hey, all good, Nick. Yo, I started on OSRS. That was my first one. And we got these dweez coming on in with a follow. Thanks, man. Welcome, dude. Welcome. Appreciate you bless us with that follow, dude. Are we good here? Yep, just a little Ursus. Hey, that's right, R32. That's right, dude. Uh, Paladin, only death run to Light's Hope. To pray. So I thought about doing... You want to see some carnage, man? The Plague Lands is carnage. Like... There's so much just shit in the road. Like, Anderhall. I mean, I know we can run around it, but... Um, what is that? Like, a Darrow Shire that's in the middle? Of, uh, what? Eastern Plague Lands? No, Western Plague Lands? No, I think it's Eastern, actually. Like, like that's gonna be a big kill zone. And it's like... 
in the plague lands nothing is safe the roads aren't safe the wildlife obviously is fucking trapped there's like no way absolute fuckery but that's the point of the death runs right hey it's all good though had to clean houses y'all make it we did we did and we we had a massive troll v troll battle in the arena and it was it was great it was a great time uh having played this in years used to be addicted start off with runescape yeah it's it's it's, it's got a hold on you for sure it did that with me too started the same way osrs and then started playing wow hey a plate coming on in thanks for the follow dude welcome welcome oh that bird sussed me out a little bit uh you can go around corn's crossing and epl though ah well like okay we're gonna aggro everything within an immediate range right because that's all 60s oh my god yo is the bat fear an aoe you know the fear that the bats do in the plague lands if that is an aoe imagine one of those being pulled into the middle of our death ball and it, we just all get it is oh my god no shot bro imagine one of those getting the gets in the middle of us aoe fears and a hundred level one scatter that's a wrap it would be funny though but we would be fucking dead it we drop so fast man forget the badlands cat fatality forget the the wildlife of fellwood that aoe fear would put us in the dirt instantly instantly Oh, um, hey, certainly on the docket there, MK, but I'm glad you had fun. It, it did look pretty, it was pretty cool. But my content, hey. All right, hey, real talk. You guys can be honest with me here, all right? I won't get mad, and I, I won't ban you, I won't time you out. How many of you fuckers targeted me in the arena? How many of you guys, before I was even done talking, already had me set to autofocus? already made targeting macros for my character to kill me because I dropped very fast. I was probably the first one to go down, if not the first five. Who did it? Who did it? Everyone. Well, that's how it seems, though. I was on your team. I tried to heal you, but you just fell over. I didn't... Dude, I, I ragdolled in that arena, man. I was... <laughs> the, sorry, Deej, but... It, oh, so Fryer, you're admitting? That was you... Hey, bold moves. That's fun. That's a fun time, though. Yeah, unwise rabbit said, "Yep, yeah, mm-hmm." Okay, that's fair. I had a finger on the trigger for you. Thank you for being honest, Cristobal. Thank you for being honest, dude. I'll remember that. It was the Applebee's servers that were taking their revenge on you. I don't blame the servers. I blame the the, the corporate conglomerate. The servers are innocent victims. Buddy, if I'd have been alive, I'd have targeted you for the memes. Uh, I don't blame you guys, man. I would have targeted me too, dude. <laughs> Ooh, I like that, AMJ. I would have targeted me too. I was on your team and I even targeted you. Playing the Star Wars music epic must completely fall the... Will it really? Oh, that's... Uh, really? No, oh, well, I want like on Twitch, right? Or I wonder if it's okay on YouTube. Hmm. Really? I'll get a notification if that's the case, Loaf. I wasted all of my mana on the level 7 SMH. How do I, well, I'm not sure when the level 7 got in. It was either when we were trying to reform really quickly to split the teams, or uh, maybe they, they whispered IMV for the auto M, something like that. Oh, interesting. Look, I am, damn, dude. I'll have to I'll have to be a little bit more contained then in the future. And maybe try to clear something in advance. My bad, bro. I didn't know that would happen. I figured, I don't know. I knew, like, recent things were okay. Right? Even older songs, but I guess maybe because it's dis I don't know, dude. I don't know. If you, I do have, I mean, I record everything locally. Um, learn, learn to do that during the subathon, so we're good. We're good. Hey, thank you, Brandon. I appreciate you doing that for me, dog. Thank you. And Fryer? Yeah, that, who, who was that 60? Hey, did anyone have that 60 in here? I didn't, but I teabagged you. That's all, that's all good, man. 
<laughs> That's all good. Hey, Anders, thanks for the heart, dog. Indeed, the druid's alive. I gave you top tier four buff, bubble, and renew from a level 49 priest, Lamal. Oh, that was you? Hey, that was good looks, dude. I appreciate that buff, man. I did see I got bubbled. Even through the bubble, I got KO'd. You're the male troll priest giving everyone four buffs. Hey, good luck, dude. Thank you. We need healers on Deech. Apparently, I had heals, dude, and I still dropped. I still instantly fell over. Oh, no, of course, no. Absolutely. I'd be, I'd be disappointed if you guys didn't kill me. That's why I already had... See, I expected my demise. That's why I already had the death effects turned off, right? That way, when I turned into a ghost... I could we we could at least maybe see some action. Yeah. Little console command fix that. But yeah, you're right, Denim. I had better than might save a fireball or two. I did, Brandon. That was epic. Lost six, right? Six casualties for KT. I mean for KT, especially world first, man. That's not too that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Yeah, I don't see this. Yeah, I guess the 60 was wasn't what wasn't was probably just a random bystander. But that's funny as hell. Hey, Anders, thanks for ripping the gifts, bro. Thank you, dude. You coming in with the BDE gifts of the talk. Thank you, Anders. Thank you, dude. Not at all. They were uh prepared and even had more. Yeah, I mean they had everything going in, right? It it was well deserved. I right, dude. We'll see you later, bro. Get some rest. See you tomorrow for some beat for some big dick brawl on the druid, bro. Have a great night. Oh, Druid Cop getting us in the, into a little... Hey, nice. I'm assuming, yeah. Little cat stealthing around. Hey, what's going on, Butter and chat? Welcome, welcome, man. Appreciate you coming on down and bless us with a follow here on Twitch, dude. Thank you. I mean, we spent weeks raid wiping on our private server with uh, 7 to 8, 9, 2, 3, and 8 Q gear. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's insane. Like, like the margin of error is low. Like, you, you gotta be very, very careful. Who won the run? It was Adam. I believe, right? Hold on, hold on. I don't know if you want me to go by your Twitch name, dog. It was it was Adam in the Twitch chat. Adam, if you're still here, claim your prize. But yeah, they outlasted everybody. Cheated reported? What do you mean cheated reported, dude? They were level one. They made it through. They actually did legit make it through. Uh, and I don't know how they didn't get one shot by that fucking chain lightning by the 60 at the end. If Taylor Swift was an Azeroth, do you think more people would play WoW? I mean, I don't know. I think it would have a similar effect to the NFL, right? I mean, hell, dude, if it's working for the NFL, who knows? Who knows? I'm down, Ray. Hey, that's all. I, I've always said this from the beginning. As long as you guys keep balling out, as long as you guys keep, keep wanting to do these, man, I'll keep planning them. They're a lot of fun for me, and I just like that so many of you guys are having a great time. All right, Penny. I don't blame him, dude. What was the prize? All right, Adam. I'm going to be honest with you, dude. Um, I, I was thinking that, that maybe a sense of pride and accomplishment would, would be enough, but now that I've said this out loud, I, I don't feel like that is. So I'll do this, man. All right, Adam, um, you, you, you could type out a little 30 second script here if you would like to. Um, like, like, I don't know, like, like, like imagine cameo, if you know that, if you'd like to cash in on that right here, right now, you can. All right. Now I'm trusting you, bro. It's got to be TOS safe. But if you want to want a little impromptu action. You got to chief. Take it. Take go ahead. Take your advance. Take your advance. And Friar, hey, thank you for the grats on the dingage. And coming in with the bits as well. Thanks, Friar. A jar of dooge? Nah. I don't know if I could... I don't think you could ship that, dude. I was cooking while watching the death run, hearing you yell at everyone to kill each other was the most cult leader thing I've ever... Was it? I don't know. I just wanted violence. That was it. Right? I just... I wanted to see if you guys would abandon your comrades, right? I mean, you guys literally in group one, you guys just put down like 50 trolls side by side, right? Y'all were healing each other. You were helping each other out, swiping ag. I just wanted to see how many of you guys would turn on a dime. And you did. Everyone did. 
everyone turned. Beautiful thing to see, though. Got any more of these death runs? Oh, yeah. We'll be doing one. Uh, we'll just keep rolling them every Thursday. We'll just keep rolling them every Thursday. Groomed us for violence confirmed death cult. You think it was that? It... Maybe that was the plan the whole time, huh? No, if you said drink the juice first. Uh -huh. Hey, thanks, bold moves. I'm glad that you like them. Classic is always a cozy experience, and your shoe's perfect to fall asleep, too. Hell yeah, dude. I'm glad I could do that for you, AJ. I fall asleep with stuff, too, so... Man, I, I'm glad I could hit the mark for you, dude. And Anders, coming in with some more gifts at the top. Thanks, Anders. What's the next run? Unplanned as of yet. Yeah, just, you know, to keep things easy. Same time, same place. Thursday, 7 p.m. Defies Pillagers, but as far as what we're doing... Exactly, yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure. We'll probably take some time tonight and think of it. Look, look at what you guys put in the Discord and go from there. Uh, go to the arena on your main characters and fight to the death. Now that I feel like is going to be a little bit more of a challenge, but who knows what the turnout would be there. I'm going to say, I'm going to tell this guy, stay safe. And then, bang. Uh, Deed chose the Star Wars battle song. And then all of a sudden, a level 60 executes order 66. Thus proving Deej is secretly the Empire Pal Okay. Of the Emperor Pal Yeah, dude. No, that was kind of impromptu. That's kind of impromptu. Hey, all good, Anna. All good. I appreciate you just doing that. Yeah, see, Don says Palpatine vibes, too. Indeed, ever. Yeah, we're rolling. We've been rolling on hardcore. Lightning hands and all. Well, did Pal Palpatine... Wasn't he alive for a long time? Like, he didn't die off rip. It's not like he died in the... I Like, I died in the opening credits there. He didn't die in the opening credits. So, new Deeds lore, can it? No. I don't, I don't know about all, all, new Deeds lore. Died? With quotes? Perished? I see... Okay. Nah. I don't know. He wasn't put down by his brethren either, was he? I mean, you guys kind of put... It's like, it, it would be like if he got put down by his own, right? <laughs> I was worried about... Because I knew that one was copyrighted, Granger. I, but I didn't think the a movie OST would be. I guess now it makes sense, but I just didn't know. But now we know. Now we know. All right, Adam, you're cashing in on your prize here. Now, I, get, I gave you free reign on a, on a little cameo script here. Let's see what you got. <clears throat> Let me pause. All right, here we go. I'd like to thank my friends and family and my friend Trip for showing me the stream. My adventure across the Barrens into the Gurubashi was valorant. The effort of Raid Group 1 was unmatched. Without them, I wouldn't have survived. Shout out to the trolls and the homies, spe uh, especially the real ones. We did it. I did it. It was all for for the chat. I lo uh, Sorry, dude. I butchered that a little bit. I gotta do it again now. Fuck. <clears throat> sorry, bro. Alright. Let me get some Gatorade in me. One second, bro. Alright. Here we go. Take two. I'd like to thank my friends and family and my friend Trip for showing me to stream. My adventure across the Barrens into Guru Bashi was Valorant. The effort of Raid Group 1 was unmatched. Without them, I wouldn't have survived. Shout out to the trolls and to homies, especially the real ones. We did it. I did it. It was all for chat. Love and peace. Never forget he for the spaghetti. There it is, Adam. Hey, congratulations on claiming that War Chief mantle as well, bro. That was that's actually kind of sweet. Like, that's super, super uh like that's a statistical well. I don't want to say it's a statistical anomaly because there's always a winner, but it's tough to sweat that many of us, man. Well played. Well played. <laughs> no, Granger. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. Indeed, Sushi. There it is. Super rare honor. Super rare armor. Could put it on his resume. I think he'd get a job for it. First one ever. Yep, Sushi, you're right. But guys, we had an incredible death run today. We're level 31 of the Druid, but I think we're going to wrap it up here. It was a big dick day. It was a day of Prague. It was a day of death, and it was a day of honor. Now, we're going to be back tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for some more hardcore action. 
we still got an incredible amount of prog to achieve. We got some lost time to make four up on the druid. But as far as today goes, I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm going to eat. I'm going to wash the blood of 100 trolls off of my face. And we're going to wrap it up here. But guys, thank you guys again for, for joining us, man. It was, a, it was an awesome event. We'll definitely do another one next week. Same time, same place. I'll have more details on the route um, when they become available for you guys. But again, thank you all for being here. And my friends at the top, I'm taking off. Y'all stay safe. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard. Hey, and Jays, GG's to you, dog. Have a great night, bro. All right, we're big chilling in the talk. Everything looking cool. Nice. Hey, thank you, Jen. Have a great night. Appreciate the bits as well. Thank you, Jen. We'll hope to see you tomorrow. Then he tells the survivors of Group 1 to strike each other down and their journey to the dark side will be complete. I didn't say though, anything on the dark side, though. See, like, that's the thing. I, I didn't say... I didn't mention the words dark side. Right? I just said kill each other. That's this. Oh, that, that sounds just as bad. Actually worse, right? I hey, see you, though. Have a great night, dude. And Friar, peace out, my friend. Take care, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Alice, a good night to you, my friend. And Cristobal, thank you for being here and enjoying as well, man. I hope to see you tomorrow, dog. Take care. Night, Sushi. Thank you for the BDE, and I'm sorry for... I did see that you perished in the wilds of the barrens amongst the democracy of the wildlife and... Or the democracy of the vote to go through the wildlife. I'm sorry about that, Sushi. I gotta be honest with you, man. That was a spur of the moment thing that I decided that would be cool for the memes. And because of my impulsivity and our collective democracy here in the chat, you perished. I feel somewhat responsible about that. That's all me, dude. I gotta go try and sleep with that. But hey, regardless, thank you again for hanging. And I hope to see you later, dude. And Jen, hey, night again. Thank you for the BDE, Jen. And have a great night. You too, Krotos. Hey, guaranteed, Kondo. Thank you for the fadeaway bits as well. We got all those to-dos uh, knocked out, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a great night, Kondo. Hey, and Kratos, I'm, I'm thrilled that you enjoyed it as per usual, man. Get some sleep, and I hope to see you tomorrow, friend. Take care, dude. And half pint, a nuzzle to you, dog. A nuzzle to you. You have a great evening. Nuzzle away, man. And we'll see you later. <laughs> AMJ, bro. Night, AMJ. Thank you for the memes, and I hope to see you tomorrow. And Khalil, hey, have a great night, man. Enjoy it, dude. Thanks for memeing. Oh, God, dude. Thin mints are... Oh, thin mint cookies, dude. Hey, yo, thank you for the bits, Granger. Despite my, um... My lack of enthusiasm for mint-flavored desserts, uh, the BDE of the bits here is, is palatable. Thank you, bro. Have a great night, dude. Thanks for enjoying, as always, and I hope to see you tomorrow. And Melly Bean, you too. You have a great night as well. Thank you for memeing and hanging with us. It's an honor having you here, and I hope to see you later, friend. I'll, hey, thank you, Friar. I like the Oreos. Oreos are piss. Later hurts when I pee. <laughs> hey, I'll see you tomorrow, dog. Have a great night. Take care, my friend. Take care. All I heard is that Deej is sleeping with me. Not sure how Jess is going to like that. Well, I, it is what it is, dude. What can we do, all right? What can we do? Hey, night, Nazilla. Take care, and thanks for always for memeing. And I hope to see you later. And hearts to you as well, Pinkening. Peace out, dog. And I hope to see you back tomorrow, man. Thanks for enjoying. All right, guys. Be safe. No deaths in the guild. Take care. At least until we get back at 2 p.m. so we can rip you live. All right. See y'all tomorrow. Again, be safe. Uh, don't die. Um, insert parting phrase here. Mancini with a with a peanut butter jelly. There it is. Have a great night, dog. Have a great night, Mancini and Sushi. Hey. Hand hearts to you. All right, guys. Peace out. Be safe. I'll see you about tomorrow. 2 p.m. for some more memes. Later, everybody.